Oh, hello. Yippee dee. What's going on, people? How are you, Mob 2? Happy Saturday. It's technically still Saturday evening, and you're tuned in to the Dom. West Side Outlaw, real bad boy killer style. Don't worry, I got some new hats coming. Well, a hat. I've been looking at some other hats, but we're going we to get it together. We're going to have some new hats for you guys. Look fresh for you for the new year. And uh, I hope you can hear me okay. I got the AC on right next to me. I don't want to wear these fucking headphones. If it's a problem, I'll friggin', uh, you know, I'll, I'll put the headphones on. Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. What's up, Falconetti? Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. I'm supposed to have a, a special guest coming, but uh, I don't know how to send him the link. He said, send me the link through email. And I'm not, I don't know how to do it with this damn stream yard. I got to see. Invite. Oh, okay. Hold on. I could just copy the link. And then send it to him through email, right? All right. Durr. I think that's how it's done. I don't know. I think I sent it to him. I don't know. All right. Anyway, how are you doing, MobTube? Let me, uh, look, I'm so rude. I didn't even say hello. Okay, Paul's here. What's up, Paul? How are you, my friend? Hold on. Oh, it's showing me on StreamYard. I gotta look at myself on YouTube, motherfucker. Oh, let me look. Let me talk into the mic because I got this damn AC at home. Oh. Turn off that AC. I feel better talking to you people. Uh, God damn it. All right, all right. Where's Paul at? <laughs> I'm going to make this guy, I'm going to give him his wrench. Uh, Paul's a made guy now. He's got one of these. See how it shines? You see it? Shining mighty fine in the summertime. It's not shining. Hold on. It's not shining. It's not shining. Hold on. Come on. Shine, God damn it. We're shine box to make it shine. Ah, uh, whatever. Anyway. Oh, shit. Holy Toledo. Serious business with that tool, man. Anyway, what's up, buddy? Buddy was the first one in here. What's up, buddy? My buddy. My buddy. Oh, look who's already here. Look at this. I'm freaking talking here, bro. Right. Yeah. What's up? I'm stupid. I'm still not. What's up? <laughs> no, you're not, bro. Listen, I got a <laughs> surprise for you. Oh, yeah? I like yeah. surprises. Uh, my cousin, who is also a fucking lunatic, uh, he's uh, – I'm going to get him in here for you if you want. Yeah. I'm going to ask you. He's, you like him. You're going to – yeah, you like I him. I love lunatics. He's a fucking – he's a trip. All right. Yo, um, what's good? Yeah. I had so many questions now. I thought about some questions before you came yeah, on about the box. You, you can ask me whatever you want, my friend. You know, I'm an open book. And if, you know, the only thing I tell you is the same thing I told Chris. Just don't ask me to, you know, about name dropping anybody. Won't oh, yeah, yeah. Me. Nothing incriminating. Other than that, let's go okay. on. No, no. I just wanted to talk to you about the movies and stuff. I've yeah. forgotten enough. Nah, it's my mind. I, it'll come to me. But I had some good questions, man, about um, about filming it. Um yeah. Well, how old were you when you started filming that movie? I was nine and then 10, like, you know, with the way, you know, my birthday ran into it. But I auditioned at nine, 10. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it was nuts, man. Detroit boss, long time no see. Everybody that's over here, what's up? Gunsmoke, got to hit his like button because he's fucking Yes. Up. Please hit the like button. What up, Detroit? That's a good guy. We email each other. You get the blessing, Gunsmoke. <laughs> Gianni. Maybe Somebody asked for my cat. He's downstairs being a fucking chooch. He's hanging out. He's like, you know, curled up in a ball. With, I don't want to hear about cats, all right? I had a cat for 18 years, and my cat passed away uh, last March after 18 years. It broke my heart, man. I thought that cat would never die. Nah, they're good, man. And the girl who I lost my virginity to, she gave me that cat. So that cat had like a special meaning to me, you know? Like it was very, uh, you know, I don't know. Nah, listen, man. I love animals, man. Animals are good. 
They're, yeah. you know, they're better than people sometimes. Yes, they are. Yeah. My cat was a bitch, but still, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, you know, they got they got personalities, man. The yeah. Cat. They're nuts, man. They're nuts. This guy's nuts, though. He freaking gets pissed off. If my wife is like five minutes late, yeah, I'm walking in the door, he's at the door pissed off. Then he's laying on the floor blocking the door. Uh -huh. hey, he's like an asshole. He, he's <laughs> like, he looks at me and yells, and it's like he's telling me, you don't know where your fucking wife is, asshole? Where is she? <laughs> yeah. It's great. <laughs> yeah, pets are the best, man. Cats and dogs. I don't know about these other critters, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to have a pet for a long, long time, you know, after this. That sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that, though. I, yeah. I hear you. Breaks my heart. That cat loved me, man. That cat was a prick, like, the first few years, but then the cat kind of um, warmed up to me, you know? So, I don't yeah. know. Well, you know, whatever, the, you know, they go, it all depends, like any animal, how you raise them, how, you know? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be putting in any friggin' exotic animals, you know, yeah. I, had a, I had a guy I knew up, up, like Upper Westchester. The guy had a fucking bobcat. A bobcat? Oh, bobcat! Yeah. That's not that. You should not own one of those in the house. I, this fucking thing was pissed off. Hold on, I got a guy who wants to curse me out. Hold on. No. Nah, okay. What's up, bro? What's oh, up, man? No. How, you doing? <laughs> this how are you? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm no, all right. You here no. to break my balls? No, I'm not going to break your balls, man. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, not a little bit. Uh, a, little, a little bit. Uh, a little bit. Ah, my big face. Hold on. I'm trying to even it out between us. God damn it. Well, you're, the, you're the star. Yeah, you should be bigger than Oh, there you oh, go. There we go. That looks good. Yeah. So what's going on? What are you guys talking about? I was just shooting the shit, talking about my dead animal. and. Uh... Oh, gosh. He's <laughs> dead animal. His cat passed away, and, it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, for seven, uh, 17 years you had the cat. 18, so, uh, 18 years. 2002 it was born. Years. Yeah. Mink, wow. 2002, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. That's sad, it? though. Yeah, it sucks. That These things suck. happen. This, guy, this guy's big with the cats. Oh, I, I didn't tell him about my other cat, Caesar. So I, Caesar. Oh, tell no, him about him. Tell, tell him. Uh, all right, this cat's not a regular cat. So my, my brother gets married, and I'm the best man. So my, my brother... And my sister-in-law, like, what are we going to get your brother as a best man gift? So my, my brother was like, my brother's a, he's a business guy. He's like, oh, I'm going to get him a nice Breitling watch. I want a, nice. a Breitling watch. Yeah. And my sister-in-law goes, no, that's not what he wants. Goes, yeah, okay. get him. Now, there was this one cat. Originally, I wanted an ocelot. But, my, my yeah, don't ask. So my sister-in-law yeah. told her there's this cat, Bengal cat. It's Asian leopard cat mixed with tabby. So Sounds she beautiful. Found, yeah, bro. So she finds a guy in Jersey, a breeder. They come up with some bullshit story. They got to get something for the wedding. You got to come. You're part of the bridal party. I go out there. There's all these little cubs running around. So the one cub comes up to me. It's the <laughs> cat that I bought, Caesar. So I buy yeah. him. I pick him up. All right. I take him. I'm like a pig and shit. I was like, oh, it's fucking cat. I love him. I love him. So we go. We, now you got to buy shit for him. So I go into uh, like a pet goods. Yeah. But they got this huge one. Uh, on the way back, it's in Jersey. So my sister in law is like, let's get everything now. So I walk in, I got them in a carrier, and I put them on like the table. The girls are coming by, they're like, oh, you got a kitten. They're like, oh, you know, all these girls are like, you got a little kitten. Let me yeah, go pet him. <laughs> no, he starts making noises. And yeah. They're not regular cats. No. Nah. One girl looks at me, she goes, that's no fucking cat. What the hell is that thing? I was like, he's a kitten. How's the upkeep on that though? Like, is it any different than a regular cat, or it, they eat a lot more? Or, yeah, know? they eat more. You gotta if you're gonna give them meat, you gotta cook it and take the blood out, or else they go, it's like giving okay. them crack. Yeah, they're like they get wild with blood, and okay. uh, they get big. Man, he's big. He's pretty big, long. I mean, I used to t I used to put him on that a cat is fucking fire. intimidating, bro. Yeah, yeah. it size you up. Walk up to you and like one of you Dude, know, face. my cousin's daughter was at the at the table at his mother's house, and I'm feeding her Cheerios, you know, making little baby noises or whatever, <laughs> feeding her Cheerios, and this cat jumps up on the table, gets like this close into my face, and he's just staring me down, and I'm like, <laughs> oh shit, and they brush him off like he's nothing. They're like, oh, yeah. see, get off the table, you know what? To me, I'm shitting an onion, dude. Oh, hell I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. over here shitting my pants. 
He don't got fucking. He don't got fur, bro. This this cat's got a fucking pelt, bro. <laughs> like. He's like a fucking. He's like a leopard, dude. Yeah, it is. I kind of have an idea of what it looks like. So I'll send you pictures. Cool. But yeah. he's, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. Has he's he gorgeous. ever acted out though? Has he ever acted out? Like try to lash no, out? At you? No. All right. So when I first got him, he was little, like about this. Yeah. Big. And you know he's a baby, so you know I was playing with him, like holding him, and that's what the breeder told me. He's like, you got to hold, you got to spend a lot of time with this cat, treat him like a kid. Yeah. You got to bond with him. Yeah. And you know he didn't mean to, but their claws are like not cat claws. Yeah. So he just tapped my lip, but opened up my lip. Oh! So I grabbed them, just put them against the wall, and like just to let him like touch my lip, the blood. And once yeah. that happened, he never claws never came out again on me. Nice. But he used to like to row shampoo me. So I come home from work, I come through the door, he just run and hit you, <laughs> and take you down. Yeah. Well, you've seen the on the Discovery Channel. They run, they trip you. And the pouncing, yeah. No, not pouncing. Like fucking, like snaring you. They'll wrap around. Oh you. yeah, okay. They yeah. Trip you, and it, it, you know, knock you down. Then he comes over, licks you, and it's like a game. It's fun. Jesus. So I used to take him outside on a leash. I used to scare the shit out of the. You're crazy. Yeah. No, yeah. The neighbor, yeah, dude. The neighbor that we had a neighbor at a German Shepherd. This thing used to fucking piss its pants. I can imagine. Her. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. I got a lot of girls with that cat. I'll tell you of that. Of course, much. yeah. That's cool. And now he's now he's like you. Now he's now he's your niece's like bodyguard. Yeah, personal yeah. bodyguard. How old is it? Him now he's ten and a half. No, he's thirteen. 13. Oh, he's old. Okay. He's no, but I'm telling you, he stuff. <laughs> yeah. Beat the shit out of my brother's dog. <laughs> yeah. What about when he dog. used to pounce? What he used to pounce on fucking. On on uh, on Chris. Oh yeah, he knocked my other cousin out once. He came through the door. I was like, "Yo," he's like, "Hey, what's up?" Blasted him. Is it even legal to have that shit in New York? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just gotta, you know, there. It, there's a certain like degree. You know, you can't get them super wild, but okay. He's just enough to listen. To <laughs> yeah. You remember when Con Ed used to come in your house to check the meters? Yeah, yeah. They literally sent something that they were like, "We're not doing this without that cat." If that, they were like, "We can't come in the house with that animal." Oh, okay. Came in the house one day, he was like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep him in the cage, man. No, he's like, "You gotta put him in a room." I'm not. Yeah. Doing this. What is this thing? It's you know, he's walking. This kid's around. like, "Fuck what is this bull. I'm grabbing a leopard. <laughs> yeah. yeah, why not? I was crazy and fucking nuts. I love that cat. He's a good boy, man. Yeah. Who? Yeah, this guy's out in Florida right now. So while you and I are freezing oh, our right? balls off, he's over there sweating. Yeah, Dude, I just moved. I'm like looking at myself. I'm all dirty and shit. I literally just got done moving into my house. Oh, okay. He, he calls me and he's like, "Yo," he's like, "Come bullshit." I'm like, "All right, fuck it." I've been up since five a.m. I haven't eaten anything. Jesus. I haven't. <laughs> I've been moving all day. I mean, it's like, fuck it, whatever. I'm in my garage, dude. My garage is, like, filled with boxes over here. Look. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of shit. Up, right? Yeah. yeah, dude. My whole my whole house is in the garage right now. <laughs> I just anybody to help you? Um, you know what? I was just telling him my son, Nikki was helping me. My son, Nikki's a fucking animal, dude. He's a beast. Yeah. The kid's like a fucking ox. Yeah, dude. He's, he's an animal. So he, he was helping me. My wife was helping me. We, we're new out here. You know what I mean? We just moved out here from Arizona. So, okay. you know, yeah. Hey, so it's like, really you know. From. Tell them where you're really me? from. Though. Yeah. Where yeah, are I'm you from really Long from? Island. I'm yeah, from yeah. Long Island. Originally. Well, what part of Long Island? Smithtown. Oh, Smithtown. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm, near, I'm near Nassau County over here. I'm near Great Oh, Lake. okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So I, I put that shit on my arm, bro. What? I don't know if you can it's see fun. it. Yeah, I see the flag, though. I see the flag. Oh, shit. Yeah. Drop my phone, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, Florida's cool, man. It's 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 definitely a dope spot, bro. Yeah, I haven't spot. been to Florida in a while. Long time. Like, 2003, I think. Yeah, 2003 Dude, is the last time. Up here where I'm at, bro, I swear to you, man, it's probably, like, 60% New Yorkers. And yeah. I would say out of the 60% of the New Yorkers that are here, like 80% of them are fucking guineas. 
Oh yeah, I, was, I thought they would be Jewish. All no, right. no, that's down south, bro. That's down south. <laughs> no, they don't like it. They don't like it up here, bro. They 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 like it down south. Okay. But no, it's it's cool, bro. We got I, I we got a uh, we got some pizza spots, man. That would like yeah. rival New York, dude. I don't know about I that. Sh- but... I swear to God, I swear to God, I'm no, break. I'm not pumping shit. I'm telling you right now. Breaks. I'm um, telling yeah, you right now. Carried bro, away this though. Guy, this zip, this zip that runs in this place over here, dude. He's from the Bronx. His fucking pizza is sick, bro. His pizza is yeah. sick. I, I, I'll I'm come telling out you, check it out. Well, Yo, he bitch slaps the shit out of captains in its day. Wow, you're talking. Really? Not, he's not he's shitting on a no. neighborhood fucking. Not, <laughs> and, no, no, you know, you know, I know, and I'm telling you right now, his pizza's solid. No, it's good. You know, it's solid, man. You guys ever come out this way? I'll check Little it out. Cousin Dom, man, I'll take care I'll, of you, dude. There you go. Right. That's what's yeah. You got juice now in Florida. You got the juice, you got, bro. You got, it's you nice got and warm home. down here. Hold on, we got Bay Eighth in here. Shout out to Bay Eighth. Oh, Bay Eighth. Yeah, What's you up, know Bay Eighth. What's up, brother? Yeah, just had to say oh, that. Oh, that's the that's the cat from the FPS streams. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah, always yeah. got the good hats on. He always got a new hat. He's a always eating yeah. something. He's always in there in FBS streams. Yeah, yeah, he's a good he, dude. Just so you know, so Dom's the one who put me on to this whole mob tube fucking not craziness because I was watching this like yeah, my ass off. So who do you watch, Dom? Who you been watching that you put this guy on? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I watched some of FBS at the time. Um, I used to make fun of all those other cats. Um, <laughs> the, you know what I mean? I would just clown on all those other dudes. Um, it, it really started. It really started with um, when when A Light was. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. was running his yap on on other people's podcast before he had his own shit. Okay. And and I was just I, and I was just laughing fucking hysterical because you know, when you know the inside baseball on a lot of shit, you know what I mean? It's like you're like, "Really, dude?" Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, you know. So, I watched some of his shit and 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 stuff like that, but the cool thing was is when I I I uh I went to college. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And uh, when I was in college, <laughs> I caught this article in a, in a Rolling Stone magazine about Jimmy and the Bad Bath guys. Yeah. And I started looking into Jimmy, and then Jimmy popped up in this whole mob tube thing, and I was like, oh, shit. Like, I read about this kid. Like, I read about this kid, like, like a long-ass time ago, back yeah. before anything. Like, when they were doing an article about uh, him going like them getting locked up, like one of their things that they had done or whatever, and uh, and then I I checked out Jimmy's book and you know stuff like that. So Jimmy's really the one who kind of drug me in into this. And then I you know I checked out some of the other guys, you know the the Michael Francis, yeah. the, you know Sammy and shit like that and stuff just to see. But to be honest with you, man, if I'm being honest, I like the commentary, the, the, the like the the commentary type of stuff, better than these guys just sitting around telling yeah. stories and shit. Like you know what I mean, like the podcast okay. or whatever. And that's what drove me into this. And then when <laughs> beef started, all yeah. the beef started popping off. I was like, Yo, Paul, you got to check. Then it was entertaining, yeah, bro. Like this he, he me crazy. It was mad crazy. I so I, I, I started showing him that stuff. Yeah, you know? I told him. But when yeah, I tell you, I don't want to see you know. this shit, man. And then he, I watched one thing. He sends me something. I watched it, and I got just fell down the rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, you fall down it because you got a lot of these guys that like come on and they're like historians. They, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like. Fucking Polacks from Wisconsin and shit. Like, yeah, Paul Castellano yeah. was, you know, you know, leader of the Italian mafia. And you're like, oh fuck, man. <laughs> you know, these guys are all talking, and and it's like, and they put in their two cents every two seconds. It just it kills me. It slays me, bro. Like, I, yeah. I literally, I, I can't, I can't with them. <laughs> but we, you know, we, you know, it's entertaining and shit. You know, you it watch is. it. But I watch it for the different shit, right? Like, I think some people are, like, really into it. Like, they're, you know, like, lately I've been on FBS's channel and I'm, and, you know, watching his shit. And, and and it's like all these cats, like, really get into shit. And it's like, like, it's all just regurgitated shit that they read in a book or they heard in a podcast or, you know, 
saying? Like, or news portrayed. I saw this on 60 Minutes or whatever. It's it's yeah. hilarious shit to hear these guys. I think it's the most entertaining thing. The comments get me. The yeah. comments get me. The comments. Yeah. Are, that's right? the don't they fuck you up, bro? Come on. Don't yeah, fuck the chat is right? even better than the, the commentary. I mean, you got guys in here. The, the shit they come up with is gold. I, I want to hang out with some of them. They're great. Yeah, I know. I love, I love, I love, I love the loyalty. Yeah, that too. Of those but, guys, man. There's a lot of loyalty with those dudes, man. Yeah. Like, you guys got yeah. some ride or dies in this genre, man. There's ride a lot of flip floppers, too, though. There's a lot of flip floppers, cool. but there are a lot of loyal supporters out there, too. Yeah. Well, you know what it is, man? Do you recall? Okay, I don't know how old you are, bro. 36. I, 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 I'm, I'm in my. Okay, all right. I'm 38. So we're like right around there, right? So you remember, like, when, like in high school, if everything was like chill, there really wasn't much going on. Yeah, like it would be like, yo, did you hear what that motherfucker just said? You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> you'd make something out of nothing because yeah. there's nothing going on. It was like, yeah, you know, things are quiet. It's What's all up, quiet bro? on the western yeah. front. Yeah, and somebody's got to go and and fucking stir the pot. And I think that's what that's what these people are doing here. Yeah, <clears throat> they're stirring right. the fucking pot. The instigators on here. And it's all yeah. entertainment for their sick, perverse entertainment. That's what it is. I, I got to This is reality TV. That's what it's become, you know? Oh, bro. Yeah. And two things, like I tell, I tell Chris, I'm Switzerland. I'm not talking shit about people. I, that was never my style. Unless somebody no. does something to me, I don't talk shit about people. But I got to say, one I guy, talk I shit like, about them as a whole. Yeah. He don't give a, <laughs> yeah he, he's got no filter. But one guy I love is MRE. Yeah. yeah. MRE is awesome. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, because I I send you some of his shit. He's awesome because I could watch his shit for days. He's great. The way he dies. Bro, the comments comments from some of these dudes are awesome, dude. Like that that, uh, that pink veal dude. Oh, yeah, pink. Shout out to Pink, bro. That's a great yeah. name. Everybody yeah. loves that name. Yo, yo, Pink, shout out to they you. They love bro. that like, name. Straight up. That dude, that dude is like, he, he's ride or die, bro. Like, yeah, that he dude is. is ride or die as He's fuck. solid. Yeah. He, he, that's a solid dude. I don't yeah. know this kid. I don't know this dude. I never heard him. I never seen him. I'm nothing about, but he's in those comments. Like, he's from Texas. Every yeah. single, right. every single video, every single live stream, he's in those comments, and that dude is doing nothing but love every time. Support, <laughs> yeah. got, you know, got his back, good, bad, or indifferent. I'm like, yo, oh, this something is funny to That's say. Like, always positive, great guy. Always PDV, yeah. PDVP, man, he's good. He's always, We're good. always watching, bro. We're always watching. I'm always seeing these comments because, mm-hmm. like I said, the comments is what I'm really kind of there for. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I love the feedback wow. that I get. Like when he went on the show, when 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 Kuji over here went on the show, I I about I mean, dude, I about did a fucking backflip, bro. I was I was ecstatic to see him on the show. Yeah, and and I think you were on there too, right? You were on there the first night. No, with him the night I butted in. It was that like you butted in, right? Before. Well, it was your first appearance on the show. But the amount of fucking love that they showed to you guys was astronomical, man. Yeah, I mean, I watched the show later on where it was it, it was just Chris just yapping, just talking shit, whatever, yeah. doing his thing, doing what he does, you know, uh-huh. staring at the, ca- and the, at the at the camera, reading the comments, and uh, and they were in the comments like, "Yo, where's Paul? Bring Paul back!" And I'm like, "Yeah, like they love this fucking." Yeah, they do. Because, you know, people want you to come back on. I was like, I don't know why. I, I don't think I'm that interesting. I no, mean, you I are though. I think, all right, you are. All right. I mean, and you were part of a fucking classic movie, so you're always gonna have that. Nobody can take that away it. from you, bro. Nobody that's can take it. that away from you. It's a curse. Yo, you know what? It's a curse. It is. You think so? Yeah. I'm telling you. Why? Is Why is it a curse? Ask him. I can't go nowhere. Oh, he can't go uh, nowhere. He get, you know why? Because I break his balls at least a couple of times a month with the I can't do coffee cake shit. <laughs> They always Dude, I made, a, I made a meme for him, bro. I'll, I'll send you this meme I made for him. It, you know the singer fucking uh, uh, Meatloaf? Yes, yes. Of okay. Course. So you know that song, I Would Do Anything for Love, but uh-huh. I won't do that, right? Yeah. I put a picture of, of Meatloaf at the top. He's singing and shit, and it says, I would do anything for love. On the bottom is a picture of him as a kid with the schnozzle. <laughs> yeah. I can't do coffee cake. 
You had a schnoz as a kid. You see, what, you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> I was I I had told Chris, and I think I told you this one year. One of my friends left the screen on my door with a note. Calls me. He rang the doorbell. Took off. I'm like, what the fuck? He goes. Uh, he pulls the conduit. All right. All right. Listen, bring him on. I'll help these guys out. Wingman. Um, he's married. I'm married. I don't know what we could we'll hook you up. We'll get you juice stuff. Don't worry. Gunsmoke, I'm a great wingman. Yeah. Um, so so the kid, he rings my doorbell. There's a fucking screen outside. I come out. I'm like, what the fuck? There's a note. It says, he's like, yo, you, yo, did you get the note? I was like, yeah, well, I don't understand. It, it says, be by at whatever time. Put this in front of your face. I'll have the shit ready. I was like, you motherfucker, man. I was like, really? I was like, I was like, you guys got nothing better else to do? Yeah. What the? Hold on. Oh, ridiculous. We got a fake. Uh, we got an imposter in here talking shit. Hold on. Who's that? Nah. Hey, no See, I'm not watching the stream right now, so I'm not enjoying yeah. myself on the comments like the I com- want to be. On the top right, it should have two tabs, private chat and comments. Click comments. You could see all the nonsense. I see the dots. I you see the wrench is better smarten up, all right? Oh, uh, there you go. Get a physical yeah. wrench. I see me on the far right, you dead in the middle, and I see gun smoke on the, on the left. You don't but see I don't comments? see shit out. Like when, when I put them up? Like, watch, watch. Hold on. When you put them up, I see them. Yeah, so you see like, that? Yeah, oh. I see that. Yeah, oh, you know why? Because you're on your phone. You're not on a laptop. You're on your phone. Right. Okay. Yeah, my laptop's falling down. My laptop's like, still packed up, man. I got to get that thing out of there. Yeah. 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 You gotta no, do that. Well, no, good. I'll rewatch this. I'll rewatch this just to see what was being said before me and all that. And I'll check <laughs> Thank it out. you. I need the views. Thank you. Yeah. No, <laughs> you know, I'll, pound the, I'll pound that like button. Yeah. <laughs> you got to do it for the kids. Everybody says that. Pound that like button. You yeah. got it. Crazy oh, shit, bro. Yeah, I got he needs a wrench to take care of business. Who needs a wrench? I gave you a wrench uh, earlier. Lefty Guns. He says, I need oh. a wrench. He's ready to go. <laughs> I just hate when they demand it, you know? Hey. I hear what you're saying. I got a, I accidentally deleted the uh, – well, I didn't delete him, but I removed Cousin Paulie. I got to give it back to him. But I don't see him in here right now, so – but yeah, I gotta That's give it back funny. to Cousin Paulie. That was by accident. Oh, here he is. Hold on. It's funny as hell, man. Jesus Christ. Oh wait, did I delete Lefty Guns? Fuck, I meant to give him the moderator. <laughs> Hold on, I hit him. See, you guys are fucking me up over here. Wow, well, my bad. Uh, I'm not, uh, nah, too much going on. I'm, I'm not as computer savvy as you think I am. <laughs> Take it easy. He's all There we go. Oh, fuck. All right, guys. Anyway, <laughs> on with the show. Anyway, I'm sorry. That was on. Yo, did you pay? Let me ask you something. Did you pay to watch that Sammy and Mike bickering fest? <laughs> no, I want to buy maybe one episode. I mean, I saw the live uh, argument they had. That was enough for me. I think I saw about enough. I think you saw the high, like right. It's like yeah. watching the, the the coming attractions. You yeah, I got to see it for free. So fuck yeah, it. That's, yeah, that's. Yeah. I don't need to pay to see it, you know, because I, I already saw them live. I think it's interesting. It's funny though. I think it's hilarious. You know, these two guys. It's, like, it's like verbal geriatric boxing. <laughs> you know, to yeah. kill somebody. What he's gonna tell you? Yeah. He's gonna t- come well, on. do you think Chris he's ever killed anybody? Let me ask you that. Because some people don't think he's done it before. I think he had to. I think his father would demand it. Like, yeah, you know, we're going to usher you in here, but you got to at least do something, you know? You're not going <sighs> to make you look crazy. I don't, I don't know, bro. I got I got some crazy theories of my own. Uh-oh. You know? Let's hear one. I'm going to have to yell out. I, I don't know. I, I, think, I think, you know, Okay, so I'm I'm literally split 50-50. I would be lying to you if I said that I thought I one way more than the other. Yeah. But I but either A he this is all just a big charade. Everything that he's saying, you know, I'm a Christian, I'm this, I'm that, da 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 is just a big charade. Or or he's a thousand percent. Right, yeah. but 
But either way, he's not going to say nothing. Well, I mean, would you? He's not going to say nothing. Because why would you be, first off, if you talk about it, you're a fucking idiot. He's not that stupid. Exactly. There's no statute of limitations on that. Yeah. You got it, brother. And even if he did, have uh, have some sort of immunity out of it and whatever. He's not going to say that because who's going to who's going to bring him back into their churches and shit like that? Yeah, that's yeah. true. You know what I mean? Yeah, he'd be just right. burning himself no matter which way he twisted and turned it. So, I mean, he he literally is a toss up for me. I'm just glad that like none of that shit matters to me in my life because yeah. I'm literally fifty fifty about it. Like, yeah. I, and and yeah. I hate that. Like, I don't like. Uh, not being for certain about certain things. Yeah, that thing dri- that that drives me batshit. Um, but you know, I mean, he, he seems like a good enough guy as far as him as a personality on the on the on the internet on the YouTube and shit. Yeah, I'm kind of just I don't know, dude. The same shit. It's the same shit every time. My father told me. My father was Sonny Francis. Yeah. My brother died of a drug. Yeah. My brother, my sister died. It, I like what he says. I did eight years on the ten. I did eight years on the ten. I like it's that. always the same shit. It's and always the same shit. You hear that old chestnut about the the gas scam? Yeah. With the meat, with the package of meat, he's like, "No, it's not meat, kid. Go ahead, open yeah. it. It's money. Go ahead, open it." He always it. has you the same it. story. Yeah, he's he ran been a story. It for like seven years, bro. Like <laughs> yeah. seven years. Dude. That's his hustle. No he makes That's money. It. Well, I mean, it works for him. But, yeah. You know, I, they like his personality. You know, him. like he does like movie him. reviews. He'll review like the Bronx Tale. He'll review all these I other. I like stuff. that. I like it too. I like a that. bit. That's more interesting than hearing this shit. That it's like you know, it, come on, man. Like that's you know, my watch, thing. Watch, watch it's like Mike. Mike watch stick fucking to that. Yeah. yeah, do that. Give me, give me reviews. You know what? I'd hear his fucking review on Titanic before. You know <laughs> what I mean? Before I, I'd like to listen to another. My father told me this yeah. fucking story. I, I don't yeah, give a that. shit anymore. You know? I mean, honestly, like that's where I'm at. But I'll be honest with you. I really enjoyed his review of uh, the Many Saints of Newark because yeah. I, as soon as I watched it on lunch. Like, as soon as it hit on HBO Max, I turned that bitch on. Me and my wife were waiting for that shit. Yeah. And uh, I was actually here in Florida while I was visiting, and my wife was still in Arizona packing up our shit. But anyway, um, dude, after I watched it, I called my wife, and I was like, what the fuck did we just see? (laughs) Like, what is this shit? I heard about the reviews. Yeah, it's very well. Bro, it was terrible, bro. Mm -hmm. It It was fucking horrible. It was such a fucking disgrace to the to the series, and 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 when he released his shit like three or four days later, he said everything that I said, and I was like, "All right, yeah, I'm, okay." I'm about the conversation we had when you called me about it, and you're like just fucking angry, like so, like I was I up because I heard a lot of people were mad. Yeah, no, he calls me up. He was like, mad, "Not bro. no hell or nothing." He was like, "Can you believe what the fuck this asshole they made, made the Italians look bad?" You know. No, it just does this, it doesn't make any sense. Forget that. The story mm. has nothing. It it's it just it's not what we were promised. It jumps yeah. all over the fucking place. It doesn't touch on Tony for shit. Yeah. It makes Tony look like a fucking retard. I don't know. I just I just didn't and then I'm like, wait, we waited all these years. <laughs> yeah. All these HBO years does that about shit. fucking Dickie Maltasanti. Who gives two fucking shits about Dickie Maltasanti? You know what they should have done? I'll tell you what they should have did. In my opinion, HBO should have did the Cleaver movie. The Cleaver, uh, you know, like in the HBO series. Oh, yeah. They should have done it for real. They should have yeah. done it for real. With Alec Baldwin, the cool. fuck with it. Stephen Baldwin, I think it was. And that would have been great. Bring cool. back Chrissy and all that. Bring them all back, you know? Well, we don't want Alec Baldwin. Because, no, no, know, no. He's the gangster want... now. He's a gangster. Yeah. Well, you can't trust yeah. him with a, a cap gun. No, no. He'll he'll pull the trigger. My he dude will blow a hole in you without even pulling the trigger and then get on TV and cry. Well, you know he's got a hot temper. <laughs> he's, he's knocked people out over frigging parking spaces in the city, I think. Uh, yeah, he's got a hot head. He's got, but you know what? Stephen Baldwin, even though I know Dom's about to clown on me, I, I worked for him. I worked at his club. He had yeah. a lounge. On the, uh, I think it was in the West Side. I'm gonna remember, but I met him. I met him at China Club, and he wanted me to. I DJed at his uh, spot. He he was cool, 
But it was a very weird meeting because he had some girl with a fishnet dress that was she was naked underneath. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, you know, I heard your your stuff. I like it. So I want you to come play. And I, I you know, uh, not, the your promoter and the website uh, at the time I was represented by nightclubvip.net. I don't even know if they're around anymore, but. He's like, I like your stuff. So when can you start? I said, whenever you want, man. I was like, what the fuck, man? This guy's talking. And there's like people looking like, what the fuck? You're hanging out with Stephen Baldwin. So he's like, all right, enough business. Let's get drunk. He goes, and let's grab some broads. I was like, okay. All right. So this is happening. Yeah. He was a sick. And he was with this girl. I'd never forget. She had a gown on. It was a fishnet. She was naked. Nice. Top to bottom. I was like, all right. Yeah. I'm in my, I'm in the right place. The guy's <laughs> pre-games before the pre-game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else. I'm not going to disclose whatever else went on with him because he was doing <laughs> shit. But he was having a good night that yeah. night. I went to China Club like 15 years ago. It was all right. They have like the three floors. And uh, I saw Tracy Morgan walking down the stairs as I was going up, and he was pissed. He's like, I told y'all to come the fuck on. I told y'all I was ready to go, right, motherfucker? And he's just walking down the stairs. He was pissed. What are you yelling at? I don't know. It's his crew behind him. He had like two, three dudes behind him walking down the stairs. With him. He's like, I told it's Tracy you. Morgan, bro. He could have um, been yelling at his fucking shadow. You know I what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but he's a, he's a nice guy in the city. You know, people say he's nice. Yeah, he's a nice guy. He's yeah. a little fucking shot upstairs. Yeah, he's a little crazy. He's a little cool. Bots. He's a little out of there. <laughs> a little, I mean, little bit of little on bots. <laughs> You know, back in the day, the China Club was more, not really a place that you went to party. It was more to meet up and then really? go out somewhere else, really, at least for me. Yeah. I didn't like it personally. It wasn't my cup of tea. You've been to Webster Hall? Webster Hall, I played there. That was one of my first huge, huge venues. I was at like a crowd that was, I don't know, I think it was at capacity. And I had to open up for this guy, Ricky Corbo. And I had to play five hours. And it was like, oh, I had just came back from Cancun partying. So it's like, I got there. Yeah, I get off the plane. I land. Uh, promoters calls me, Paul, how you doing? How was Mexico? Couldn't give a shit. He goes, you're playing at Webster Hall Friday. So pack your shit. I'm like, motherfucker. I get there. I look at the crowd. I'm like, okay, look at the equipment. I was like, I'll be right back. Went in the bathroom, threw my brains up. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Probably also because of Mexican water and everything. Yeah. So I go, I come out. I was like, <laughs> the, the promoter's like, Paul, you look like shit. Everything all right? I was like, yeah. He goes, drink some water, do a few shots. You're on in 20. I got yeah. on and I just smoked the place. I did my thing and you yeah. know they loved me there. I was there for almost a year. Okay. And it was in, it was nuts, man, coming in there. Yeah, I like the whole setup in there, you know, with the, the stage and the um yeah. balconies and all that. Bro, try sitting behind that booth and you just see all these fucking people and now everybody's yeah. looking at you to see what are you throwing on. Exactly. That's crazy. Let yeah. me ask you. Um you were um I remember my question earlier about the Bronx tale. I know yeah. Chaz Palmentary, he uh, he did like a Broadway show or I don't know if it was a one man show with the Bronx tale. Were yeah. you a part of that in any way, or no. did you go see it? No, I, uh, you know, and sadly, I didn't see it. I, I was supposed to, and then uh, something had came up, a family matter had came up, and I didn't yeah. see it, and it, I regret it. But originally, his one-man show was in um, Belmont, uh, the Belmont Playhouse in Arthur Avenue. That's where he started. And yeah. the hero apparently came to see it, and that's what started that whole thing. Okay. But I didn't see the Broadway, the Broadway play, and then yeah. one man show that he took back on. But you know, I missed out on that movie. I missed out on that movie oh, because yeah, my yeah. mother was scared of the fucking train. No, oh, tell him. Uh, scared of the train. No, he, he was going to go for an scared audition. of the train. So, so Paul's mom calls my mom and says, "Hey, they're filming a movie down here." I'm taking the kids down. You should bring Dom out. So my mom's like, what what, what, what kind of movie? What are they What are they doing? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? You know? <laughs> and she's like, well, there's a pretty, you know, pretty good lineup, you know, this and that. She wasn't really trying to, like, you know, hype it up too much. And my mother's like, hey. I said, what? She goes, you want to go be in a movie? <laughs> I said, I said, yeah, I'll be in a movie because when I was a kid, I was like, oh, I was a little character, you know. Yeah. I used to do the voices and you know, fuck around. And I said, yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. She's like, all right, we'll go. So she hangs up the phone and everything. 
And my mother's like pacing around, pacing around, pacing around the kitchen. And I'm like, what's the matter? Like, are we going to go? And she's like, no, I don't got enough gas. Uh -huh. I was like, we're going to, we're going to go to the, wait, what? We're going <laughs> to drive? You know yeah. what I mean? Because we never drove to the city. You know uh -huh. what I mean? It was yeah, who the hell wants to do that? Yeah. Jumped on the train. And, um, you know, and that was it. My mother hated the, the, the train station over in Smithtown. So it was always like, you know, Deer Park or some shit, whatever she what was. Was it because it was crime? Like bad? Like she was afraid? Yeah, I guess she was just afraid. Dude, she's all like afraid of her own shadow and shit. So she didn't want to go. And and then like, I, I never heard anything about it. And the next thing you know, they're like, hey, your cousin Paul. He's in the fucking movie. You gotta see this kid. They yeah. fucking glued this thing to his I'm fucking sure you were face. Pissed. And, da, da, da. Fuck. Yeah. and I was like, son of a bitch, man. Yeah. Son of a bitch. I you know what's crazy? Cool, I'll tell you a crazier story, bro. You want to hear a crazy story? So, so this is a true story, too, by the way. Yeah. Paul, back me up on this. I'm, gonna, I'm listening. This is I'm a here. true story, bro. <laughs> People really... hear this story, dude. They think I'm bullshit. Yeah. And, and he's right here to, 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 to type. So years and years goes by. My mom, like, you know, loses touch with, like, the family in the city and stuff and, and everything else. So my parents, uh, you know, there's a lot of shit going on. I'll, 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 I can get into it some other time or whatever, you know, about why I left New York and all that. Okay. But my parents were like, yeah, all right, cool. We're going back. Like, we're leaving. We're going to Arizona. So they go to Arizona. So I lose touch of Paul and my other cousins out in the city and shit. I had cousins in Staten Island, you know, Brooklyn, stuff like that. My, you know, my, my cousins that lived on the island, we still kind of stayed in touch with them because they were close. But beyond that. So fast forward. And I'm just randomly, I go out, I buy a PlayStation 3. Okay. Randomly. Buy a PlayStation 3. I, I'm like, all right, cool. Throw in the Call of Duty. Boom! Jump into a random match of zombies uh -huh. with just a random dudes that I don't know, and so, but I could tell that these three dudes that I'm playing with have like camaraderie, like they're shooting the shit with each other. Yeah, yeah. And I could tell that they're from New York and shit, and so I'm like, oh, that's cool, you know, you know, you know, some guys from my neck of the woods. That's cool. Yeah. You know, not very many of us in Arizona. And so I'm shooting the shit with these guys, and somebody says something about, oh, it was Chris. Chris, uh, yeah. Paul's cousin Chris, says something about a Bronx tale. And I go, I go, he says, oh, what do you know about that? You don't know nothing about that. He says that to me. And I said, motherfucker, I know all about yeah. that. He goes, no, you don't. I said, motherfucker, my cousin was in the movie. So this one here says, get the fuck out of here. You know, who's your cousin? So I said, I ain't, I ain't dropping fucking names, bro. My cousin was in the fucking movie. So he's like, dude, you're bullshit. You're a fucking, you're a lying sack yeah. of shit. He's breaking my balls, this one here. Oh, yeah, bullshit, this and that. So I says, dude, my cousin was in the fucking movie. I'm not playing with you <laughs> fucking guys. I don't got shit to prove to you motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Yeah. My cousin was in the movie. There was yeah. a beef. There was a beef. Who did he play? Out. Who the fuck did he play? I'll tell you right now, you're bullshit. I, who did he play? I said he played fucking Crazy Mario, the fucking young version. Yeah. This one here goes, who the fuck is this guy? You guys put this guy up to this shit, blah, 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 blah. Random as fuck, bro. Random as fuck, I run back into my cousin. On a random game. Wow. Random so, as shit. See, I call that Santeria shit when shit like that happens. No, but wait, it's getting <laughs> better. Because now I really don't believe him. And I'm like, yeah. all right. One of you motherfuckers got somebody playing games. I said, now it's getting yeah. serious. I said, so either somebody needs to, because I was getting pissed. I was like, yo, who the fuck is this? You're giving out my information. I said, yo, like, what's going on? I was a hothead. Yeah. So he goes, I could prove it to you. He goes, I'm going to send you something right now. We'll get on the phone. I was like, I'll, I'm call you right now, motherfucker. Well, I was on the phone. I'll, I'll call you right now, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Like, right, yeah. Who the fuck are you? So he's like. Telling me it's Dom. I was like, all right, you could. Which one? That's like right. John in my family. All right, that's good. Which one? So he's going on and on. He's like, ask your mother this. I was like, all right. And ask your mother. Out, yeah, my mother, because he's like, I'll tell you stuff that I know. 
about your family. So I'm not going to get into what you asked me. We'll leave it that. No, no, no. So I go to her. I'm like, can you come in? I was like, so I'm asking my mother this, this, this. She goes, why are you asking me this stuff anyway? So she confirmed everything. She goes, why are you asking me this? I said, I got some guy on the phone. He claims that he's my cousin in Arizona. I said, last night, check. We don't have fucking family out in the desert. I was like, so who the fuck is this guy? She's like, oh, yeah, that's, that's your cousin Don. She goes, oh, yeah, they moved out there many years ago. She was like, oh, how'd you reconnect? I was like, I got to talk to you later. I said, wait a minute. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> like, mind fuck. Yeah. Then I get back on, and the guys are like, they're like, they're like, did you take care of that jerk off? I said, yeah, no, that jerk off's my cousin. I'm like, what? I said, no, he's my cousin. I said, I, I don't even know what, I said, what the fuck's going on over here, man? Random shit. But, yeah. And here we are. Yo, and, and we've been like brothers. Yeah. Ever since. Sick, right? I, 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 I love him with like with with that's all my cool. heart that's that's, that's cool. my cool G, that's man. i love my cousin yeah that's special that. yeah it's crazy right it took that <laughs> i was like yo i hate that fucking franchise but i will always give it credit for that yeah they're that crazy story bro like it is don't believe that shit i went to his wedding yeah. i went to his wedding and i'm sitting there bro beautiful wedding by the way amazing wedding this kid had i'm sitting there in the reception hanging out family members are like holy shit i can't believe you're you're here i haven't seen you since forever you're marianne's kid oh my god blah 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 so they says man they said what was like when was the last time you and paulie actually hung out like, oh fuck i don't know when we were like 11 years old or some shit or whatever yeah. and they were like oh you know so i told them this story bro people were like <laughs> just dumbfounded. Are you yeah. serious? Are you serious? You expect me to believe that? Yeah. I was it's like, crazy. dude, go ask him. It's like go life's coincidences, him. you know, but it's like more than a coincidence. That's why I think like things happen for a reason in life. Like I kind of believe in God and sometimes I don't, but like, it's kind of weird. Man. It's just like, you, like things that don't even like, uh, you can't explain it. Like things that don't even have a reason, but they connect somehow. Like I'll give you an example. Like um, All right. I used to sell weed back in the day and uh, I used to sell weed to this girl for like a year straight. Didn't know her, you know, she was just on my guy's phone that I was working for, you know? Right. And uh, she turns out to be my half sister. I had no idea the whole time. Oh, and I'm not as close with her as you guys are. Cause I'm just not like that, you know, but um, it was just crazy. Like the coincidences in life. And then I found out who my father was and all this shit, like in my life. So Damn. it was just, a weird coincidence. You know? like, and all the people, at all the girls that sell weed to, she turns out to be my half sister. She's a sweetheart. She's a great girl. You know, we keep in contact, but we're not as close as we should be. You know, but yeah. Let's flip out. So I, I kind of understand yeah, what you're saying. It's, it's here. crazy. You know, I kind of understand what you're saying, like the weird ironies in life and all that. So, bro, it really shouldn't have worked out because if you really think about it, right? I mean, and this is what actually I cannot take credit for this for this outlook this comes straight from his cousin chris but his cousin chris told me he says um dom he says do you understand the odds of you getting into that fucking room he goes first off you're on a west coast server like you're from you, you're, you know what i mean like you yeah. should be joining west coast servers yeah at the, you know what i mean and you you're have to just there. join into an east coast server Yep. And just, and, and this one, I mean, it's like, you know, it's flipped out, man. What are the it odds? Makes you think, right? Yeah, what are the odds, what are the chances? You know, it's just, things happen for a reason, you know? It was a I'd love for some mathematician to figure out the actual yeah. number that that would be, because I, I can tell you right yeah. now, it's like one in a fucking billion, you know? Yeah. It's insane. It was like legendary. Like, the guys were losing their fucking minds, because I was yeah. in there with my cousin, my, my other cousin that's here in the Bronx, and he's like, his outlook on life, he, you know, he's a town, he's just the you know, same thing. All brothers like me, but he's, he's different when, when, um, when we were like coming out of high school, like I was hanging out a lot, you know, in the street doing my fucking stupidity. Yeah. And, um, you know, he's like, fuck this. I'm going to the Marines. See you later. If I'm not dead, we'll, we'll meet up for drinks. I was like, all right, whatever, man. So he went away. He did his thing. He got back from Iraq. So he was all good. So he became like, I'm spiritualist. He goes, I was like, all right, dude, whatever the fuck that means. I mean, he, he could still, you know, handle himself, but 
you know, I told, and we, we kind of spoke about life and shit. I was like, dude, it was so good that you left. He was like, yeah, but it was crazy out there. I said, well, it's much better over here. And uh, <laughs> his whole thing is he goes, the universe came together and got yeah. it. Like, all right. I said, somebody or either fucking uh, Activision said, all right, let's get these two fucking guineas together and make this happen. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's it worked out good. Yeah. It worked out Mom, good. you got a fan. Yeah. Uh, pounding that pink veal. I can't use the the abbreviation because that oh, name's too good. He likes you. Oh yeah, yeah. He's, well, yeah. Same, he's he's good. Good. That fucking guy's good, man. Dude, I'm telling you, I love that guy, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, I told you, bro. He's I good. Love that guy, yo, pink veal, bro. You're the fucking man, dude. He's Much also love, known as Vinny Boombots too. The fucking doctor. That's his other name. There you go. That's Vinny awesome. Boom. Yeah, he's a great guy, man. I'm always seeing him comment, and yeah. dude, he's always got nothing but good shit. And like, even when he says something negative, it's something negative against somebody who is being negative to the guy he loves. You know, what somebody I mean? who like, deserves it. Yeah, he doesn't have a yeah, exactly. He doesn't have a bad thing to say. He's a good dude, man. I like yeah. that guy. Shout out, bro. I'll give you another <laughs> shout out. You're a solid <laughs> dude. I like you, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's great shit. But yeah, I mean, it's crazy, bro. Like how life will take you places, man. It's really flipped out. Like, yeah, it's it's so crazy, man. You know, I, I say you can never give up in life, even if it looks bad. I mean, it could get better in a year, a week, fucking ten years, twenty years. You never know what life's gonna take you, man. Like I never knew I would know the people I know now on this YouTube and be here mm -hmm. talking to you guys. I mean, Jesus Christ, I'm one of Fucking live with a guy who was in fucking Bronx Tale. Ah, uh, don't, don't even, don't even. I'm just saying, bro. It's crazy. Like, uh, I'm, I, I'm a humble guy, and you know what? It was a great yeah. life experience. I enjoyed it. I, you know, a lot came out of it. I was in that movie Funeral too, but that shit's dark as hell. And you know, about fucking yeah, it's fucked. Up. It's fucked up, dude. Yeah. That's a movie you should watch, bro. Is it a scary movie? movie? It's a mob no. movie. It's oh, it's a mob movie. movie. And it's Christopher Walken, um, Benicio Del Toro. Oh, it's that's why you do the accent so good, because you've been around this guy. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Wait, 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 I got to read that comment, though. It's, Yo, you look in that a movie. Calabrian mobster tied into the old country. You're, you're Galabrez? Yeah. My uh, my grandmother's, well, my grandfather on my mother's side is uh, Park Calabrese. My grandmother's uh, from Body. And her husband was from Calabria. Oh, and fuck, they got together and wow. made more money. Can you imagine what the holidays were like at his house? Oh, yeah. The <laughs> Barez is like fucking... Ooh. I don't know if you know about Barez's dialect. Uh, if anybody in this chat room is Barez, you can't understand what the fuck they're saying. Not a fucking word. Really? Not a and word. My, my dialect's not any better. And like I've tried... I got a friend that's Barez. I haven't spoke, but we used to try to talk Italian when we were drunk. Yeah. Me. Don't ask why we would do it, but I would be like, dude, you got to speak English. Nobody knows what you're talking about. Talking nonsense. Bro, what about, yeah. what about when Nani fucking tore me up out in front of the house? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, all right. This is a funny story. He comes flying out for my wedding. So as I meet him, he comes out. And that's the first time we physically have been uh, like met up since we were 11. So I see him, I greet him in the morning. I'm like, come here, you fuck, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, listen, whatever you do, do not start talking Italian to my grandmother. <laughs> He's a zip. She's going to fucking break it. Because the, the one thing about the Galabres, like especially the, line, the dialect, yeah. it's fucking fast. It's like that okay. rapid fire. Rapid fire. And they don't, they, you fuck up, they don't want to hear about it. They keep, they're just like, oh, you don't fucking know, blah, blah, blah. And then they rip you for not keeping up with them. So this guy, he starts talking, and I'm trying to pull the conversation from Italian to English. Yeah, and the next thing you know, she just fucking messes him up. And he's looking all at me. So all I asked her was if I could eat her fucking basil. <laughs> she should have never did. She <laughs> never asked that shit in Italian, man. I told him, I said, keep the English. Oh, man. And then she get, they get frustrated when you can't keep up, and they're like, Eh, putana yeah. americana. Yeah. Uh, okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> americana, no. Yeah. Okay. Non giusto, non piace. Ne, non mi piace. No. No. Fucking funny, man. Yeah, dude, they'll roast you, bro. Those no, those zips will roast you something. Yeah, fierce, bro. I'm they in the trailer of the funeral on YouTube. If it means anything, you can't miss me. I'm holding. Oh, it's on YouTube. 
Well, no, the trailer is. I'm holding well, the trailer. Yeah. Special. You can't miss it. I got this fucking Smith and Wesson 38 special. <laughs> Yeah. Alec, Alec Yo, they made you look mad Sicilian in that movie, though. I was supposed to be. Yeah, you look hella school. Sicilian in that movie. Dude. I was supposed yeah. to be Sicilian in that movie. They must have dunked this kid by his feet and fucking bronzer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, actually, put him in some shellac or some shit. You know, well, it, when if I tan, I do get. I mean, I'm color bred. You get dark, but you dark. don't get like that, dude. No. That movie had you dark, bro. I wasn't that dark, Jesus. No, watch the trailer. Watch make the it, trailer. Making me sound like I'm a light. Little yeah. bit of uh, you know, a little melons out in there. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want me to ruin the show and have some jag off come come on here and curse me out real quick? Go oh, nuts, man. It's your yeah. show. Fuck, fuck, it. fuck it. Bring them on, bro. Right, I'll see what happens. Good. What is he talking shit for? I don't know. I think he's mad at FBS, and you know I'm yeah. friends with FBS, so I gotta get it too. You know. Oh, so you're guilty oh. by a fucking association? Yeah, that's that's, that's how it goes, bro. I'm swift. I don't get involved with this uh, YouTube arguing. It's not for me. Yeah. This guy says you don't have the Sicilian forehead. Step the <laughs> I don't have. The, all right, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say to that. Thanks. Yeah, and you had the Sicilian. Yo, do, I the Sicilian yes. do, awesome. do I got the fucking Sicilian fucking? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> What is a Chiliano? Yeah. Look like a Napolitan. Oh, know. me. I'm the Chiliano. Remember <laughs> in uh, the fucking the Saints of Newark? Yeah. Oh, me. Yeah. I'm the Chiliano. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Yeah, I haven't watched it. I've seen parts of it. I, I don't care to see it. I've heard the bad reviews. I don't want to get aggravated, you know, with the whole woke shit. You'll get aggravated. You'll get aggravated. <laughs> And it sucks because I fucking love I love Joey, I yeah. love fucking you know um, uh, Joey Diaz, I love him. Yeah, bro. he's great, man. man. It's the most fucking Guinea Cuban you'll ever meet in yeah. your life. But he, <laughs> you know, he's Puerto Rican. Guys, he's Cuban. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, I think he's Cuban. Yeah, he's Cuban. And, you know, but he's awesome, bro. He understands. I love him. Dude, that yeah, guy he's like Italian to me, bro. Speaks speaks fl fucking fluent Italian and shit. Yeah. It's cool as shit. But it was sad that he had to get in, like, you know, for the first time you really see him in, like, a decent ty like type of role, and it's just in a complete dog shit movie. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. The, well, he's got to keep at it. He's got to keep doing it. Well, the Ray Ray Yoda does, character man. pissed me off the most, that he played two parts, and the, fir the, the, the first part that he was in, like, was, I don't know, the obnoxious father, and then the uh, second part, he was just like, it felt like they were like, hey, listen, can you do another couple of scenes and just sit here and read off the paper? When he was in prison, the twin brother in prison, it was like boring as fuck. That me. was weird, dude. Hold on, hold that on. That was weird. Yep. I got Shaolin in here. All right. Do you think, the man. of Shaolin. All right, good evening. Yo, you there? The fucking fag. Yeah, what's See? up, Prick Smoke, the fag? What's up, bro? How Yo, are you? Pounding that pink veal. Do I have a lisp, you fucking jerk off? Do I have a lisp? I have a lisp to you, you fucking jerk off. None of you would say that to my fucking face. None of you. You're a bunch of little fucking clowns that blow FBS's little fucking cock. That's what you do. All of you. Gunsmoke, look what? at you. Pop <laughs> nothing. Holy I thought you liked me, bro. You were talking nice to me a few days ago. You're trying to. You think I say hello to like Paul? It's At least you should so show hard, respect yeah. to Paul. Say hello. Nah, don't, don't be, be rude. Involved. Listen, I don't want to be involved in anything. All right, all right. He doesn't yeah. want to say hello to you. Hey, I'll, I'll say hello. I said good evening. I'll talk to you. <laughs> Yo, dude from the Bronx, what's up, bro? How you doing, bro? Good evening. Herb, trying to be FBS. You're a herb. He's a herb. You're all fucking clowns and rats. That's what he's all a bunch of rats in the mob genre. Then you make fun. I of never ratted on nobody. I take umbrage to that. I, well, I never read it on nobody. Just trying to talk about these are all hypocrites. You yeah. backtrack on everything you say, Oli. And Did listen I? to these people and look at what they're saying in the chat. Fucking sad, sad. These people are sad. I'm. I'm you hate I'm the chat now. Here. Like why what do you hate the chat now? Why do you hate the chat now? What did the chat do? Who said what? I'm blocked. Room, but none of them in reality would fucking say it to me. I promise. And I know that. It's so frustrating to see what this shit I even got to see. 
pounding that pink veal, he gets pounded in his pink asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That, yeah. No, B, BK, I, I don't have any problems with you. I just want to know one thing. What part of Brooklyn are you from, if you don't mind, you don't mind me asking? I'm from Dyka Heights. Oh, okay. All right. That's what's yeah. up, bro. No, that's funny. That was because you, you, know, you remind me of this dude I growing up with, man. We he, we used to shoot the shit, and he used to just come out quick. Like you, if you came at him with like a comment, it was been... just rapid fire. So that's what's growing up, up in fucking New York, bro. Yeah, I hear you, bro. You I'm in the Bronx, like bro. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be ready to fucking you, you know just fire away. I hear People, you. Bro. They don't know you. They don't know what, what was that? Right? I'm, I'm sorry, you broke chat. up. He's cutting out. He's cutting yeah. out, man. Yeah. I just want to know why he's so aggravated. I don't know why. I don't know why he's so mad. He was cool a few days ago. I don't know what happened, bro. What happened, bro? Why are you so aggravated? Yo, come smoke. You talk shit, too. I see you talk. What did I talk shit? Please tell me one shit, thing bro. I said about you, BK. What did I say about BK Shelley? Oh, that's BK. Okay. I know who he is. I've seen him in the comments. Yeah. Uh, I always shouted him out, bro. He he's, he's always on my channel, so I'm always appreciative of, it, of him. I mean, dude, you're, I mean, I mean this with respect. You're a funny guy. I like your comments. I like that. You yeah. Have, you know, you got that New York mind like me. Oh, like, I, you know, I, I respect oh. that. I love breaking balls. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, I mean, let me be the moderator over here, like the mediator, the buffer. Who pissed you off? I'm kind of curious. And can we kind of swash the beef? So yeah. no, you seem like a good dude. But I'd like to talk to him more. Yo, we got to get this kid off the Wawa internet. Wait, wait, wait one more time, dude, because your your um your uh, audio broke up. I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. I don't know. He's got a bad. Yeah, signal. I didn't hear you either. You were breaking yeah. up too a little bit. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I hear you now though. What so yeah. what's up, dude? Like what who who do you who, how can we squash this beef? All right. Honestly, really uh, I want to let him I want to hear him. Hold you, on. Yeah, because you seem like look, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. You seem like beef. you're, you're a funny joke. guy here. Same. Get a fucking herb, these herbs. That's it. Yeah, but you know, no, I hear you. I look that breaking balls is cool and all, but you know, dude, you seem like you seem like you got a good person. Bro, if I started a channel, yeah, there would be no more of these fucking FBI. I'm right. Well, would you ever consider doing it? Maybe no, I'm, I mean that like in a positive way because if you, you know, you seem like you got a good personality, and I like the fact you I, break I, balls. I do. I do. Connections like like in the industry where I can get good interviews. So no, I'm, I'm being serious now. Yeah, so I'm being serious with you. Why don't you try doing something, man? Because you you know you're firing away over here with these one liners, and I don't think you're a bad person. I think you're just having fun. That's where I'm taking it. Yeah. I think he should do his own channel if that's oh, what he yeah, wants bro. to do. If he thinks he can do it better than FBS, why not? You know, I, I don't mean that condescendingly. I'm sincere. Like you know, if that's what you want to do. I don't, I don't have no problems with BK Shaolin. I don't, he's always been nice to me until a couple days ago. I don't fucking know. I didn't say nothing bad about you, bro. I got nothing bad to say about you. I wouldn't do that. So I don't know where you're getting that from. Uh, I think you're just mad right now about what happened the other day on the phone with FBS and all that. Or or whoever you were cursing out. I think it was uh, Bay 8th or whatever. I don't know, bro. Well, I mean, you're in good company with us. I got no problems with you. You seem yeah. cool. you were real cool when you came in here with me, and that's all. <laughs> I, you know, I show the same respect I'm giving. Bro, to thing. Thanks, bro. And back to you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, dude, why, seriously, if I'll tell you what. If you do do something, you let me know. I'll come on one day, and I'll talk on your wow. show. Wow. See? There you go. Look at that. That's beautiful. Well, he left, but yeah, I'm sure he appreciates it because I, you know, I'm a gentleman. I'm a yeah, you are a gentleman. You know, <laughs> no, I don't. I, you know, the, 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 there's look. All jokes aside, you know, breaking bulls one thing, but there's already too much hate in this world. Why we got it? We could joke exactly. Bro. We're here to be entertained. You know, you know? why you want to come on here and be more yeah. aggravated? You know, you know yeah, what it is, bro. man. It's burning fucking energy, bro. It's burning good energy on 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 negative shit. 
And let me say, man, I got to say, you know, people think they could do what FBS does. And I know he makes it look easy. He's just shooting this shit with you guys. And he gets up there twice a day for two hours at a time. And he fucking talks to the people or he comes on there with a subject matter. He carries a show. It's not easy to do. Like <clears throat> to even think about what the fuck you're gonna go on in here and say. I mean, it's not easy. No, most cats scripted out. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Most That's do. the crazy. No, shit. I know. What I'm saying most dudes do. He just improvs that shit right yeah. off the head. And you gotta have a personality. You gotta know how to speak. You gotta have the type of voice that people want to hear. I mean, I'm my sure. voice is shot. BK, BK put a message. He says he couldn't hear anything and he had to end it. Yo, that's no problem, bro. But listen, yo, look. Do what you – you should do something good for sure, man. You seem like a good dude. I'd have fun joking around with you because I know that. Like, I, you, you remind me of a good friend of mine that I used to chill with, man. So you keep doing your thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Have, have fun with life. You know, don't, don't take life too serious, but do something. Serious. I'd be on your show if you did it. I'll, I'll, I'll extend that to you. A little positive support your way, all right? All right, that was that was well said. Thank you, Paul. You, I'm yeah. glad you guys came on tonight, man. No, nah, there's no need for that. You know, you joke around, but you know, don't be angry at each other, man. There's too much of that shit already. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know, we can make jokes on each other. We rag on each other every fucking day, him and I. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you know, I mean, I don't know. It, it's like you know, you get some. Dude, if I could tell that guy one thing, it would be this. Half the fucking guys that are like stirring the pot, talking shit or whatever. Yeah. But doing it because they're bored out of their fucking skulls. They have to be. Why else would you just stir the pot for no reason? I wouldn't let I wouldn't let motherfuckers get under your skin. Because you know, I mean, you get you get problems, you start problems, and whatever, yeah. or they start problems, whatever. It doesn't matter. But you could be missing out on the opportunity to know somebody really cool, you know, oh. just because of a comment or whatever on on YouTube. Yeah. And that shit sucks. One more, just one more thing, because he responded. BK uh, uh, BK Shallon responded. Yo, respect to YouTube, bro, because you know what I'm saying? You know, you, you, know, you came on, respect. you were respectful to me. I'm going to be respectful right back at you, man. Yeah. I think you're a good dude, and whatever you're pissed off about or whatever's got you stirred, you could squash that out. And, you know, we, I, it seems like this is a welcoming community, bro. Let's have fun. It really is. There's a lot of good people on here, a lot of creeps, yeah. but there's also a lot of good people on yeah, here. You gotta, yeah. There's no need to yeah. fucking uh, hate each other or go out or get aggravated with each other on here. We're here to be entertained. And- I like how he breaks balls, man. I, I'm yeah. telling you, I would love yeah, to be sick about it. Breaking balls is healthy. It is. It's no, good we, to balls you know, this, is, this is called on the corner with, with gun smoke. Yeah. Yeah, we got to get him on here more often. We could be busting balls all night. With him. <laughs> well, why not? About. Yeah, I mean, that's what it's all about. Hanging out. I mean, I don't really have a subject matter for my show yet. I'm going to come with it soon, but. Wow. Uh, have you ever hung out on a corner in the Bronx? This is what goes on back in the day when I was hanging out. Just fucking well, in Washington shit. Heights, yeah, same thing. So same shit, just yeah. a different fucking avenue. <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't don't burn don't burn your energy on it, man. It ain't worth it, BK. It ain't worth it, bro. No, he ain't worth it. Down. I don't know. He's all right. He's not a bad guy. He just needs to calm down. He's upset. Oh, you know. Yeah. It happens, man. It happens. I, I get pissed too, but you know, you, you as you get older, you learn to, you know, not ki- stress will kill you. Yeah, so yeah it's you it's. I used to be like that too, man. You know, my daughter mellowed me out. I got four kids. My last one was my little girl. And she mellowed me the fuck out. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, man. It's like, like I was quick to react on anybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Snap. You know. Not even just verbally. I'd get fucking violent. Put hands you look like you can snap you somebody's know? head off over there. <laughs> yeah, fucking guy. And, yeah. You, you know, know, but I mean, you know, it's like, but in all honesty, I think about it now. Like, I like, honestly, this is true. True story. I, uh, I had beef with like all these guys, man. They had beef with me. I had beef with them. You know, it was whatever. And then I see them later on in life, like on Facebook or whatever. And I'm like, dude, that dude could have been like, you know what I mean? We could have been friends. Like he was a, you know, he's a solid guy, you know, he's stand up dude. He's got a family, whatever, you know, like all because 
somebody said something in his camp or you know what I mean? Something stupid or whatever. And now we're like, and now it's like, oh, I remember that guy. Yeah, fuck him. He's an idiot. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's dumb, you know. You could make you could make really good friends, you know. I, yeah. I I'll be honest with you, dude. Some of the guys, some of the guys that I was that I was able to put aside the shit from, you know, because you know how we guineas do it, bro. Once you got a beef, that's it. We take yeah. that shit. With you us. never forgive it. You, you know never what I mean? Nothing. That's know? it, bro. It's it, that's it, man. You know what do they say? You know, uh, God forgives Sicilians. Don't. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. You know that's me, but. You know, I, I, you know, but some of those guys, some of those guys, you know, that I that I beefed with in the past, some of my best friends now. I can call them right now and ask them for anything; they would help me out. You know what I mean? So, you know, it, but it takes you, you know, taking that extra step and letting something roll up your shoulder, or you know just kind of saying like all right i'm i'm you know i'm okay you know with the beef or whatever you know but i don't know this shit this shit with the with the youtube man i sure. don't know i it's it, you think it's, it's not worth getting man? aggravated about man it's really not you know what i mean and 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 i'll be honest with you like if i had my own channel or something and that mm-hmm. was going on I would bring these guys on, man, and just let them fucking vent out their shit. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'd be like, yo, here's yeah. a link. Here's fucking a link. battle you royale. Fuckers, like, handle your shit. Yeah. And, 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 but I would have, like, one rule, I would say. But at the end of it, you know what I mean? Let the other one explain the other, you know what I mean? Like, explain their side of the shit. Because yeah. it might not just be, oh, I thought you were a jerk off. It might have been, oh, well, did you say this comment two weeks ago? No, that wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. I so, I you know, just don't though. exert your energy on it, bro. Once it's more, not, you know. Yeah. You, I think you just got one of your first possible show topics. You could do a squash in the beef. You just have people come on in here. Yo, seriously, you you seem like a chill dude. I don't think you get yeah. like angry. I get aggravated yeah. though. I get aggravated. No, 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 no. But you gotta do a look. You gotta moderate. Just be the yeah. fucking voice of reason. Have the dudes hash out. You know they flip out on each other, and uh, yo, everybody fucking goes their own way. I don't want these people to fight at all. Though. It's like it's so stupid. Like what the fuck are yeah, you people fighting? You can't fighting stop about? that, bro. You can't stop you can't. that. But I mean, you I could. But, but you know what? Over like, time. Right? Is up of letting him air it out. Corey wants to know what's going on. I'm sorry. My camera's up on my laptop, and I'm trying to read what you guys are saying at the same time. Talk to these guys. My bad. <laughs> oh. If you're wondering. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, sometimes, you know, all you can do is let somebody air out their shit. You're not going to stop it, but maybe over time of, of that being the thing, you know, you can go either way, right? You can turn it into fucking Jerry Springer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where it's all about the fights, and then it, it's like you know, the more insulting, the better. Yeah. Or you could—that's what it's turned to... into. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Sometimes... You got to be the voice of reason, bro. You know what I mean? Sometimes people just gotta like get get it out, get it out there, fucking unload on each other, and then somebody's yeah. like, "All right, so why would you say this? Why'd you say? Well, I thought you said this." Sometimes people are pissed off at each other. I noticed on here because of not what someone said. But what someone told them that they said. Yes, yes. And it's like, yo, speak. I, if I got something to say to somebody, I'm going to say it to them. I'm not going to tell you or my cousin, hey, do me yeah. a favor, tell so and so. He's a fucking cocksucker, jerk off. I'll smack the shit out of him. Like I'm not going to do that. And yeah. I'm a grown ass man, you know. If I and I, I wouldn't even get to that level. It's very little that makes me get that upset anymore. Yeah, you know, unnecessary. They, I'm telling you, he seems like a cool dude. Uh, oh yeah, yeah no, cousin did. Paulie, no worries. I I read your message. I I got what you're saying. No worries, man. No, but you know what I'm saying. Like, th- he seemed like a good dude that could probably be really entertaining and fun on here. Like a good guy, you know. Yeah. I, that's just my thoughts. I'm. I'm no, just, you're I'm, right. I agree with you. I agree 100 percent with you. You're right. And I I think the the, the uh, idea is a good one too to do that. Have these guys just hash it out because a lot of this is just a misunderstanding. A lot of these yeah. people are mad over a misunderstanding that's not even you know reality, but it's reality. Well, for these I, people. I see the comments. Like I said, that's what I focus on the most. Yeah. In the in the in the you know with these channels, you know what yeah. I mean? Is I focus on the comments because 
I mean, that's all that's all the host is doing half the time anyway. They're just reviewing the comment and then and then answering to it or or whatever. And you know, but you're right. It's I don't know, man. I, I don't know. It's it's just. It's a lot of lip service bullshit. It's easy to talk shit over a computer, you know? It's easy to That's do, the problem. You know, or, or easy to misconstrue shit. Honestly, me and my wife have Put a lot of bang, please. If there's anything that comment. is serious. A lot of bang? Yeah, click his comment, because I'm sorry, Dom. I don't mean to be rude. I just want to say, see what he's saying no, over no, here? No. He was a cool guy until, uh, up until a couple of days. So something must have happened. There might be a misunderstanding. Yeah. You know, I am yeah. shit out. This is what we used to do growing up. I mean, I, I hate to say it like that, like I'm an old man, but back back in the 90s, we had beef. You know, we'd air it out. You'd meet up. Yo, we're going to talk this shit out or we're going to throw hands. But yeah. afterwards, we're going to yeah. be either cool or we're going to be arch enemies for life. <laughs> and can I say something? You know, he says he was a cool guy until a couple of days ago. No, he's still a cool guy. He's just a guy, that, a cool guy that's now agitated or or that's aggravated cool. with something. You yeah. know what I mean? He's Damn. still a cool dude. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 you know, unless he's got some fucking split personality, crazy nah. shit going on. Nah, he's a cool you know. dude. You know what I mean? He's just going through his own shit or something. Or somebody <laughs> twisted his nuts the wrong way or something. It happens to the best of us, man. I, you know, if you guys saw me two hours before I got on here, I was like an animal. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I was an animal, dude. I, You know, yeah. aggravated, moving, hot, sweaty. It sucks. I was taking it out <laughs> on my wife, my kids. Are, it sucks. But, you know, but at the end of the day, I'm still a good dude. You know, at the end of the day, my wife still loves me. Yeah. It doesn't make you, you're not cool up until a certain point. You know what I mean? He's a cool dude. He's just going through some shit. And the best thing not to, to do right now would be to not break his fucking balls. You know what I mean? Let the guy cool down a little yeah, bit. Exactly. You know? yeah, yeah. No, well, it's the holidays. Down. It's the holidays. The, and right. That's true. Out at hard times, you know, don't be – to get upset over shit, you can iron it out, man. We can't iron out our bills and shit, you know? Right. Not necessarily. We're all in the same yeah. fucking boat right now, bro. I don't give a fuck what economic level you're at or where. We're all in the same boat right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's no reason to be at each other's throats. You know what I'm we're saying? We're all watching like, the same shows, so we're all entertained by the same shit, obviously. So that's why it. You got something in common. You know, you guys are in a common area. I mean, you guys are all right. part of Mob Tube. I don't understand why you guys got to be. Another you. great point. Another yeah. great point. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, Merry Christmas, Absolutely. bro. Yeah, Bon Natale. Anybody who celebrates, and if you don't, happy holidays to you, man. Yeah. Fucking, you know, happy Kwanzaa. Everything. Happy Kwanzaa. Yeah. <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not It's not necessary to get, like, go where, you know. I do love this community, though, for better or worse. You know, it's really bad. You know, they fucked me over a lot, but I still love this community anyway. <laughs> I do. I still, to this day, of all people, I don't know, like, how you get fucking thrown in the mix of things, but... Yeah, I don't ever hear you talking shit about anybody. I hardly go live, you know, but you know because I'm friends with certain guys, like I have to get it too. So I understand that it comes with the territory. Yeah, I'm just happy to be here, man. I'm just happy to be Yo, here, bro. Is that is that your new Yankee cap? No, this isn't new. This is old. They're that's making not, fun of me. That's for not it. the new one. No, I got I got one coming in the mail. Oh, good, good, good. And I got one here that doesn't good. fit. It's too small. All right, I, I got something to throw out to you guys. Do you? All right, I already know what uh, Gunsmoke's gonna say. Oh God! I'm gonna ask you first, Gunsmoke. Then I'm gonna ask my cousin because we're talking about Yankee hats, and that's like to me, that's like walking out with your socks on in the Bronx. Yes. So you you keep the rim flat. You don't bend it, right? It's a little bent. I do bend it a little bit. I don't like it completely flat, but you can't just go like this. You know, you got to flip it. Yeah, supposed to bend it, Bob. I know, but these people on here, they're like, oh, bend that cap, yo. Bend that cap. Uh, all right. And Dom, I know you're a fucking Floridian now. It's bent like a motherfucker. Yeah, his is bent. He's a Floridian. No, but hey, no, 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 no. But this He's is my, this is my, this is my kick around Yankee. He's got his hair. Like, this like is my, this is my wear it backwards. This is my kick it around fucking Yankee guy. But I got a flat brim in one of these fucking boxes over here. But I got my, I, I got, a, I got a couple. I got that black one like you got. Yeah. Actually, me and him bought that in, um, in uh, where the hell we? Uh, Lids. No. Co-op City. Yeah, no, we the went to Bronx, City, City and I bought that one. They plaza, and uh, yeah, 
So I got I got the black one, and then I got the OG one, and then I got I got a sick one, bro. If 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 I get if I get to come back on here, so I'll show it to you with the yeah. pinstripes. Okay, bro, dude, yeah. I rocked that bitch with my fucking with my Joey D jersey, bro. <laughs> fucking he, money, he bro. He comes out to New York. He goes, yo, I want to get a legit Yankee hat. He goes, so should we go to uh, Times Square or whatever? I said, dude, no, we're going to Co-op City in the Bronx. <laughs> go, that was yeah, only go. no. That was only because my wife, my wife was breaking my balls that she wanted all that fucking I love New York shit. Oh, so God. that was what that's what forced us to go down to fucking Times Square. Yeah. Me and you both were miserable the whole fucking time we went down there. <laughs> I told him it was us. I was like, I hate it down there, bro. I said, God damn. I used to Remember go to when I fucking happen. told your wife? We walked by we walked by the little fucking vendor dude. I says, yo, come over here. I says, I'm gonna buy you a fucking purse. I hope you like fucking Dolce Banana. <laughs> Dolce <laughs> Banana. The guy's looking at me like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, he's he's fucking firing off. He's firing <laughs> off on these people, man. Dude, we went into yo, Paul, tell them tell them the fucking story. Tell them about when we went to the fucking hat shop in the city uh, and we were breaking their fucking balls. So, they didn't have Yankee hats. They had every fucking team but Yankees. I hate that. Yeah. So and they're like, yeah. oh, we that's a special brand, and we don't. I was like, all right. So he's like, you know, we we were like already fucking twisted, like pissed off. So I was like, yo, let's fuck with these people. I was like, listen, do you happen to have, um, you know, the National Dodge Dodgeball League Association hats? And they were like, what? I was like, yeah, the because they said we carry every sport, every hat. I was like, okay, you got the National Dodge uh, Dodgeball League Association, and they were, I was dead dead serious, like straight face, and the the fucking guy is like, uh, I'll get the manager. We literally had three people in front of us, and they're going through fucking their inventory. They're like, oh my god! Um, can you give us a team? No. The San Anto- that was like the San Antonio jock straps. You got those? No. I said, I don't know. Do you got the? Br-? I said. You got to, what was gonna be upset teams? with you. <laughs> what was Yo. one of the things? Oh, the, the the Texas shit kickers. I said you don't the have Texas shit kickers. kickers. I said, you, wait, I, said I would you, wear that. I was like, you got, what was the one I put that? Oh yeah, you gotta have like the what was it? The New York what? What do we? The New York Jagos. <laughs> no, we use something. His oh no, the New York sewer rats. You don't got the New York sewer. <laughs> the New York rats. sewer rats. I was like, that's Remember like a popular them? team. They're like, I'm sorry, the hat. I says. I says, dude, do you got big hats? And he goes, uh, like, like how big? I mean, I go, dude, like big. I go, it's for my kid. I go, this kid's got a fucking globe for a head. This guy's looking at me like, dude, and he's going, dude, you get, you gotta see it to believe it. This fucking kid's head, me. Be fair, it, it's his illegitimate kid, and the kid's head is like abnormal. I said, I don't know. You know, I I don't know if he had sex with a bowling ball and a woman, but it's like fucking, it's gigantic. It's like you know, he's been so we've dressed him up as a watermelon for Halloween, just his head, and the guy was all fucked up. These poor people, man. Oh yeah, you gotta fuck. Dude, they're going. Maybe it's downstairs. Yeah, maybe try downstairs so they can get us over to a different sales guy because we're busting his balls. Yeah, dude. Oh man, we're we're fucking. We're going to hell for shit. Yeah, but the kid loved it afterwards. Yeah. Fucking yeah. awesome! I mean, it's it's hey, listen, man, you gotta, you know, he laughed. We told him we're fucking with you. He was like, ah, oh, you guys are fucking nuts, man. You had me going. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know, you gotta. You know, I hate when people break my balls like that when I'm working and like when I used to work at retail and shit. And somebody would break my balls like that. I'm like, God fucking damn it, man. Yeah, but you know what? Like the kid, you know what? They look like they were so bored. Yeah, like, we were like the the laugh that we got from this guy. He yeah. Was, like man, you just made my fucking day. <laughs> Suck, you know. Yeah. You could tell he was burning the oil. <laughs> Those dudes, but they but the heads were fucked up. Like they're like national dodgeball league like, association. Like, like, yeah. And he's going, yo, bro. Do you ever heard of this? He said to the other guy, oh, oh man. <laughs> Like, he's going, no, dude, come on, you don't have it. You say you got everything. What do you mean you don't have it? And I'm rifling off teams and I'm just making up shit at this point. And he's trying to keep a straight face. I was, what was, I was uh, just pulling out random states and adding something like gray area uncomfortable at the end of it. Yeah. And just, they were like, those poor guys, man. Uh, you know, um, <laughs> 
<laughs> That's real though. I'm like, yeah, man, you don't watch ESPN three. <laughs> I said, what the fuck is going on in this place? ESPN 3. <laughs> and it was all because we were aggravated that we had to be in the fucking city to yeah. do all the shopping. So you got to take it out on these poor guys. Yeah, well, Bro, I had to drop like $300 at some fucking at some fucking store that carries all this I love New York, I love New York shit. $300? Dude, Jesus she Christ. wants, oh, bro, my what wife's going, I want the handbag, oh, I want the out. Look at this. wallet. No. Can, you, can you put Cousin Paulie's most recent comment up there? Oh, I think we actually did something good today. Look at that. That's fucking what's up, man. There we go. You're talking right. to people now. You're all right. Man, See? What's up, man? Your oh, good yeah, day, bro. your good deed of the day, about. bro. That's that's it, yeah, but shit. that's it. It only took a couple of seconds to, you know, get this thing going a little more, man. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Good. God that's bless. beautiful. Fucking salute. Bro. I like to hear that. Shit. That's great. That's it. Just, you know, squash the beefs. That's yeah. it. Make it nice. Now everybody can the be. balls again. So this guy you was ready to take up arms and chin and fucking start hitting guys, you know. And, and that look. pounding that pink veal. Listen, my friend, I was. I, this is. You put. You, can you put up pounding pink veal's comment? This Let guy. I love saying your fucking name. Pounding that pink veal. I call him pink. Some people call him pounding. Ah uh, no, it, you got it's pounding is really sends it in. Um, look at this. Broke when, I, when I was when I was hanging out like a fucking idiot with my friends, I was. Uh, they used to call me the voice of reason because oh. shit used to go off, and this is true. You're a good cousin, Yeti. No, well, everybody always was like, I'm going to beat this fucking guy up. I'm going to smack this guy. I was like, listen, why don't you talk, though, first? Well, I heard he said this about me, or he did this. I said, but why don't you talk to him first? Let's meet up and let's have a conversation before we start doing stupid shit. Like, these guys want to go club each other. And it turned, like, you know, one of my friends almost got into, like, some crazy ass, like, baseball bat fucking knife fight over a girl. Yeah. She was banging him and the other guy. So make him believe he was she was the other guy's boyfriend on one day, and then she was his boyfriend another day. And I said, guys, dump this broad, no yeah. and then I said, and be done with it. You guys are gonna fuck each other up for what? I've uh, done that. I've I've been into a fist fight with my best friend over a girl. It it, it and it solves it's, nothing. We're best friends to this day now. After that, we didn't talk for a few years after that, but. Yo, Shaolin, dude, you want to do a show, bro? I already told you. Um, you start a show. I will fucking come on for you. As long as you know, you don't look, you want to bust balls. That's cool. Just, you know, do, do your thing, man. Be, yeah. I'll do it. I'll come on for you. I'll come on. That's for you. beautiful, man. That's very fucking nice. Of you. Really? you know, he seems like he's a good guy. He's just, you know, don't get, this yeah. ball, you know, have fun, bro. Have fun. That's what we're here to do. Have fun. Break balls a little bit. It's okay. Yeah, but please, nah, it's not like I'm so serious, you know? Of course. Nah. He's been on a rampage for days. So. Nah, he's just, you know, I'm glad he's good now. He's talking to people. Everybody's That's great. Yeah. That's good. Dude, it's this time of year, man. This it time is. of year gets, you know, <laughs> I mean, people get them twisted, miserable. man, you know? You got to I mean, break out the list. Well, I don't did get murdered a few days from now. In, in, uh, wow, what in, happened? In, December 8, December 16, 1985, Paul Castellano got hit oh, around this time. Of year. So, yeah. you know, yeah, so it's not all Christmas cheer around here, but you know. You want to go for a steak? We'll meet up. We'll go to Sparks. I always wanted to go there. My I friend tried to get me to go. He wanted to dress up and all that shit and go there. I I've been there. I've been Let there. me know. I'll meet you out front. <laughs> <laughs> who's paying? <laughs> who's buying? <laughs> no, look both ways. Fuck, fuck who's buying. You got to make it in the door first. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah I've been true. there. And, you know, I've been outside of, like, the canopy. And I yeah. remember I was there with two of my friends. And this was, like, early 2000. Um, and I was like, dude, man, this is fucking insane. Yeah. If you're looking around, you're like, yo, this guy just got, like, Rochambeau'd out of nowhere. Right and, you know, yeah. it's, like, fucking kind of, like, I don't know how to put it. It's cryptic at the same time. It's, like, eerie. It's, it's eerie. Really feeling. Yeah, yeah we went to it's, winter, so. it's weird, you know. It's very, it's very odd. Yeah, you know, I, bro. Anywhere, and that was a public execution. So at and five o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. yeah. Well, where did Galante get hit? He got hit at a uh, Knickerbocker it? Avenue. I forgot the. I used to know the address. No, but, but I, I used to be a sick fuck driving around to these places and, and visiting these places. So it's Knickerbocker Avenue. Uh, Mary's restaurant, whatever Maria's restaurant in the back. Now, then it became a cell phone store eventually. Oh, I don't know what it is now, but 
I always wanted to go because I know it was a restaurant. I always wanted to go there, like to eat. Oh, yeah. I knew about Umberto's. Umberto's? Yeah, that's another one that was some shit that went down over there. Yeah. Didn't they take that away too? They turned it into something else over there? They did, right? Yeah. Yeah. That sucks. Did you, did you ever go to the Copacabana back in the day when they changed it to the, the, the newer one? Bullshit? I went to the newer one. And yeah. I, I've got another one. I'm going to fuck you up. You know where I went to a couple of times? LQ. <coughs> yes. Okay. You went to Latin Quarters? Wow. The infamous Latin Quarters. And I wasn't even old enough to go in there, but yeah. because I had so I had juice as being a DJ. Yeah. You know, because the same bouncers are running the same spots. Yeah. So they'd just be like, oh, yeah. You know, oh, Paul, what's up? Oh, yeah. You're going to be there tomorrow. Okay. Walk right in, you know. Over there, I mean, you want to find beautiful Spanish women, you yeah. want to and yeah. they were all over the place over there. I remember one night a girl was like, "How old are you?" I said, "I am 22." She's like, yeah, "Look, 22, uh, you know, you, you look a little younger." I said, "I carry my youth ball," <laughs> and the rest I'm going to leave. I'm not even going to talk about. I'm not even going to say. Crazy Joe got killed in Umberto's. That's it. Yankees for life got it. That's the one. what I was thinking of. So, right. yeah, he got popped. Yeah, fucking Joe Gallo. <laughs> Did you ever read his book? He had, like, some fucking little guy. Oh, the midget. I've seen the pictures. Bro, the guy had a fucking sawed-off shotgun. He'd answer the door with a sawed-off shotgun in that your torso. I mean, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, he used to hang out at the club, right? He used to hang out there with a yeah, fucking. But he had like a little room. fucking window that he, like a little slide, not a window that he would open. He had a, a fucking sawed off shotgun in. You know, little fucking guy ready to pop, blow your fucking hips off. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I seen the pictures with him. He loved that little guy. Uh, my my <laughs> uh, my DJ name was my actual full name. And hold on to my fucking wrenches out there. You guys better fucking start whacking these guys who were talking shit about me. Start whacking these fuckers, all right? I, I think it's actually cooled down with the... I Who's mean, talking I, shit? Yeah, um, I think it's slowed down, bro. I really do. I think we kind of like, you know... Yeah, you, you I hope so. I just had to block some here. fucking idiot. Ah, you know, throwing a few jabs here and there. Yeah, and, it's all right. You know, but, you know, going completely crazy and, you know, you know, just going off the rails is not necessary. Yeah. <laughs> it's too much. Yeah, you know, they got like an FPS troll in here, and uh, you know, saying stupid shit. But it's all right. I got rid of him. But anyway, yeah, it's un unnecessary, unnecessary business. That's wild, dude. That's fucking funny shit. <laughs> Look at this jag off. Hold on. Where is he? Where is he? Here we go. Look at this. <laughs> I hate guns, I man. What the fuck you hate me for? What the fuck did I ever do to you or anybody? You stupid fuck. Go watch one of my videos. Nah, looking he's, trying to, he's trying to fucking stir the pot, you know. Hold up, looking for the truth. Can you can you just pop that dude up? All right, dude. We WMC. I played in Winter Music Conference every year from 2001 to all the way to 2007. I want to say, and good I years, would play at a lot of crazy spots, man. Those, um, were, good, man, those were good years. Best years of my life was that era. Fuck, man. Jesus Christ. I, <laughs> just thinking about it right now, I'm, I'm getting like chills, but it was yeah. great times, man. Now it sucks, but it was great yeah. then. Man. Last of the good days back then, man. That's it. They yeah. say it was the last of the, that was the golden age of nightclubs in New York. Now everything's garbage. Yeah. It's a whole new generation. Dude, man. This shit. Back in, back in, uh, back in 90, was it 98? 98. I was at fucking Planet Dublin. Dublin the Island. Uh-huh. I was at Dublin and I fucking and I ran into uh Angie Martinez, Redman, and Meth. Yeah. Those fucking dude, those those that night was fucking retarded. It was retarded. We sat upstairs at the fucking reggae room just fucking getting ridiculously fucking hammered with these fucking dudes who were just getting a kick out of us. Like, who the fuck are these fucking giddy kids? But we were up there just getting fucking hammered with fucking with red and meth. I got to throw something out for looking shit. for the truth. I want to tell him one thing. You mentioned Boris at Shelbourne. I'm going to fuck your brain up. 
I used to play at discotheque on Thursdays and open for Boris before he became really uh, popular. Uh-huh. I used to play the opening night and then he'd take over and do mid to after hours. So that's the craziness with that. So that might be why you might know me, as you uh-huh. say you do. Yeah, those were wild. Disco Tech was a wild spot, man. It was a Thursday night. Disco Tech. Ooh, and you know what? They had one rule. This was crazy. Strippers got in for free. Okay. Strippers got in for free. Now here's they the magic No, but here's the magic question. How do you prove a girl's a stripper, right? Or a person? Well, well how she right? dresses or how she looks. They, they take their clothes off at the front door and nah. they wear their stripper outfit, put the clothes back on, they let them in. It right. was insanity. Yeah. It was insanity what went on in that place. I missed those. They're gonna keep dude. If they keep if they keep making all these DJ comments, this kid's gonna get moist. I'm done. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. I used to do my little DJ thing for a year. At you're gonna get. Bar. You're gonna get moist. Yeah. Yeah, I'm already. It's, I'm sure I'm you guys so much fun, man. I'm already to pound my own. Yo, <laughs> you, should, <laughs> you should see this fucking guy spin though, bro. It's fucking nuts. Yeah. I'm see, sure he's good. Yeah, you should check out one of his sets, bro. He's fucking sick. So you're yeah. still doing it. I do it just myself. I fuck her. You know, I, I got... I, did you ever see my setup? No. It's behind me, but... Yeah, let's go look at that. Let's see what's going on. You got... Oh, well, let me oh nice. So those are... My, I got my small monitors. These are uh, digital turntables, Technique 1210s, Pioneer uh, RMX 5000, uh, zone 43, same thing going all the way down. I got another effects processor, samplers. I'm real, like, a purist to the uh, analog. I mean, yeah. again, I have digital turntables, but I have to touch. I have to feel. I love the way it, it goes, bro. That's and, awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I, I could I could literally put on four tracks at once, mesh it all, go nuts at the same time. <laughs> I was sick. Back in the day, it was even crazier. But, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> the music was so good back in the day, too, man. That's, you know, I mean, th- th- forget my vinyl collection. When I have you on vinyl, I have two, like, eight terabyte hard drives with my digital collection uh-huh. uh, from CDs. You I can have pop them in. Oh, yeah. I got acapellas that'll, like, people, like, how, how do you have this acapella? Because I was part of a record pool, so I would have shit before anybody was hearing it. And then you go to the club, put it out, people will lose their mind. Can I get it? That. That also got me a lot of girls because they'd be like, I want that song. I'm like, how bad do you want it, though? <laughs> but really, how bad do you want it? Yeah. Come out with me for a drink. I'll give you know it you had so much fun back then, man. Fuck. I was fucking loon- I'm telling you, I met my wife by accident. I wasn't planning on getting married. I was like, I'm going to be a fucking... Nope. I'm going to be like a nope. jello. I was like, it ain't happening. It's not for me. Married life. Who the yeah. fuck wants to be with somebody like me? I'm a lunatic. <laughs> And here we, we should are. talk about going and getting Get Ohio tail. floors. That's what yeah. he's floors, the floors. So the now, floors. Uh, and this is no disrespect to women, but we had this saying in the Bronx, floors were slut poor hybrids. Basically, this could go for either guy or girl, that basically they were leeches, but they would bang everything. That's either for a guy or a girl. It's not to just a woman. So, uh-huh. I know today we got to be politically correct, but it goes both ways. Slore. Use it. Abuse it. Do whatever you want with it. Yeah. I, I use it daily. <laughs> <laughs> I play That's house. what he used to say, yeah. though. It's funny. When he says he when he says he got married on accident, he, he, he's not he's not fucking with you, man. He's telling the truth. Yeah. God's honest truth, man. No, what yeah. was some of the other clubs you've been to? Can you think of any other clubs in the early two thousands? Oh yeah, bro. Sound I lived at Sound Factory. Sound Factory. Okay. Vinyl, which then became all Sony's in the Hamptons, son. Nah, fuck Hamptons, bro. That wasn't my scene. Those two, I used to go to Sonny's. That was like the prequel to Jersey Shore. I was like, I'm not into that. (laughs) You know, I'm over there, like, I'm looking for women, I have a good time, but I would like to. I was there also really for the music, yeah. Uh, So, uh, uh, vinyl, which was vinyl and then became arc, that was Danny Tanaglia, who I actually got to meet. That was like my idol. He still is. He's a great DJ. He's such a nice guy. Uh, very good to me. Very friendly yeah. guy. Uh, who else, man? What are the places? Dude, Exit. I played at Exit. Exit. I was going to ask you about Exit. Yeah. I started out in the white room, the VIP white room, and then progressed to the main floor. Then I came back when it was Exit 2 and Icon on the main floor. 
Yeah. And uh, it was that was nuts too, man. I mean that, dude. You know, listen. There's a lot of things in life, but to be on a fucking club like that, that fit. You know how big that club was, right? Yeah, I've been there a couple times. Yeah. All right. Now imagine the place is packed and you're on and you're like, you got to play. <laughs> you you know, and now you're in the fucking. I'm. I used to be like this in the zone. You couldn't yeah. talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, Danny T all the way. DT. Would you oh drink God. during the sets? Because I used to drink like a little bit. No, no. Afterwards, though. Yeah. Ripped. I, I afterwards, you'd be lucky if I could tell you my name, but I could still get back <laughs> on and play. <clears throat> yeah. This club float that I used to play at. I was the resident. So afterwards, they do a special VIP at the upstairs area. So they close the club, but some of like the v the high end guests would get to go upstairs for this off limits. Anything you want to do after party. So the first time I went there, they were like, look, you're going to play this. We're going to pay you an extra $400. I was like, okay, it sounds good. And my friend's like, dude, how are you going to do it? You're fucking tired. Like, you just finished playing. It's 3 in the morning. I was yeah, like, yo, yeah. Red Bull. Red Bull me. Red Bull. <laughs> Red Bull and throw a vodka down. And, you know, a little fucked up, but I'm just right. Yep. First night I play, I'm there with my friend Maddie. I'll never forget this tall fucking dude. He looks like a fucking model. So he's scooping girls. So I'm over there playing. He's like, what are you going to play? I said, I look around the club, the, the room, and I'm like this. What do I do? Right away, it was like an epiphany. This girl pops her top off, and this fucking guy, I'll never forget, he looked like uh, Pavarotti. Okay, yeah. He pours, oh, yeah. he pours Coke on her tits, and I'm sorry to be so graphic, and just starts sniffing off of her, and he's like, ah, like that. I was like. We're going with the disco shit. We're going yeah. with the disco shit. And it just went nuts. The room went nuts. And wow. the, the owner would come over. This guy was crazy. He had a bed in the club. And he would sleep there sometimes overnight. Six just months. to stay for the party. Yeah. It was nuts. <laughs> he comes over to me. He's like, you're the best. I love you. He yeah. Goes, you do this again, right? I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? My friend's like, you got to do this, bro. You don't have to hype up the crowd. Yeah. No, it's because it's yeah. a small room. But yeah. it's just anything goes. You could do whatever you want in there. And I was like, oh, my God, this place is nuts. <laughs> it just got crazy. I would bring girls, like, after the party. They'd be like, oh, the club's closing. I said, not for you. Come with me. And they'd come hang out, and they'd be like, what the fuck? I said, do whatever you want. This is an open zone. Do whatever yeah. you want. And it was crazy. Did they know you were in the movie, too? Did they know you were in Bronx? No. You know, I never really – I'll be honest with you. I never really talk about it. That yeah. was something very to my inner circle. Okay. They would talk about it. They would yeah. be like, oh. you know, we go to a club. They'd be like, you know, girls would be like, oh, I just, I didn't you play a discotheque on? Because I've been using that all the time. Yeah. Yeah, and you no, know, the girls would be talking about that, and then one of my friends would be like, yeah, but you know what? He was in a Bronx Tale, and you know, he was a, uh, you know, then, <laughs> you know, then they're like, yeah, thanks, bro. I'm gonna yeah. go with this girl now. I'm like, what was that all about? <laughs> Yeah. What's that? What, you use me great. as a jumping off point? <laughs> you know, Springboarding off your clout? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Go nuts. They're like, can you go say? And that was the thing. One of my friends, this guy, Patty, I'll never forget. He'd be like, say the line for me. This girl wants to hear it. I was like, I can't do coffee cakes. Yeah. Oh! He's like, the man, thanks. I'm going to go take care of this girl right now. I was like, oh, you're fucking <laughs> sick, bro. You're a sick bastard. Hey, the way you sounded in the movie, like, I can't do coffee cake. Is that how you really talked as a kid? Hell yeah, bro. I'm in the Bronx. Art the Rev. I mean, obviously, where I work, uh, especially when you work, you know, I know when to kind of pull back on my accent. Yeah. You know, I could go really business professional. But when I'm loose and comfortable, I'll. T that's the way I talk. I'm, too, yeah. I'm you know, I'm Italian from the Bronx. It doesn't get any harder than that. <laughs> yeah. I hate my words, everything. Yeah. The best was my wife when she met me and uh, her birthday came up. So I gave her, I knew I really liked her, but I was like, I want to get her a really good present. But, you know, I'm Italian, you know, we go overboard. So I got her a sick gift. I guess we lost my cousin. He'll come yeah. back. Yeah. I'm going to add him back, but I don't know, no, I don't know what happened. I can't see my, my video. Yeah. Check we can't see camera. You. your camera, bro. You got to turn your camera no, back. It, on. It's on. I don't understand. You click the button that says camera. Just click on it. Ah, oh. that's what that's what it does. Try reconnecting, like this. Yeah, try to come back out and come back. Right. Uh, so basically, long story short, is I got now 
my wife's friends at the time, they didn't know me, but I could tell right off the bat, the first time I'm meeting them is at her birthday. They did yeah. not like me. Okay. <laughs> they were like, something's up with this fucking guy. Yeah. I came in dressed the way I dress. I'm, you know, I, I like to think I take good care of me. You know, I'm very, my appearance is. What's wrong with that? Come out. No, nothing. I like to make sure, you know, I like to be clean and, you know, looking yeah. good, whatever. I go to meet her and, you know, I give her a gift and like a typical girl, you know, they sneak in the bathroom to go see what you got them. That's yeah. the same. Everybody knows that. I've not been there before. Yeah. When yeah, you're yeah. first dating them, they're always, you know, they say they're not, but they do. They're testing you every which way. Yeah. Well, she, yeah, right. So now my mom worked at Tiffany. So I used to get discounts on crazy shit. So I got her this, my mom's like, how much money you want to spend? So I, I gave a budget. My mom's like, all right, she goes, you must really like this girl. Okay. So my mom calls me. Now she's at this store where basically it's for employees only. She says, I got this necklace. It's got four diamonds in it. They're fucking huge. And it's on white, it's on uh, platinum thin, uh, like a string necklace. She uh -huh. goes, I could do it in your budget. It's an extra $20. I was like, go grab it. Yeah. I get it. Now I give this to my wife. Okay. We're dating. Now we go, we go to this restaurant, uh, Chin Chin's in the city. It's not around anymore. It was an amazing Chinese restaurant. I was about to say, yeah. yeah. Chin Chin. Bro, it was awesome, bro. It was an uh -huh. awesome actors. Everybody was in there. So I got res I had a hookup, had reservations. My wife was blown away. She's like, oh my God. They were waiting on his hand and foot. They knew me in there. She opens it up. Her friends come back out of the bathroom. Now they were already skeptical. Now they just pissed off at me. I'm getting like fucking dagger eyes. My wife's like cloud nine. She's like, oh my God. Da, da, da. So we're partying, we're having a good time. One of her, my wife goes to the bathroom. One of her friends comes up to me. She goes, so what do you do for a living? I said, uh, you know, I work in I was like, yeah. you know, and they're like, yeah, but what do you do? I said, well, I'm in charge. I'm, I'm in trades. So are you in the mafia? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. You know, I'm trying to hide. And I don't like my attitude. She was like, she was like, how much money do you revenue a year? I said, honestly, I'm a multimillionaire, but my therapist says that I should hang out with people that don't make as much to kind of ease off the pressure of being a millionaire. Yeah, why? <laughs> I said, you know, you, I said, so you, you could understand. And she was like, yeah. you're a fucking smart ass. Mm -hmm. Honey, you don't have no fucking idea. Yes, she was like, so now they get one of her friends that like, I could tell she's batting her eyes on me. She goes, can you tell, can you tell, I'm not going to say my wife's name because that's nobody's fucking yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Can you tell her that we want to go to this bar because it would be a lot of fun and I'd really appreciate it. My wife comes out and she was like, hey, I said, hey, I know we're having a lot of fun over here. Uh, your friends want to leave and uh, go to this other place, but I was just, I kind of think we should stay here. What do you think? I put a friend on blast and my wife's like, we're staying here. This is my birthday. I just, I'm having a good time with you. Yeah. You can go do whatever the fuck you want to do. It was yeah. like this end game. They were like this motherfucker. And then now in time, they love me. You know, they got to know me. Yeah. Married. But they were like, he's in the mob. He's one of the mafiosos. You can't trust them. I was like, I go to work every day. I'm not in the fucking mob. Yeah. Like, what does that mean? That's a little racist. Oh, well, I, I, you know what? I take it with grain of salt. <laughs> Places I work at, like where I work now, people will make the joke to me. They're like, you know, so if we, you know, if I come in late, are you going to put a hit out on me? I'm like, no, okay. I'm going oh, to have to, and I fuck with him. I'll be like, well, I'll have to call my uncle and see what's going on because, you know, Thursday's coming up. And if you don't make your payments, I can't promise you anything. I'll fuck with him. <laughs> I, like, I, I hate that detail. shit. I, it's I stupid, hate, but you know I what? Hate it, that shit. Me, it doesn't hurt me, Dom, because you know what? It takes a lot to make me upset, man. What are you gonna do? You're gonna. They think all Italians though are like gangsters or related to gangsters and shit. It's kind of cool. As soon as they but... hear my last name, they always go, "Are you in the witness protection yeah. program?" Oh. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here, man. You know? That's kind of worse like, than the Because it you know. ends in a fucking vowel. Go fuck yourself, yeah. man. Get out of here. <laughs> I went on a date with this one girl, and the second date, she uh, you know, she she, you know, you find out what you know you'll each other like to do. Now she didn't drink the first date, but the second date she's drinking now. So she's like, you know, she knows now, you know, I'm a marksman, I do shooting and everything. That's my hobby. 
She was like, so are you an assassin? I'm like, I'm sorry. I was like, she was like, do you murder people for hire? I was, are you a killer for hire? I was like, no. She was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking know. John Wick, bitch. She was, <laughs> like, she was like, you are you sure you're not a hitman? I was like, do you see how tiny and thin I am? Like, <laughs> are you really fucking kidding me? I was like, I'm a hitman. Yeah, I was like, no, I'm not. I was like, really? Come on. It's Come a on, hobby. I, I shoot pieces of paper. Like, calm the fuck. So now she's drinking and drinking. And she, yeah. It was like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Totally different person. Yeah. Needless to say, it didn't go to the third date. But long story short, comes out and tells me, I have to be honest with you. I may have a drinking problem. I was like, well, that's not good. You know, you should take care of that. Because I substance abuse. Those are the best girls. Though. No, I don't find it fun. No, I mean, yeah, you're funny. No, but all jokes aside, <laughs> I feel for people. But then she tells me some other crazy shit that really ended the date. She goes, and I'm out on parole. Oh, I was Jesus. like, yeah, that's funny. She goes, no, serious. And she shows me her paperwork. She was like, I stabbed my ex-boyfriend in the throat with a beer bottle. Oh. She was like, but to be fair, he was abusive. He would yell at me. I was like, I got to get away from that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, well, you know, look. I, I like him crazy. Bad. I that wish that you well, you're good. Take care. God bless you. I was like, right, man, the fuck yeah, get the fuck out that of there. Yeah. That's a little too crazy. Yeah, yeah no, that's too. There's sexy crazy. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, crazy. That was. I attract the crazy ones, but that's a little too crazy for me. Yeah, talk about a second date. I, I, yeah, you know, I'm out on parole. I stabbed them in the throat with a beer, and somebody hooked me up with her. I wanted to kick his ass. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take one for the team, you know. He was like, "She's a friend of my girlfriend." I was like, yeah. "You ever met her?" No, but she looks good. I was like, "You're a fucking idiot." Yeah, the hot crazy ones. You know, beer bottle fights. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, no stabbing in the neck. I can understand you bash him over the head. Okay, maybe I'll deal with you. But you fucking stabbed him in the neck with a broken beer bottle. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, I'm out on parole. Here. I'm like, whoa. Parole too. That even probation. She's on fucking parole. <laughs> no, bitch is straight out the fucking straight out the. <laughs> 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 you even take a shower yet? She yeah, fresh out the pan. He's like, Paul, but you know, you technically you can't judge because he was like, but she's she's attractive. I was like, yeah. He goes, you can't judge. You can't judge. I was like, she stabbed the guy in the throat with a friggin' beer bottle because he yelled at her. I said, the hey, hell with that. So if I look at her the wrong way, she might slice me. I was oh, like, yeah. You book yuck? And she fucking. Yeah, no, you, just, you know, you got to be careful. You got to be careful, man. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be a statistic. Yeah. <laughs> You don't, you don't want to get caught up being a specific. Imagine dying at the hands of some fucking crazy bitch. Yeah, that's just no. what my family needs to hear. Oh, you went on the Put the gun down, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> and, and knowing my friend, the asshole that he is, because he's a smart ass, he'd probably be at the funeral and be like, he was a great guy. He was awesome. Yeah. And I think he paid for the bill before he died. I think he did, because Paul's a nice guy. He would do something like that. Yeah, he's an idiot. You know what I'm talking about, Marty. Oh, I know who you're yeah, talking about. He, Marty passed. My friend's gone, but he's a he was a sick fuck. One of the best. One of the best dude. I wish he. I wish to God for a million and one reasons that he was still alive. Yeah. But for, oh, this, for this reason right now, oh. for this right here, yeah. if you had that fucking chooch in here, yeah. that, bro. Your fucking views would go through the roof, man. Yeah. That kid, that character. That what you, you call him the fucking the mayor down there, man. He was the mayor of Arthur Avenue. No, I'm dead ass. The mayor of Arthur Avenue. Man. You're absolutely that's right. The title. You dodge the bullet, bro. That's that's for sure. Yeah. Oh God, if the streets didn't kill me, that girl was ready to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, he, dude. He was the mayor of Arthur Avenue. What a good dude. Um, just not a bad bone in his body. And you know, he had bumps in the road like all of us, but. You know, it was just sad. You know, he passed, and uh, you know, he just, you know, he was secretly battling, you know, a problem. And I wish I, I knew about it. Wish we knew about it. We would have helped him. Yeah. Well, yeah. How old was he? My age. He he passed yeah. away. What? Thirty eight. Uh, Thirty eight. Yeah. Damn. Man, sad, man, bro. We spoke to him a couple of days before he died. Yeah. Like three or four days. I got a voicemail that I saved that he left me after we had spoken to him. It's like fucked up. Like, you know. It, Dude, he called me. 
he calls me and he's like, yo, Dom, what's up, bro? <laughs> you know, how's your gagoots, bro? What's up? He's like, yo, I'm making reservations, bro. When you come out? Because I was coming out. It was literally what, Paul? That was like just around the time, just before the pandemic. Yeah. Just before they shut down, you know, <clears throat> all flights into New York. I lost my flight. I lost my ass on that ticket, too. I dropped like 800 fucking yeah. dollars on that ticket. Damn. But, you know, yeah, well, you know, and we were making all these plans because last time I was out there, he was like, fuck, I wish I would have known, you know, that you were out here this whole time because I, I, we, we got a chance to hang out with him like two days or something before I left. So it wasn't, yeah. I, I, you know, I, I didn't spend as much time as I wanted to. And so this time around, we were going to go fucking nuts because I usually come out for Paul's birthday and for Easter. It all falls right in that same uh like two weeks span and um and so we were gonna go fucking nuts bro and he was like calling me like i'm gonna make reservations I mean, what do you think about this and that and then fucking like literally like the next day or that weekend or some shit whatever day it was three days, three days, three days later, he calls man. me up like yo he's gone and that's I'm like, crazy oh, fuck it fucked my whole day up, bro. I drove around fucking crying all day. It sucked. The phone call I got was bad because we were getting ready. My wife and I were getting ready to go hang out, like to go out to hang out with some people. And I got a call like I'm getting ready to go. You know, you run one ad. Yeah, what's up? And my friend Anthony was a liquor store in Arthur. He's like, yo, uh, what are you, like all serious. So I was like, well, yeah, what's up, asshole? Like, you know, that's how we talk to each other. He's like, hey, what are you doing? Like, Paul, what are you doing? Like, all serious. I'm like, uh, no, he wasn't a he wasn't a guy like that, uh, Drito. No, uh, no, not for that guy. reason. He I mean, that's just, a fucking name. I told you, that's a great name. Like, you know, he was just Marty was Maurizio was just a legitimate guy that everybody in the neighborhood loved him because he was really good to people. He was a nice guy. He was just personality you know, for days. And he would he would be like like the way I am. Like he would want to bring friends with Ethan. He yeah. want to bring them together and resolve the dish the differences. He was a good person like that. But yeah, don't uh, get the wrong idea no, about him. No, he, he, he wasn't, wasn't. It wasn't like that. No, he wasn't juiced at all. He wasn't like that. But uh, you know, I get this call and this guy's like, "Listen, Paul, you know." I, I got to talk to you. I was like, yeah, what, what the fuck? What do you got to talk to me about? He's like, you know, you, he goes, you know, Marty, you know. I said, no, what? I don't know. What the fuck happened? What is he fucking getting laid? I don't know. What, what's going on? Yeah. He's like, yeah, hey, you know, he's he's uh, he's gone. I said, what do you mean he's gone, though? Like, I got pissed off because I was like, it's not comprehensive. He's like, he's gone, though. He's not, you know, he didn't want, he couldn't say dead. He passed. He, he, he didn't have the strength to say it. Without getting upset, he was just like, he's gone. He's not here. He's gone. Everything's fucked up. I get off the phone, and I'm just, like, fucking grabbing my head, and I'm, like, fucking. My wife's like, are we going to go? What's going on? I was, like, I, 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 I was like, I can't think right now. She's like, what's going on? I said, I think Maurizio's dead. She was like, what? She got bawling out upset because she loved them. And, you know, now I got to call people. Cause that's how we do it. Where I'm from, you know, you hear that, you got to call people. You got to let yeah, people yeah. know right away. So now I'm calling up my friends. I, you know, I call him, my cousin up. He's like, "What the fuck?" I call one of my other friends, and he's like, "Hey, motherfucker, what are you doing?" I was like, "Uh, uh yeah, listen. So, um, uh, I got to talk to you about Marty." He was like, "Oh, how's mozzarella doing?" Because he used to always say to girls, "I love your mozzarellas over there." <laughs> They love it. They would laugh at it. I was like, dude, you're sick. If yeah. I said that, they'd knock my teeth out. Yeah. So he, he was like, oh, where's Mozzarella's? How's he doing? I was like, he passed. He's not, he's he's dead right now. I was like, right. and, this, and the, the, you know, people were just uh, breaking down. Right? It, was, yeah. it yeah. was probably one of the worst days next <laughs> door when my grandmother passed. The calling people, having to tell them that. And like, my wife's like, she was like, you got to take a break. You've been calling people for three hours. I was like, yeah, but I, she was like, just, you know, you, you don't look right. Down. I was like, I, I got to do this. I was like, and then I got to just like lay down. Yeah. You know, fucking bad. It was a, you know, hey, look, you know what? I, I, I still remember him. He's a fucking, he was, listen, if he was around now and you had him on here, 
Yeah. We would be better than me and my cousin <laughs> right, for the entertainment and yeah, the story. straight up. He that dude was fucking insane. Insane the shit that he would get away with. <laughs> like he would walk in and like, you know, I would be like, yo, look at those girls, they're hot. He'd be like, Oh, I'm gonna go talk to him. I'm like, No, 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 dude, you can't be like oh, he's one of those dudes. Okay. Yeah, he'd give a fuck. Give a and fuck, he'd go yeah. over and make them laugh and just yeah. them. They flock over, you know, and then the restaurant they bring pushing tables together. Yeah. Like, fucking guy, how's he do it? <laughs> he's got that charm, you know. Some people just have that charm, they have the gift of gab, you know. Have a good have a good night, cousin Paul. You've been good, bro, with the comments. Yeah, bro. He 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 was just people loved him, man. Like, what could I say? You know, some people just they 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 put off a good vibe to people and yeah. know, those dudes, man. He never got mixed up, though. I'm glad he never did. They say only the good die young. Yes. And he is he and he is the epitome of it. He's the fucking epitome of it. Fucking loot with. Because you won't find better than him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, you wow. know, and so. Cousin Paulie just said the same fucking thing as you said it. Uh, only the good die young. That's insane right there. Now it's I got true. That's why they have that saying, because, you know. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, that's like, it's the truth, though. It's fucked up. You know, I. When it I comes to him, I, it's yeah. definitely the truth. Absolutely. I got a lot of friends that are gone. He was the only one that died, I would say, that was a legitimate guy that passed away. Yeah. A lot of the other ones, like, you know, not to talk ill of them, they were good guys. They were just mixed up and shit. Yeah. Um, you know, what do you, I don't know what to say, man. It's fucked up. Dom, you lost guys out in Arizona that are gone, right? That you still <laughs> run around with doing. He was out in Arizona doing some crazy shit, which he's going to get in with, with Chris. What part of Arizona? What's that? What part of Arizona? Because I know a few people. Tonight, anybody who's bouncing, have a good Fuck, evening. man. Everywhere from Phoenix, uh, Gilbert, Chandler, Mesa. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's yeah. Cool. You like East it out Valley, there? mostly. Well, why'd you leave? You don't like it out there in Arizona? I heard it's pretty nice out there. Just Dude, it's... it's uh, bro, now you just opened up a whole fucking... <laughs> uh, give no, give, uh, give no, them, I won't like, the, I won't the short version. Crazy. Yeah, I'll give you the short. No, it's um a little bit of a little bit of politics. It's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh -huh. Um but, but to be honest with you, dude, um, if I'm being straight up about it, my father is uh is not doing well health wise. Yeah. Um, you know, stage five renal failure and oh, he's man. on uh, dialysis like four times a week. Yeah. So you know, so with him being out here and then with Arizona, like, kind of nosediving the way that it is, it's really going to yeah. shit, man. Yeah. The the real estate out there is fuck. They, there was a saying in Arizona before I left, don't California my Arizona. <laughs> they did. <laughs> they did. And so I, I, I'm standing on the bow of this ship and I'm like, I'm either going down with this motherfucker or I'm jumping ship. And um, and I'll be honest with you, dude, you know, growing up in Long Island, I, I miss the beach. Um, yeah. I miss the East Coast, man. I miss the East Coast. I, I, I'm sick and tired of paying so much fucking money to come out here. You know, every, <laughs> every fucking year I come to the East Coast and um, – so I said, fuck it, I'm out, dude. I just moved my, my family and just packed up and moved. Yeah. But, yeah. But, no, Arizona, Arizona. Dude, I can tell you fucking stories, bro, to fuck your head. Well, I noticed your shirt over there. Is that another no, reason yeah, you like, Dude, this shirt is fucking flipped out. Look, so it's oh, a parody man. shirt. You like that? <laughs> yeah, I like your shirt. What does it say? Thug life on his stomach? What does it say on his yeah, stomach? Yeah, 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 yeah. Disco like, Donnie, oh, man. It's fucking, it's fucking he crazy. was at Studio 54, Disco Donnie. Bro, I parody. fucking I love the parody shit, man. It's fucking great. <laughs> you know, well, listen, I'll be honest with you, dude. Um, you know, when you go to college, they don't let you fucking cast your ballots. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't. <laughs> so I didn't officially fucking cast the ballot for anybody. So yeah. you know, I'm often accused of of casting ballots that I'm not legally allowed <laughs> to cast. Yeah. So, but. uh no, man, Arizona, Arizona was cool and shit. It, it, you know, I had a great job. I, I had uh, I had a good life and everything. Um, it's just, I'll be honest with you, dude, shit started. It's just going all downhill. And 
And I said, fuck it, man. If I'm going to suffer over, you know, suffer in life, I'd rather suffer by the beach. Fuck it. I, I'm yeah. not here. So that's what I'm doing, man. And now I'm out here. And, you know, I love it, too, because now me and him are on the same fucking time zone. Yeah. You know, because I used to call him and be like, yo, fuck not. What are you doing? You know? And he'd be like, dude, Dom, I got to go to bag. I'm, I got to go to work tomorrow, bro. I'm like, oh, <laughs> fucking time zone <laughs> bullshit. What? <laughs> so, you know, so it's better all around, but. Yeah. yeah, um Arizona was crazy, dude. Like to, to Paul's point, yeah, I've I've lost some I've lost a lot of friends, dude. A lot of friends. We were just having this conversation, me and Paul, like uh, what well, last night. We were just talking about it. And um you know, I was telling him, I said, you know, out of like like he just said, you know, he lost a lot of friends and not to speak ill of them, but you know, when you when, when when we lost when we lost Maurizio, dude, that really that was like a fucking yeah. kick in the dick, dude. That one was a kick in the dick. I, I lost some friends of mine, but they were all involved in shit. Like Paul yeah. said, they were all involved in. Don't get me wrong. I've had I had a friend of mine. He died of a fucking brain aneurysm. This kid in high school. That sucked. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I had a couple of buddies of mine. You know, uh, take their own lives, which is. Um, nothing to fucking nothing to fuck with, but um, but most of my friends that are gone, they were assholes. They they were involved in shit that they shouldn't have been involved in, you know. I, I you know I'll tell you one of my friends, um, you know he he had these dreams, man. He he watched Scarface one too many times, and he was a Latin kid, so he thought you know he was gonna be fucking the the real life. Tony Montana. Next generation Tony Montana. That's yeah. what he wanted to be. And so he got himself involved with every fucking thing that he possibly could. You know? And uh, guys guys on the other side had other plans. You know? And they, they took him and they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to take care of you. We're going to take care of you. You know, we, you know, we got to come out over here and go get the shit and blah, 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 blah. And Three or four days after he had left his mother's house, they found him in the trunk of a fucking car shot to shit. They threw him in the trunk of the car and they shot They shot it up. I say three days. I'm sorry. It wasn't three days. It was like three weeks because I was telling Paul yeah. that when they, when they opened up the trunk, this kid was just green, you know, from baking in the Arizona sun. Yeah. It was brutal, dude. His poor mother didn't even have a chance to have a fucking... Close, you know, a funeral for this kid. Yeah. You know, there wasn't, you know, nothing you could do. But I mean, but that's the thing. You, you know, you you want to you want to be somebody in that type of a lifestyle. That goes hand in hand with that type of shit. You know, and yeah. that shit is like a little easier as the as the the guy on the other side to to, to kind of digest. You're like, look, you you chose that that path. That's what you did. You know what I mean? I, yeah. you know, your dad, it sucks. I miss you. That sucks. I don't want, you know, I, I, I grieve for your family, yeah. but you, you, you chose that path and you went down it with a guy like Maurizio. There was no path chosen. It was just, he was just taken from us, you know, and that sucks. Yeah. So that one, that one really hurt. But, you know, these guys, man, um, who, who, uh, you know, idolize the, these fucking dudes that are that are making their money, you know, whatever, doing their shit illegally and stuff like that with these heavy yeah. crimes and stuff. Bro, there's a heavy fucking price to pay. I mean, even as even as a uh oh thank you, man, <laughs> Yankees for life. Um, but uh <laughs> you know, there's a price you gotta pay, dude. Like even being associated, like I, I me just being associated with guys. I, I was, you know, stabbed twice, shot three times. I got a bullet still lodged in my kneecap. It fucks me up every day. I got to go to work with my knee all fucked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, just for being associated with that lifestyle. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's, it, it's, it's all fun and games, and it's all glitz and glam when it's on fucking YouTube, and it's like, you know, mob this and this and that. And da, 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 it's like da. a story, you know. It's like, but uh, yeah, it's it, these are fucking soap operas. These guys are fucking telling. Yeah. You know, go live that shit, bro. It's fucking brutal out there, man. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I have one of my fucking buddies held down, bro. 
because he was he was it was thought, not even confirmed, not nothing, just thought that he may have uh, uh, skipped skipped a few counts on the money. Oh, and kidding. dude, they held this kid down. They pulled his teeth out with fucking pliers, and they fucking wow. they, they they forced like you four gallons of bleach down his throat. Down Oh shit! They forced. They told him because because they called him. They said that you know uh, this kid was of Mexican no, lucky, descent. Lucky, son. and bro, it, they it, said it, you know the Mexicans when 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 you got a Mexican it, 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 that acts white, they call them Twinkies. You know, yeah. and uh, <clears throat> so they they basically they sent a message to his people like, you know, he wants to live like a fucking Twinkie. He's going to die like one. So they poured fucking bleach down this kid's throat, like four gallons of bleach down this kid's fucking throat and killed him. That's insane. Yeah, bro. And then you're out in the fucking desert. You know where they find you? You know what I mean? In a fucking hole. If they find you at all, yeah. And you're cooking. Yeah. You know, and that's it, yeah. And then, and that's it. That's a wrap. And, or, or that's the lucky part. That's if they just come after you. What yeah. if they go after your family? Like they mm-hmm. decide that your fifteen-year-old sister would make a really good fucking sex slave in Mexico City, and she just ends up missing because you know because they feel like you know you shortchange them or you're getting a little uh, too big for your britches, if you will, or whatever. Yeah. You know, this shit happens, bro. It's not all glitz and glam and all this shit that these no. guys think it is. It's not. It's not. It's they don't think it's going to happen to them, though, you know? They see the glamour. They see the glitz and the fun and all that, but they don't see the what could happen to them. They don't think about they it. They don't, don't think it's going to happen to them, you know? They don't, bro. They don't see the scars. Yeah. That's the thing. They don't see the scars, bro. You know what I mean? Or, you know, the and, and a lot of the mental – it's scarring is mental. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you can't you can't unsee certain shit. You know what I mean? Like shit that I've seen. Yeah. You can't unsee shit. You know what I mean? It's it's burned in your brain forever. I mean, maybe oh, some of these guys are true sociopathic type motherfuckers where it doesn't phase them. And I'm <laughs> and, and absolutely they're out there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Scarpa, those guys, those guys are fucking nut jobs. Those dudes, you know, Lacoste Rush are not. Those guys were going to be fucking psychopaths. And they sleep easy at night after they do shit like that. They sleep easy at night. No, it's like taking out the trash. Right, exactly. You know what I mean? But if you're like, if you've got half a fucking brain in your head and and half that amount in heart, there's no way you're sleeping like that, man. You know what I mean? There's no way. Yeah. There's just no way. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. it's, It's crazy, bro. It's it's crazy. I was uh, yeah, like honestly, man. I would love to, uh, you know. I know I know FBS wants to talk about it and shit like that and stuff too. Yeah. So I mean, dude, I would love for you to be on there, bro, and <laughs> hear some of the shit that I, like the stories that I can tell you, bro. Is fucking yeah. Nuts. It sounds like you have some really great fucking stories, man. Not dude. Crazy. Dude. Yeah. Listen, I was in Arizona. I was in Arizona. During the fucking during the nineties and the two thousands, so shit that most guys only read in newspapers or or overheard on the news or whatever. Yeah, I was there ground level. I fucking lived it. I lived it. I was in the fucking clubs. I was with the fucking people. I was telling my cousin last night. I was telling a story. I won't get into it too much, you know, uh, on here. But you know. It was fucking nuts, man. It was nuts, dude. It was nuts. Yeah. It was crazy shit. It's crazy shit. Now, we got to talk so, about it another time. You got to open up more and let us fun. know another time when you feel comfortable. Dude, I'm comfortable just, whenever. I just, yeah. I mean, it's like two in the morning over here. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I, I'm not trying to like open up a can, you know what I mean? Yeah. The audience is passing out and shit, <laughs> you know, but, uh, but no, dude, honestly, man, like, um, yeah, I got I got a lot of shit that I can tell you. Shit that's gonna fuck you up, man. Like people yeah. like I told my cousin, I mean, you were like, what the already. fuck? <laughs> yeah. He was yeah. like, Are you serious, bro? Like that really happened? You know? Yeah, it's there, there's a lot of shit. But you I'm know, and that was another out. thing too, man. That's the huh? other thing. That's the fucked up part is that afterwards what you told me when I had it fact check stuff on my end, meaning when I say fact check, I'm talking like street fact check, people right. names. 
it, it checks out. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Not that I don't believe you, but I'm like, yeah. fucking Christ. <laughs> I'm over here telling him shit about stuff with like over here growing up. And he's like, you know, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. You know, but then like we're going back and forth. Like, this is what we'll do. We'll bullshit about something. And then somehow we go into like some crazy shit that happened when we were younger. Yeah, and he's telling me, and I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, man, what the fuck? And he's like, Yeah, you know. But then I'll tell him something. He's like, You know, it's not like a pissing contest, but it's like, What the fuck, man? No, we just ping pong back and forth. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, who who who's got more mental scars and problems? That's really what it is. You know, it's fucked up, man. People don't. I'm telling you, you should not be glorified. Here's my. Here's my. I'll I'm you. guilty of that. I do glorify some gangsters, you know. This is me. I'm right in the middle. I'm going to explain to you something. Yeah. Because I don't. I don't glorify violence and uh, crime and hurting people. Yeah. And people. But sadly, I will tell you this. Like where I am, where I grow up, that presence is needed to sustain balance. Yeah. Keep the neighborhood sustained with because there's a lot of shit that goes on and gets out of control and it needs to be sustained. And that's what went on when I was growing up. There was a sustainment. Now, I'm not saying that that should give them a pass for anything that has been done that's out of control. No, absolutely not. Yeah. But that sustained things. And as I told you, it's a necessary it's, evil. It's an, it, it really is, though, sadly, because it keeps the neighborhood sustained because there's shit that people do, man. And you cops can't be involved. See, B, BK Shallon, I I knew you would grasp that because I could tell just the way you were carrying yourself. You know what I'm talking about. He sounds like I, I don't know how old you are. I think I'm a little older than you. He knows what the fuck I'm talking about. It's not good. Yeah. It's not a good thing, but it's needed. It has to. It's the. It just keeps things in order well it's part of the whole ecosystem now it's like you know it's always it's been I mean, a necessary you know, you know, you know. it's right. really been man because you get these fucking young assholes they're in high school or whatever or that they're like 20 something all right they've been in and out of like like when i was growing up these kids were in and out of spofford and they thought they were hot shit spofford. they threatened to send me to spofford in fucking yeah. high school over you a know, laser dude, dude, let me tell you you did not get Fucking rehabilitated. When you went to Spofford, you came yeah. out even worse. Or with new sets. Yeah, was, <laughs> I know like guys. That, we yeah. call I that mean, gladiator school. Yeah. Well, guys would come out and be fucking lunatic. They were fucking nuts going in, and they came out like even worse, just more ripped. And yeah. you know, but they talked about Spofford though. <laughs> yeah, bro. But they would fuck around. You know, now they're thinking they're hot shit, and they're going to these areas that like you shouldn't be fucking around. Or like I don't care who this guy is related to, who he's hooked up with, who watches over him, and do stupid shit, and then it would turn the neighborhood into turmoil because now everybody's out for fucking blood. Yeah. Somebody had asked me about there was a riot that went on. It started in Lehman High School. It was something so stupid, but it, it it's what brought metal detectors into that high school. <laughs> and it was an Albanian, Italian, and other races. It was a fucking war that broke out in the high school and spilled its way out into the street. And it was like just war get fucking warfare between Italians, Albanians. Mostly it stuck with that too. Not yeah. that there should be anything with races. That's a that's oblivious. There should be nothing to do with that. That, that means nothing. Especially not in New York. No, and then the Bronx alone. But it got serious. Like, Yo, you had to walk out of your house and make sure you had something to take care of yourself. Yeah, with. yeah. These, yo, you you made sure you weren't by yourself because if you yeah. rolled around the wrong area, and you know it, it was vice versa. If they rolled around with a group of Italians that were hot-headed motherfuckers, Carlos knows what I'm talking about. See, uh, they still heavy, bro. Everybody's heavy in the Bronx. We're so diverse. It's a diverse area, so yeah. everybody's heavy over here. But. The thing is, like, yo, yo if it was vice versa, they would make sure that when they went to certain areas that were heavy Italian, yo, you got to be ready to rock and you better have a group of guys with you. And I'm not talking about people walking around with hardware, but dudes would have knives, blackjacks. Yeah, I, I used to have an array, yeah. blackjacks, brass yeah. knuckles, beaver tails, everything. And, you know, one day my mom finds them. This is after everything occurred. Luckily, I never got into any trouble during this. 
But I always made sure I was able to defend myself, even with my friends. And I had some real fucking whack jobs I hung out with. <laughs> I mean, this I had a couple of friends. I had this one friend. His, head, his neck was like a fucking tree trunk. And I mean, he had hands like shovels. He'd beat the living shit out of people. <laughs> he, was he was like one of those, he'll give you about 10 seconds to explain yourself and just blast you. And I'd be like, what are you doing? What the fuck, man? Like, relax. I'm going to squash this out. Now you talk too much. You're a big man. He wants to educate somebody. Yeah. I'm like, dude, come on. What the fuck? Yeah, he went on to do other. He, yeah, anyways, he's in, he's in the <laughs> area of life. It's sad because I love him, but I don't yeah. talk to him. But anyways, you, know, you had to be ready to rock and roll. So now time has passed. Everything's over. Yo, bro, it, it, listen, it popped off the day, Challenge. It was fucking nuts, dude. The shit that I've seen was like, holy shit, like something out of a fucking I, It was nuts. It was scary shit. It was scary shit. It was exhilarating as when you're young, but as a guy going on 40, I'm like, holy shit, I'm alive. And so are other people I know. What the fuck? Yeah. So long story short, my mom finds this little cachet arsenal in my drawer and she's like, what the fuck is all this? I was like, oh, I'm collecting them. She was like, collecting what? She was like, I'm throwing this shit out. God damn it. I was <laughs> like, oh, come on, man. I love it. And it was like the knuckles. I got those brass knuckles from this guy who was like telling me that he trained uh, Jake LaMotta trained them and he was like a fucking neck breaker. Yeah. He gave them to me. Yeah, Dom, I never told you this. These brass knuckles were like homemade. They were sick. Homemade and brass knuckles. Because Jake LaMotta lived in Pelham Parkway. And he trained, Jake LaMotta apparently trained him. He was this fucking brutal dude. He's like yeah. five foot four, angry fucking Sicilian <laughs> guy. But he would beat the shit out of somebody. So he yeah. gave them to me. He's like, you're a little guy. You need this to take care of yourself. I was like, all right, thanks. And the blackjack I had made. We, we we knew how to make them with bed homemade screws. blackjacks, yeah. Yeah, bro. Bed we don't know how to make one of those fucking things. I saw how it, I saw it on YouTube. But. I tell you right now, you get a thin, a thin bed spring, you get a fucking fishing weight, you hook it, and you got to kind of lock it in. You got to yeah. wrap it in electrical tape. Uh huh. Rack a couple of rolls, bro, and there you go. You got a homemade one, dude. You whip somebody <laughs> with that, you blast them open. Yeah. Not I that used to just drop a lock in a sock. Oh, that's the lock sock. I remember yeah. you telling me about that. You know that's what? That's prison shit. A beaver tail is an actual, it looks like a beaver tail. You see him in those old 1940s movies. You know, the guy takes it out of his back and hits the guy uh -huh. in the back of his neck. Well, yeah. If you did that, you'd crack somebody's fucking vertebrae open in real life. <laughs> You're not just knocking them out. You're giving them a concussion yeah. brain damage. Jesus so, you know, yeah, again. Bro, I, I was know. telling Paul, when I used to carry it around, I used to have a fucking sawed off Louisville aluminum back filled with concrete. <laughs> Fuck it, fuck. Dude, yeah, yeah, put a fucking. I took a Krylon fucking spray can cap, put it on the top of the motherfucker, hit it with fucking duct tape, and used to fucking home run motherfuckers <laughs> with that thing, dude. <laughs> fucking, you know what I mean? Go for the fucking triples and shit, dude. I was, was trying great. to fucking wing your head off, you know? <laughs> but yeah, dude, you know why? Because where there, I was well. at, everybody reached for the fucking gun first. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Well, that's how it was back in the days. For the nah, we used to just beat the shit out of each other. So you know, we we would just beat the ever yeah, dude. Head. I wish I wish they would. That's how it started. But then when they couldn't beat you, they would go and they grab guns and they shoot my fucking mother's house oh, up. Yeah, that's and then I, you know what I mean. And I gotta fucking now I gotta fucking hurt you. Yeah. The, only, the only time guns went off over here was when things went past the point of reason. And I mean, like, beating the fuck out of each other and then coming to a fucking men's afterwards or just saying, look, I hate you, you hate me, and we're going to just not associate. Yeah. Uh, but I, that's the only time I ever heard. I, there was one kid that was killed because he was selling drugs. They shot him. They left him in his car. They This was fucking nuts. They parked his car at the corner of my mother's block, two blocks down. And we're in a quiet area. It's residential. They left him in his car in the driver's seat with a round through the back of the head, executed. Because he was selling drugs in the neighborhood. They told him to stop doing it. I'm not going to say who they are. I'll let you mm -hmm. use your imagination. Mm -hmm. And he was, kept, kept selling drugs. He was like, yo. It's okay. My boy's connected. It don't matter. He was hanging out with this other Italian kid. He was a Spanish kid. He was a good kid. 
Yeah. But he was just under this idea that he had this protection that it's all right. Don't worry mm. about it. No. And I'm not saying those guys did it. What I'm saying is, is that he got shot. We, I come home from a club one night. Next thing you know, it was like fucking cops everywhere. Investigation tape. It was nuts. And then I Dude. find out this kid got executed. I was like, holy shit. I had Dude. this fucking kid. I had this kid, this Irish kid from Jersey. And he moved into the fucking projects where I was living. And me and him were like, you know, we'd like we'd like play football around and fuck Can you around. You put that pink veals comment up. I'm sorry, Dom, but you no, got to no. put this up. He, pound that pink veals, like, like Dom. Just look at the comment. I'll make you laugh. I got cancer to prick, Dom. <laughs> I'm in none of the books for that. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry, Dom. No, no, with this this <laughs> kid, this kid and I, we used to like toss a football around. We used to like fuck around or whatever. And and then all of a sudden he like moved away. And I'm like, all right, cool, whatever, you know, it just is what it is. Well, my parents had to move us out of the fucking neighborhood we were in, dude. We were like in the project. But so my mom, my dad are like, fuck this, we're gonna go build this fucking house out in the middle of fucking bum fucking at the time. There was nothing out there. Yeah. And so they build this house and, and I show up. My mo- my mother's like, you know, you gotta go to school, whatever, this and that. So my mother like signs me up for school. I go to the school bus, or the bus stop, and there's this kid. And I'm like, hey, bro, what's up, man? You know, I'm trying to be cool with him. Oh, well, now he's all in with all these other kids that, you know, go to our school. So now he's, like, too cool for me, you know, kind of a thing. And so it started out as, like, a little bullshit, like, schoolyard rivalry. Like, we would talk shit, and we'd, like, box on the bus, and we'd, you know, get off the fucking bus, Oh, you know, fucking bus, yeah. Fucking, you know, this and that, you know, at the bus stop or whatever, or meet me at the park, you know, that sort of shit. And then it would escalate and escalate and escalate. And so one day I'm I'm at home, I'm by myself at the house. I'm just chilling by myself at the house. And this kid's like, after school, bro, after school. And I'm like, all right, whatever. So I go down there, this kid doesn't show up. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So I go home, and all of a sudden, I get banging on my fucking mother's front door, just beating the shit out of my mother's front door. Like, these kids are literally trying to pry the door off the fucking hinges. Right hand <laughs> of God. My mother's door was destroyed afterwards. She was pissed. Yeah. But um, so I'm sitting there, and I call my boy Joey. My boy Joey is just fucking half Puerto Rican, half Italian kid. We've been friends for fucking since we were, like, knee high. And he's like, and I'm going, dude, what the fuck do I do, bro? There's like 18 kids at my fucking door. Like, I can scrap, but there's 18 kids at my door. Yeah. So he's like, yo, yo, yo. And and I'm trying to listen to him, but they're, bound, they're pounding this door, bro. Like, the wooden door is flexing in and out. Yeah. Like, they're pounding on this door. Yeah. And I hear him, and what he actually said was, go in the bedroom and lock the door and grab your dad's shotgun. Well, all I heard was, go grab the gun. Yeah. So I go, I grab a fucking Ruger P89, <laughs> smack a fucking 19 round mag in this motherfucker. Yeah. Ding, ding, open the door and start busting. Bow, 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 nice. Bow. These kids fucking scatter down the block. I'm in the middle of a suburban neighborhood. Fuck like, it. Rule suburban, bro. Light like, that whole fucking block up. That's lighten right. It, lighten it the fuck yeah. up, dude. R- running down the street. Bang, 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 fuck bang. Yeah. Grace of God, none of these kids get fucking hit. My fucking... You got my, bad aim. My, Jesus my, my, head, my head instantly goes to, holy shit, pick the fucking shells up. So I'm running around the front yard picking fucking shells up. Now in the backyard is nothing but tumbleweeds. So I just throw the fucking these the brass in the fucking tumbleweeds. Cops come to the house. Yo, neighbor said we heard gunshots and this. And I'm like, yo, I heard them too. I don't know. What to <laughs> I, heard, I heard the same shit, bro. Right. I was like, everything all right? I said, they were, he goes, what happened to your front door? I said, I don't know. I said, I thought they were trying to shoot at me. I said, there was a bunch of kids banging on my door. So the cops are like driving all around the fucking neighborhood, everything. Oh, my God. So the next day, this is this is a true story, bro. I'll bring my sister in on this motherfucker. This motherfucker shows up at my fucking house. I'm not home. 
My brother and sister are waiting outside of the house, waiting for me to come home. This fucking asshole comes to my house. He beats the shit out of my sister. He beats the shit out of my brother, who's like eight years old. He throws him on the floor, kicks him in the fucking balls. Nice. I come home, dude, and my sister's like, yo, this kid's got to fucking go. And I'm like, oh, no, he's going right fucking now. Yeah. I went in the fucking garage, dude. I grabbed that fucking bat. I, I, dude, I swear to God, bro, I had fucking tunnel vision. I went straight to this fucking kid's house. I knocked yeah. on the fucking door, and, I, and his mother <clears> opens <throat> the door. And I, and I go, is your son home, whatever? I won't mention his name. Uh, but I says, you know, is he home? She says, uh, yeah, give me a minute. This kid comes to the door. He goes, what the fuck you want? Boom. Hit him over the fucking Ooh. top of the head, dude. Blood squirting yeah. off. I beat his fucking ass, dude. So I turn around, I walk home. This kid's fucking laid out on the fucking front lawn, fucked up. I go home. My father's home. My father's going, you get this cocksucker. I'm going to kill this motherfucker. My sister told him. I go, I, I, I'm pretty sure he's fucking dead, I told my father. My dad goes, good, cocksucker. <laughs> Spits on the floor. So next thing you know, dude, there's, there's a banging on my fucking front door. My dad's going, fuck, here comes the cops. Right, it's the dude. It's 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 this kid with his uncle standing at the door, and his uncle is like some total herb, right? And he's like, he's like, look what your fucking son did to my fucking my nephew. Look what he fucking did. This is ridiculous. This kid yeah. doesn't fight fair. Blah 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 blah. So my dad goes, what the fuck you mean fight fair? This fucking piece of shit came to my house, beat up my daughter, beat up yeah. my son. So this guy goes. Yo, he hit him with a bat. I mean, who the fuck, you know, what, what kind of kid are you what raising you hit him with a bat? He goes, yeah. he goes, when I was a kid, we handled it with these. He goes, yeah? He goes, Dom, kick his fucking ass. I fucking <laughs> ran around my father. I no. said, this kid's already all fucked up, bro. Like, this kid's face is all, yeah. and I'm beating him. The fucking, the uncle tries to grab me off my off this kid. My father grabs him by the throat, fucking bam, throws him against wow. the wall. Throws him a shot and fucking drops him to the floor. Long story short, bro, I did about a year for that one. You know what I mean? Jesus. So, That's hilarious. <laughs> I did about a year for that. Yeah. But, you know, it's like, you know, it, it, it escalates, bro. It escalates because they, they, you know, it starts out as like fist fights or whatever. And then they, then they want to fucking come to the house with bats and fucking... Yeah. One of these fucking assholes had a crowbar trying to pry on the on the front door, trying to. Jesus. What were they gonna do if they actually got in? Get their right? fucking like, school print. Dad, like, what were they gonna do? Be they're not you know, they'd be sleeping. On. They're not thinking. See, no, that's they'd be easy. sleeping. That's what it is. You don't think straight. You do stupid shit like that. You're going to bed permanently. Yeah. Or sometimes you're just so pissed off, bro. You're not fucking thinking. All you see is red. You know, you fucking black out. I think this guy's frozen. I think either he blacked out or went froze. He's lucky. It was a, it was just a bat. He said. There you go. Now you're back. Now oh yeah, I know. I, I no. I was just reading the Lefty Guns' comment. He beat up a girl. He's lucky it was just a bat. No, he's, he's say, absolutely. Yeah. He's absolutely right, man. Yeah. You know what I mean. But that was my that was my fucking weapon of choice, bro. It was a fucking baseball bat filled with concrete. My father taught filled me that. Filled with concrete. How the fuck do you fill it with concrete? Where you yeah, drill? Bro. Yo, so so yeah, so what I'll... you do is like you 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 fucking cut the end of the bat off, right? And then you fucking mix some quick cream, and you just pour it down inside the bat. You keep banging the bottom of the bat till it all settles nice. Uh -huh. And then once it once it dries and gets hard. Then I took a fucking, you know, because if you hit something and it cracks the concrete, it's going to go flying out the end, right? Yeah. So I took a fucking, I took a Krylon spray can cap, stuck it on the top, and, and fucking duct taped it. <laughs> and so now I can, I can swing for the fucking fences. The shit ain't coming off. And so what, you walking so, around with this in your jeans or some shit? You're yeah, like, oh, yeah, but because, you know, back in the days, bro, we used to wear the fucking, you know, triple fives and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the big shit. So I would just take that fucking joint, you know what I mean? I'd take it like this and just whoop in the fucking pants. And if they fuck with me, i pull that bitch, you know, bam, yeah. and it lights out. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I you was, know? Now, Dom was telling me this 
this morning we were sharing. Don't I don't know how the fuck we got onto stupid shit we carried. So I was telling him I used to have a sort of Tito, uh, uh, Roberto Clemente Louisville slugger. <laughs> and he was like, what the fuck, man? You know, and then he went into his shit. I know all about that. The Illum- we just never did that because oh, you, I mean, that's just fucking demented. You'll fuck. Oh, my it. dad told me, you know what you do to cocksuckers like this? You fucking hit them with a Brooklyn sledgehammer. I said, what's a Brooklyn sledgehammer? <laughs> he says, take that fucking bat, fill it full of concrete, and beat his fucking head into those mother fields. And I'm like, all right. My my father's from Bensonhurst, bro. My father don't fucking play. My father's a fucking. My father's a real fucking crazy. Something's in the drinking water over there in Bensonhurst. I don't know. Something's they're a little fucking. A little bot. Yeah, and Brooklyn and Bronx. You know they never got along. I don't know if you know about that whole story. No, I don't. When you, we never went into yeah. Brooklyn because we weren't welcome, and Brooklyn never came to the Bronx because they sure as shit weren't welcome there. This was stupid shit in the 90s and early 2000s. People would fucking shit would go wild, man. Yeah. Go wild. It was yeah. stupid. It was Dude, it was like that shit. even back in the day. They were tripping out. My mother's from the Bronx. And when my when my dad came home and told my, my grandfather like that he was dating a chick from the Bronx, my my grandfather was like, oh, this isn't going to end good. You know, <laughs> like this isn't going to end up well, you know? <laughs> I got it fucked from both ends, bro. I'm fucked from both ends. I got, you know, I'm, I, I'm full blooded Sicilian, and both my parents are from oh, fucked man. up areas, you know? Yeah, so, your blood runs hot. He's the, he's the violent side of the family. Yeah. Surprise. Yeah, you know. My mom still has that bat, by the way. I left it to her. I said, you can set the door in case somebody comes in, you split their fucking head wide open. She's like, I don't know. She's like very sweet, my mother, but I've seen her get wild. She gets fucking crazy. She's got the boy. Gunsmoke. After after the live, I'll tell you what my last name is. Okay. And then you uh, can then you can look up what my last name is and you'll see why I'm so violent. Okay. I would love it's just, to. Yeah. It's it's DNA. It's like encoded in oh, the oh, fucking oh. DNA. I don't like to be violent like that. Yeah. Nobody more men. Yes. When no one's connected, nobody's a wise guy. We're not. No, married. no, not at no, all. No, he's no, putting no, no, down no, no, no. that he's introducing you as cousin Dom. I'm your maid man, the Perry man. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm not on that well, side. Who I'm knows? Not on that side. No, no, one, but, no one is hooked up here. No, not at all, man. Not at all. Sometimes no, we got to keep him guessing, man. I have been preaching against that for years. Paul knows yeah. that. I, my take on that was always. Uh, it was always viewed like it was a necessary evil, but it was always viewed as a negative. Yeah. I never, you know, and I get that. Honestly, I get that from my father. My father always was always adamantly against that. And it was one of the reasons why I was pulled away from from New York. You had a lot of respect. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. My father was always like, listen, go to work bust your fucking ass yeah you know what i mean like that's he was always just go to work and bust your ass and that's all i do now man i work myself to death but you know but that's but that's it but he he didn't he i mean not that he didn't respect he respected those guys because you have to give a certain level of respect of course but, yeah but you know but he 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 didn't understand it and and it never computed with him properly he was always like why why do this when you know there's so many side effects of it there's so many negatives of it when you could just just you know ride the line go to work bust your ass do your thing and and you don't have to worry about it. that's why i love the uh, you know a bronx tale so much because i got taught a lot of those lessons mm-hmm. um in different verbiage, obviously, you know what I mean? My father wasn't very elegant with his words, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, you can tell by my vocabulary, yeah. you know? I, I tell you, I'm my father's son. But, yeah. you know, but my father would, would tell me, you know, same same type of things, you know? Like, you know, you know, guys like, you know, they don't, they, people don't love them, they fear them, you know? It would say yeah. shit like that to me, you know? And he would say, we, we want to hang out with kids, you know, that are afraid of you. Or you want to hang out with people because they love you, and that's the you thing know, with the movie, shit like but, that. Yeah, but that—that's why I Yo. love the movie so much because you know a lot of the um, 
the theme and like the lessons learned in that movie, it was just so like you could carry that on with you through life, you know? Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, there's so much of it. But you know, I'm blessed that I was that I was taught that and I wouldn't have gotten that had it been for him. You know what I mean? Had it not been mm-hmm. for my father, that I would have never have gotten that outlook because that was not my mother didn't share those same sentiments. No. My mother was on my mother was on the complete opposite side of the spectrum. Well, she was the gangster. Being honest. My mother was the one who was like, you know, not for nothing, you know, you can make really good money. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like my mother was like, you know, it's not that dangerous, you know, if you know people. I'm like, you know, my mother was that way, but th- my my mother and father were kind of oil and water, you know, about everything, but uh-huh. Yeah, no, I'm I'm grateful that he that he installed that in me because to be honest with you, dude, it's 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 real easy to go off the fucking rails. It really is. I mean, you could go off the fucking rails. I think Paul has said that before on FBS's show. Like, you know, that he could have uh, gone off the rails real oh, easy. Yeah, you know, and and that's yeah. the thing. It's real easy for us when when your name ends in a vowel and you and you're growing up around this and that and the other thing. It's I told you know her, it's not hard to fall to fall into that type of shit. That's been yeah. that's the line for me. <laughs> no, I'm not fucking with you. I, yeah. was, I really didn't give a shit. Once uh, the the family dynamic changed in my house when my parents got divorced, you know, some kids lash out, whatever. I was just like, fuck this. I'm everything I'm told not to do, I'm gonna fucking do it. So I'm gonna yeah. go out, I'm gonna fucking sneak out, I'm gonna fucking drink, I'm gonna party. Yeah. I'm going to do everything I wasn't supposed to. And then I started hanging out with a lot of, un- un- you know, not the best characters. characters. Yeah. Bro, not, not John, psychopaths. <laughs> they're fucking, they're still psychopaths. And, you know, I, it, it came very close to where I was going to make a really stupid mistake in my life that maybe I could have went into that kind of a crazy lifestyle. And I'm glad I didn't because there's nothing at the end of that road. I've t- We had this conversation. We said it. And I'll say this. You find me one retired wise guy, gangster, mobster that's retired and like chilling, no worries in the world. That didn't right, rap. Francis. No, nah, right. <laughs> no, the no one is that. Carlo Gambino who died peace, like he died yeah. in his bed. The only one. But no, nah. yeah. that ratting on somebody, dying, doing this, going into hiding. Who the yeah. fuck wants that light? You know what I mean? I, that's not for me. I'm not built for that. I'm good. No, I hear you. I'll go no. to work, man. Go home. Go to work. I hang out with my wife and chill. And, you know, I'll shoot the I'll shit. I'll tell you what. Yeah. I have no problem with doing dirt for myself. I'll be dipped in shit if I'm doing it because you fucking told me to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, I I'm 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 my own worst fucking enemy. I don't need you fucking egging me on or, or telling me to go do shit. I'm I'm bad yeah. enough as it is on my own. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you know You're fucking I, guy, man. You see the way he's talking right now? I'm sorry I cut you. You see BK Shallon, he's coming out with that positive shit. You know what's up, bro? You know what's yeah. up. You know what's up. You can't. You can't sleep at night. You're all fucked up, man. You're thinking about shit. I don't need that shit in my life, man. No. I got oh, my, no. my fucking. I'm already done with all the shit. As I told my, I I've told my wife this. I said, I said this to FBS. I'll say it to you, uh, Gunsmoke. I, Dom knows this. I told my wife. I said, Yo, you think you bought a new toy when you got me? I'm broken, baby. <laughs> broken before you met me. You don't know what yeah, you're yeah. getting. But she's like, No, you're a good guy. I see the good in you. I'm like, Yeah, but you don't understand. And she's probably the only woman that I've laid everything out on the table. And she's like, You know what? I love you. You're a good person. Don't let I, I don't hold anything against you. Not that I, I like I'm this arch criminal, but I was a fucking wild card. I was yeah. fucking nuts, man. You know, now I'm like, what the fuck was I think? I wish I could find myself, smack myself upside down. Yeah, good age, man. you gotta grow up, you know, when you're in your twenties or your teens or your sixties. You know, you, know you, and you gotta grow up fast around here, or you get your fucking head yeah. split open. Yeah. The the best part I think about it too is like being a guy like that and then growing older and maturing and um, understanding that what you perceived as normal wasn't quite normal <laughs> is... Uh, or in your neighborhood, ability. it was normal at the time. What's in that? Your in your neighborhood, it was yeah, normal yeah, at yeah, the time. Yeah, 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 right, 
Right. You know, um, I'll be honest with you, my fucking house was more of a battleground than the neighborhood was. <laughs> you know? I yeah. mean, my father, for all the positives that my father taught me about, um, you know, to stay away from the street guys and shit like that, yeah. my father was my father was also the guy who was like, oh, that kid at school bloodied your nose? Yeah, all right, here's a brick. Go put his <laughs> fucking blood on the brick or I put your blood on the brick. Like, that was real shit. Like, Miss Samansky's fucking fourth grade year. I swear to fucking God, that's what happened to me. My father handed me a fucking brick, made me beat this kid fucking Jesus Rob after Christ, that. What the fuck? I didn't want to do it, but, you know, it was, <laughs> but I feared him more than I feared Christ. Yeah, you got to make him proud. I mean? was, yeah. You know, yeah, so, well, you know, but, I mean, but the, the best part is, is that, you know, when you can grow up all fucked up like that, a broken toy like fucking Paul says, you know, you can you can appreciate people and 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 not and not be so quick to judge them, you know because you know everybody judged you like that too at one point. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. like even the, even down to my own family. You know what I'm saying? Like even even like Paul's mom heard stories about me and was like, "Oh my God!" Like you know the the you know the worst in the world about me. You know, and then she got to know me as an adult, and she was like. All right, this guy, you know, he's a good guy. You know, he he's not he's not what he used to be, or he's not what he I was told he was. But you know, I mean, it's it's bad. So I try to take that with me everywhere I go. So when I see somebody or I hear about somebody, I'm always trying to give them the benefit of the doubt first. Yeah, you know, and that's it. I what is this guy saying? I got to no. I just got to tell him Brooklyn bounce. First off, yes, I would do it. It's, it doesn't sound. Gay, uh, <laughs> I would do it for you, and I would do it for free because I don't, I'm not here to make a profit, bro. I would do it for free, you know, and I appreciate that. That's awesome, man. dude. That's an honor, bro. That's I would do it for shit. free, no, but I would do it for free if I met up with him. You're in Brooklyn, we could meet up. I'd sign those fucking things for you. One, two, three. I mean, I don't think they're going to be worth anything. I'm not that famous, but I got you, yeah. you know. That's dope, dude. Do that's a hey, that's awesome, man. Salute to that guy, man. Yeah, he's, that's, yeah, he's great. Nice. Brooklyn Bounce. Yeah. Let, Lefty wants to rent the hole out and throw a party. He wants to know if I want to do it, I, dude. I haven't played in a fucking club, but I mean, not that I can't do it, but yeah. dude, I, you know. can we do it in Florida? Because Dom doesn't get down with the jabs, you know. Yeah, what I mean? he's not <laughs> he can't come out here. He's got more I'm freedom not coming down. out there. You yeah, know? he's got more freedom down there. Absolutely, man. I, yeah, yeah, I can't. I, I, I want to go to New York so bad. I miss the shit out of my cousin. I miss fucking. I miss Arthur Ave. I miss the fucking food. I, I I wanted to go to fucking Long Island. I wanted to go put some fucking you know flowers on my uh, my yeah, grandparents' grave and all that. Yeah. I just can't bring myself to fucking to to get down there like that, bro. It's it's killing me. Oh, I just don't want to do that. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I might drive in. You know, maybe I'll drive. Maybe I'll drive, drive out, in. sneak in. You going incognito? Well, yeah. You put, yo, Lefty puts concerts with rappers. That's awesome, dude. I mean, I play house music. That's my thing, guys. You know, I'm a house head, but you know, I respect rap. Don't get me wrong. I'm in the Bronx. Yeah. You gotta respect. It was just not my thing. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not a turntablist. Whoa, do. whoa! Rappers still exist. <laughs> no, no. In a weird way, yeah. Correction. Rappers doing, still exist. They're dropping I mean, like flies, though, man. There's a murder like every month now. Yeah, it's fucked up over here, too. I wasn't in reference to that. I was just saying that, I, the, you know, the genre is, yeah, is going to fucking out. marbles in the mouth. Yeah, it's dead. Yeah. It's, dead. <laughs> it's all marbles in the no, mouth. The trash the whole thing is fucked up about it. But the beats are okay. I want to throw one thing out to Brooklyn Bounce, dude. Now. We could figure this out, and I, I would sign them for you. I'd send them to you. I'll fit. We'll work it out, bro. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, you should do anymore. you should do a fucking live youtube live set i get just shut down. i mean do it just do yeah. you know throw the yeah, fucking lights on the whole shit yeah i'll get shut down they shut you down one ass oh yeah for streaming uh you know um was it unsolicited? it can't be live it can't be live you have to pre-record it Oh, that sucks. I was going to say, because let these people, you know, chime in and check it out. Cause you got six sets, bro. I got the SoundCloud page. I'll just make a set and upload it, bro. That's not a big, it's nothing. I've been looking for a reason to do it. 
So yeah, but you should you should do it like with a video, you know oh, what I mean, yeah. so they can see you, like oh, you used okay. to do on the gram. You know what I mean? Thanks. Yeah, I know Instagram, and then by, that was crazy too. I had people coming in losing their fucking minds. <laughs> it was cool shit, man. It was cool shit. This kid's so fucking talented, bro. I, no, like, I don't I'm know. So, I'm so proud. Now nah, shut the fuck I'm, up. I'm the Italian Forrest Gump sometimes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> Stupid is stupid. Yeah, yeah it. maybe it's more like uh, I'm trying to think of an ism. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. I, I will come to me. I'm Life cool. is like a brajol. Yeah. Oh, fuck Life is like a girl of what's an You never know how big yeah. they're going to be. Yeah. <laughs> Cruise Marty. 2020, bring in your own weapons. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck oh, get it. Fuck it. Imagine that. Bro, people bringing in. Yo, who knows about the bicycle chain? That was like the original. Oh. Thing, Oh, I had a bicycle chain. Oh. What about a bicycle oh. chain? I had one. Knocking somebody the fuck out. Oh. Bike chain, man. You ripped somebody <laughs> up. <laughs> like, yo, you could, you should really do a show. I locked up my bike with it. I don't know about you guys. Oh, no, we're talking about taking that fucker off and you give somebody a good fucking lashing, you know? Yeah. You got a number? Give, you give got a, a couple of shellacs. Yeah, <laughs> that, that usually set the tone. <laughs> but but chain. but disclaimer but disclaimer usually handcuffs follow so yes yeah just, yeah. just proceed with loaded. caution uh you know YouTube proceed with caution yeah uh, be nice to me with some there. new bracelets stay close I, <laughs> I heard about this guy passing this is uh the most recent rapper that passed away oh yeah yeah well not King Von but the most recent one was Slim Four Hundred like two days ago that's it. Yeah, flip. I, I saw something yeah. with him like talking. He was freestyling with no beat, like in a parking lot, wearing like Louis Vuitton jogging suit or something. Oh, that was yeah. probably Young Dolph. Maybe you're talking about Young Dolph because he got I, murdered three weeks ago. I mean, it's a shame. Oh, you know, they're God. trying you can't to even do... keep up with them. No, no you can't. Just, you can't. Dude, they're trying to get out of their neighborhood and do like a talent, and I feel for him. That's awesome. And then they get, you know, they get mixed up and they get clipped, and it sucks, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. A lot of these guys don't even to get do to make it big time. I used to what? fucking, I used to rap all the time, dude. That oh yeah, so did I. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, I'll send you. Yo, that's what I tell my wife. My wife tells me all the time. Yo, you can mop the floor with these fucking kids. I said these <laughs> kids wouldn't understand half the shit I'm fucking talking about. They wouldn't have any idea. You I got to mumble a little bit. And fucking, and hitting them with fucking words that like they they be pulling out dictionaries and thesaurus and shit like. Yo, what the fuck is a thesaurus? Like, they wouldn't even yeah. know what the fuck they were looking for. Real oh, shit. Young, young Dolph, lefty correct. Wait, I got a question for both you guys. And I, I hate to do this, but I'm doing it tastefully. Dom, what'd you think of that rap video I sent you today? And then I'll tell Gunsmoke what it is. What are you talking about? I sent them a special rap video today. What'd you think of that rap video? I didn't even see it. I sent it to you. I sent him uh, the Johnny Allite rap. Oh yeah, I haven't had yeah because you sent it to me. I was in the middle of fucking moving all this shit. I wanted to listen to it, but my AirPods were at the fucking house. No, it wasn't funny though. Yeah, bro, this guy knows cousin Paulie, dude. But I, I gotta know where the fuck you're from, bro, because you know a lot. He's in Philly. He's in Philly. He's a Philly guy. Oh, yeah, dude, Philly. I wonder. I want to know how old he is because I had these fuckers from Philly that would come out to New York and they would come to Sound Factory. These two dudes from Philly, they were brothers, and then this sick fuck from Boston, Boston <laughs> Jay, sick guy. Yeah, yeah, Boston Jay. But he had a head. No, shout accent. out to Philly though, dude. I love Philly. Yeah, bro. Shout out to Philly. Yo, those Philly dudes get down, but this Boston Jay would get them all rubbed up. He'd be like, "Hey, what are you fucking pricks doing over here? Driving that far with your car? You bunch of fucking homies ah, ripping each other ah. off." It was great. You get them all revved up. South Philly. That's South Philly. Oh, you're a little old. Yeah, he doesn't look 48, though. He doesn't look his age. He looks no. like he's in his 30s and shit. Yo, if he Yo, 40s, 40s is like the new fucking, like the new 20s now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm 40 in a few months. You know, I like hearing years. that. I want to know if he ever, did you ever come out to New York and to Sound Factory? That'd be crazy if we knew each other or he knew these two fucking guys. I don't want to drop their names, but I'll tell you later one day. They were fucking Looney Tunes. They were awesome, but they were fucking nuts. They would drive all the way from Philly just to go out, party, and then drive back home. I'd be like, you guys out of your fucking minds. Yeah. They're like, you see the girls? We don't have this in Philly. I'm like, 
fucking crazy. Bro. Dom, has anyone ever confused you with Action Bronson? <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> actually, that's a story. Yeah, that's happened. Hey, that's so funny that he says that shit, bro. Good boy. Yo, Shots all respect. Chocolate. No, 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 no. It's all good. Yo, I I started at my job out here in fucking in in Florida, and they're like, they're like, yo, who the fuck hired a Action Bronson and shit? And I was like, yo, come on, man. Like, what the fuck? You know. I, I, yo, that kid's yeah, got I talent, talk, though. I, I don't, oh, I don't yeah. hate on that. Hell that yeah. kid is fucking, he's ill as fuck. Yeah. I like that dude. Yeah, he's a good cook. Um, is he? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he has his own cooking thing. He's like a I chef. Gotta, nice. yeah, he does, nice. dude, he's making some crazy food. I got to talk to him. Dude, he's a solid motherfucker, house, though. I've bro. heard nothing but good shit about him. I know him. your like, brother. All my old friends like oh, that were dude. like hardcore, like Wu-Tang heads and shit. Yeah, fucking, they're all like, "Yo, you gotta check this dude out." And they, and and one of my friends like dropped me a link, and I was like, "Yo, this kid's fucking." Fire. I thought it was Ghostface Killer at first before I ever saw him. I thought right? it was Ghostface. Okay, yeah, that's. I was like, "Yo, which man, who who from Wu Tang is this motherfucker?" You know? Yeah. And they're like, nah, bro, it's this fucking white cat. I'm like, dude, all right, fuck Yo, it. He I rips it up. The Johnny Allite rap video. Oh yeah, I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna check yeah, it out. Yo, know, BK Shallon, dude. I'm first off. I'm glad that you're in a, you're feeling better and you're having fun because that's what's up, bro. Yeah. And we gotta hook. We gotta talk. We gotta maybe talk off the cuff. That is good if shit. I know your brother, because I know that area that you're in, and it'd be nuts if I knew your brother, man. Because if he was at Sound Factory, that was a tight knit community. That would be fucking insane. I'd lose my shit. That'd be my, but anyways, yo, I sent them that Albanian. You gotta watch it. Albanian, what is it called? Albanian Pinocchio blood. blood. Dude, it, the song's horrible. I'm oh, sorry. that's what you're talking about with the shibit, shibit, janelita. Yeah. Bullshit. It's just like. I thought you were rapping, bro. I thought you said, I thought you did a little rap or, or whatever. Never. You said to him. I, that's why I stayed behind the decks. I DJ. <laughs> I can't do shit. I can't rap. Yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't seen that, Dom. That's an old Rocko. video. Rocco, who, bro? Yeah, I, I, I haven't fucked with it, dude. I try to avoid that guy like he's fucking airborne AIDS, bro. Real <laughs> shit. What do you think about fucking... his signed his autographed uh, baseball bats? What do you think about that? Oh, that I, I, he could shove them up his fucking sister's ass. <laughs> he, I could he, give two shit. He's autographing I, butcher knives and baseball bats. MRE said it best. Yeah, autographing my dick with your, your mouth. How you, about that? You, you talk, your dick with my the mouth. The lies that you're saying, and I watched this thing today where he was on. Get this, he was on. Uh, Escape from uh, like <laughs> uh, something abroad, locked up abroad. Yeah, locked up abroad. Yeah, it's the fucking story he gives is so counter to what a story he gave previously. Yeah. Now I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? He basically said he got that made guy, in the mob and shit. Oh, he was a street boy. Is, is a, you know, is a freckle the on the ass of life. Yeah, yeah. Like that's this. what that I guy mean, is. What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> like, you know, I'm not from that area, so I didn't know what went yeah. on, but. I know that didn't go on because, like, what the fuck are you doing? The National Geographic doesn't do any fact checking or anything. They just paint this guy to spew his bullshit. Hey, you look like crazy. you look like you got an interesting story. Okay, hop on. Yeah, exactly. And he's got the voice. He comes in there with his little suit on. You know, dude, he's a fucking full blown cackle on too. He sits over there. I was a dick deli. I was sucking this guy's dick. Fuck out of here! I'm gonna fuck with BK Challenge right now with this. He's a valise. That's a big time Brooklyn Italian thing. Valise. It's like a Mortavan, Dom. He's a real fucking piece of shit. Yeah, well, real yeah. Christy Lee, I do know Christy Lee. Yes, I do. I definitely do know Christy Lee Shallon. So that means I know, we know the same fucking people. That is insane. I think we know the same fucking people. Yo, BK Shallon, answer me this. Do you know Sean Inc.? This will this will kind of settle this confusion. <clears throat> if you know Sean Inc., that was another DJ. We DJ together at Float for many years. And he was a Brooklyn guy. I still talk to Sean, so I wonder if you know. That's insane right now. This fucking guy. See, I made a new friend today, bro. Yeah, see? 
No, I'm glad he stuck around and fucking hey, and chilled he got out. Good and chill, and now we're at that. We're fucking boys now. That's what's a little up. kindness, you know. A little respect and kindness goes a long way. It took five Absolutely. seconds of clearing the smoke, and everybody's chilling right now, having a good time, fucking yo. Know, but I, a light man, I, I, I dude. It, it, <laughs> I'm glad he's, you know, he's disappeared, you know, for the most part. I don't he, think he so. Ridiculous. He up with this other guy. I was watching MRE. MRE is like my fucking, that's like my fucking news channel. Yeah. You really like him, huh? That's cool. Bro, I used to wait a minute. Same way. Oh, hold up. Yo, your brother's boy is Sean Inc. Oh, dude, we got to talk, bro. You got to, yo, reach out to Dude, I definitely do. If if he was if he's boys with Sean, I know I know your brother because I'm thinking it's this fucking guy, but I don't want to throw the last name out there. Dude, you gotta tell your brother to reach out to Sean Inc. to Paul Perry. It's that simple. He's got my info, and we gotta. Look that's fucking that. crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Small world, small mob community. Crazy man. Yeah. That crew used to party at factory like Looney Tunes. <laughs> we were fucking. That shit crazy. happens, bro. That's sick. That's sick, bro. Aren't you glad you stayed around and you you hung out, man? Yes. Yeah, you know, like you, you're cool. We we cleared that air, and now everybody's good. A light, yeah. Forever young. So MRE is like my news channel. <laughs> I love his fucking channel. I uh, didn't, he's, he, I was I was crying this morning, while eating breakfast and watching him. I'm like, this guy. I want to talk to him. Yeah. I used to meet him. I love his voice. <clears throat> I love how he rips. Yeah. You know, and he's got morals, which is good, but he rips. I love how he rips. He's just <laughs> he dissects motherfuckers. Yeah, he's good at that. I'll give he's him good. That. He's good, bro. Yeah. Yo, no, Matt, no, yeah. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got Small planned world. for this for this channel, bro? Like, what are you gonna do? I know you're gonna do big shit. What are you gonna do? I don't know about big shit. I gotta figure it you're out. You're gonna but, do big um, shit. I'm talking to a couple people who have some real stories from the neighborhoods, and they're entrusting me and have faith in me to actually tell their story or however they want me to do it. I don't know if they want to come on live and interview or if they want me to like do like a little video about it or um, or, if they, or if they want me to read the story live. But uh, that's good. Hopefully, some interesting stuff, you know, mob related. And yeah. Uh, I want to do more videos like I've been doing. Like I, I kind of want to get into more editing. Uh, I just got to figure out what the fuck to edit because, you know, I light's gone. I mean, a light's gone and all the, a lot of these guys aren't beefing with each other anymore. And now oh, it's right. mostly the content creators beefing with each other. And I don't really want to focus on that because I'm kind of involved with that shit. So it's not funny to me really, or I'm not interested right. in doing that. So, um, right. I got to tell you, I'm going to quote MRE on this. He says, oh, A-Light is the gift that keeps on giving. He is, that, but it sucks that he's gone. He's not no, really. He's not. Look at Coward's post right there. We'll hug for tendies. Remember, he's all yeah. about for chicken tendies, bro. Chicken tendies. Yeah. Says, Mom, get the tendies. Yeah. <laughs> I love MRE, bro. I, I got to meet. Do you know him? Like, can you introduce me to him? Me? Yeah. I have a bad history with MRE. We were cool in the beginning, and then he kind of oh. turned on me. Oh, my bad, bro. Yeah. I spoke to him once. I was happy to speak to him, at least. I was excited to talk to him. It was cool, you know, because I, I, I felt the same way you did in the beginning. I, I understand what, you, what you're saying. I drank the Kool-Aid, too, so I know what you're saying. I, well, I don't but, think he would have anything bad to say. I don't even have a fucking channel. I'm just here yeah. hanging out. You know, what the fuck am I? I'm, I don't I'm, have nothing bad to say about him, you know? Let nah. him do his thing. I don't got nothing bad to say he's, about bro, him. Bro, I'm already fucking, he, that guy's awesome, man. He's a lot crazy. of people love him. You know, he's got a following, so. Yeah, you know. see, VK. No, he hasn't he's... really trashed me either, so it's not like, you know, I'm going to do it to him, so. There's he's no a funny fuck. Honestly, no, he's good at what he does. He's great at what he does. He's got the voice and all that, and uh, he's witty. Yeah. He's slick, you know, and it's, it's funny, you know, it is. And uh, so I agree with you say. I just can't, you know, when I hear him, it hits me different. So now cousin Paul says right. he's going his live. All right, I'll, I'll do that, man. I mean, I just don't, you know, I don't want to give off anything, and you know, I don't want people thinking I'm out here <clears throat> talking shit about other people. I'm all about just chill. You know, that's it. I'm all about just chill, good times. We have a good time. I'm glad that we were able to clear this rift tonight. 
And fucking BK Shallon's a better. But he's good. He's good. I and hope that, so. I hope he's good, bro. I hope he's not. He's been mad for like the past few days. No, no, no. Listen, the fact that I, if I, I, if his brother is who I think he is, he's good. He's good, man. Don't worry about it. He'll be good. Everything's good, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm already subscribed to MRE, bro. <laughs> you love I, I, yeah. MRE was the first my, Dom put me on to him You were the one who made me get yeah. into this You fuck My cousin <laughs> over here and then it just, He introduced me to this whole world over here and now look I, I went down the rabbit hole Just don't get yourself in trouble man I don't want you to get trolls and shit Because they no, get vicious no, man. You don't deserve that bro and you know what? Who's going to troll me for what? I don't talk shit about You think that, bro. You think that. It just happens, bro. They might not like whose show you're on or whatever else the fuck, you know? Yeah, you might say something but, stupid. I don't yeah, know. But, you Yo, know we, got, we, got a, we got a phrase for them. Zuka Staminkia. Exactly. <laughs> you can't miss it. And, uh, yo, BK, absolutely, bro. Likewise, I'm glad I got to speak to you too, bro. Good good talk, bro. This is dope, man. I... I I'm, I'm, the I'm kaki so on, he knows it. <laughs> he knows it. He knows it. Yeah, the the man, he knows all that shit. Yeah, the Mortavon. Yeah, <laughs> the the Mortavon is also out. big. That's like heavy duty. Mortavon is bad, man. We got a lot of Mortavons. Yeah. team. Yeah, bro, it's my cheap. But no, Mortavon, I mean, I could sit here all day and tell you all the fucking, you know. MRE likes to use, and I don't want to keep, I'm sorry, I'll, I, this is the last time I'll bring him up, but he does yeah. like to say, I love when he, he calls he calls Johnny A. Light, he goes, he's a real finok, you know, Ricky Ohm, he uses, I, I got to ask it's him, a let's him know. Yeah. is he Galabrez? Because he's using like Galabrez words. Oh, no, like, I don't know. He's not, he's not cool. Uh, well, I mean, he's entertaining to me, you know, I don't know him as a person. But he, yeah. you know, he hasn't done nothing to me. Yeah, you have every reason to love him. You got no reason to hate him. So no, so I, yeah. it's different. Listen, that's why there's so many fucking flavors of ice cream, right? Yeah. If we all like the same fucking flavor, it'd be boring as shit. You know? You know everybody puts in their own little flavor into it. Yeah. You know? hey, hey, you know what? At the end of the day, what's somebody to say to me? Oh, Paul's an asshole, or I don't like his face. He's this, he's that. Yeah. That doesn't mean that doesn't do anything to me. I don't give a shit. Yeah, absolutely. Tap that fucking like button. Yeah, I'm just this kid deserves it, man. Please, yeah. yes, please. And this kick up the like it. cash app too. The way he's kicking up to do me. It, do it for cousin Dom. And if you don't do it for cousin Dom, do it for the fucking sledgehammer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna get it. Better smarten up real quick out there. Smarten the fuck up, man. Hit that oh, look, look who's on here up. now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chris just came in. He wants to know you guys are still on. This is yeah, fuck crazy. yeah, bro. It got crazy. It, it's it started out as small and it just went fucking nuts. <laughs> it went fucking nuts, man. Yeah, this supposed to be a little hour Costa show. Costa Rica. Everything went Costa Rica. Yeah, it did. It really did. It did go. It, it, Johnny A Light, man. We're talking about A Light as the you know, his story, dude. That locked up. Shout the out the fucking FBS, man. You got, good looking yeah. out, yeah, here, bro. FBS, oh, yeah. right. he's good. But yo, the locked up abroad where he acts like he's Tony Montana getting sieged was great. Yeah. Yeah. See, look, these guys bro, are all good. What about guys? like his talks about like how he was like down in fucking Honduras, just like knocking people's teeth out and shit. <laughs> yeah. the, the guy was, uh, kills me. He snuck bro, a shiv yeah. up his asshole into a Brazilian prison. <laughs> why would you tell people that? Even if it was true, why would you tell people that? You know what I'm saying? I, I just I don't get this shit, man. Yeah, this because... guy's all fucked up right now. Oh, there you go. I had it up my ass. And then I went back to New York and I started working at Dick's Dilly. Dick's Dilly. <laughs> and then the guy walked in and said, kid, I like you, kid. Make me a ham sandwich, kid. And I, I can't do it no more. Oh, oh, I played out. Good night, Chris. Good good night, 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 bro. Have a good one, bro. Well, yeah. He's going to See sleep. It's past his bedtime. He's tired. Yo, so he jump on a little Three in the morning. I would have to have to give that dude. I could go on his show. He can't go on my show, a little prick. <laughs> he knows I love him. I'm just breaking his balls. Good night, bro. <laughs> he's funny, man. He's fucking good. Uh, he's he's Take not. Care, Chris. 
This is fucking Dude, funny, man. I, I just I just don't understand why. I mean, like you would think, like okay, so these content creators, right? Like they get him on. He kicks his he kicks his bullshit. After like the first fucking few times of this like super unbelievable shit, people start fact checking and fucking calling him out and everything. And these fucking assholes keep having him on. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I don't understand. It's like, I mean, it just, it's mind blowing. And then yeah. I don't understand why the Albanians are jocking his dick so hard. He's like, he's like almost half embarrassed to be. But he's the most famous Albanian. That's what it oh, is. No, but now he claims he's also a Sicilian. A piece of Sicilian. Well, he used Sicilian. to claim that Aletto. He used to call Aletto. him Aletto. Johnny Aletto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how he says it, bro. He, he he did the fucking did some twenty three and me, and now he thinks he's fucking something else. I, I, the, the guy's a joke, man. I, I mean, he really, he truly is a fucking joke, dude. Yeah. And 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 you know what? He did it, and you know what allowed him to do it was because he went after fucking he 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 went after Junior, and he yeah. knew that Junior wasn't gonna. Wasn't gonna respond like that. Although Junior has responded a little bit here and there, a little bit, but yeah. not really blew his fucking skirt up. No, no, it's just not his style to do it. It's not, no. and that's why he's that's why he's leaning so heavy on the yeah, you know, Junior. Come on, man, you're you're, you're 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 punching a fucking bag that don't punch back. Like, stop. Like, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know. He. He he got me, bro. Like when he when he came around and he was doing all that shit. That's when I told Paul, I said, "Dude, you gotta check this shit the fuck out. <laughs> this shit, this shit, fucking ridiculous, bro." I, I mean, he, he took it too far. Dude, listen, I, I, you know where where I am. Like guys know him. I, I have like I got a few, I, I got a few Albanian friends of mine. They're good guys, and uh, they're embarrassed by him. They're like, yo, like yo, Nikki, the. Um, you know, Nikki? Nikki? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yo, you throw his name out tomorrow, we'll conference call Nikki and just say, hey, so what are your thoughts on A-Light? You know, Johnny A-Light as an Albanian. Yeah, he's going to go fucking <laughs> Dude, we like, already did when we, were, when we were on Arthur. Yeah, but and I want to get him like, oh, anyways. Man. I want to ruin his Sunday. He'd be yeah, like, well. hey, that's not my people, motherfucker. That's more your people than my people. He's a disgrace. No, no, no. He's going to go off. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't understand why so many of them love him. He he glances like right over, like yeah, well, I'm a medium, so I couldn't be made. But anyway, I was fucking, you know, like he doesn't like. He's now not like that, shout out to the Albanians. He's good. Yeah, no, dude, what he's a he jerk say? off. He's a jerk. Everybody off. hates this guy. He like man, he really has no, a bad dude. reputation, and you know, no, but I just, love. You, you did what you did. Stick to what you did. He made a whole fucking platform about lying and about talking shit about Junior, and now he's going out to Jimmy. I mean, and why would you be happy that you killed ten guys? Well, that changes. He changes from thirty six to twelve to four to maybe two. And, yeah. and what's up with him being like, "Oh yeah, no, I don't talk to him. He's a fucking rat. Fuck that guy." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every, I'm sorry. They have they no self awareness, man. These guys have no self. Uh, I don't know. Right? They have no. They have no integrity. You you flip flopping and doing this and that, blah blah blah. I, I I got no time for that, man. Like you know, you, you take your dumps. He's funny. Cowards are funny. <laughs> these guys always want me to take my my medicine. You know, I gotta take my medicine with these guys sometimes. You do. You gotta take the hits and just keep moving. Yeah. I mean, that pink veal is good in my book. You fucking oh yeah, good, bro. Yeah, that's it. You made, two, you made two friends over here, one in Florida, one in the Bronx. You're good, bro. Yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, I've been a fan. I've been a fan of his comments for, yeah. for quite some time now. That guy, I'm telling you, I told you at the top of this thing. The the guy, he's awesome, man. Pinkville, bro, straight up. <laughs> so you man, you you're fucking, in here. you're man, awesome. Is, yeah, dude, and we got good. You got good folks in here, man. Yeah, we do. Florida we do, flow, man. They like uh, Florida flow. Uh, Don, you got to look that up, man. That's another rough one. His fucking super fan. Florida Flow. Uh, Florida Flow, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. You know about her? Dude, I uh, listen, this morning. You've really been following this shit, huh? Bro, I because it, it sucks you. <laughs> Balls deep in it now. 
balls. <laughs> no, you know what it is? It's just the A-light shit is what really I'm like, God damn it, man. When he, could you please stop it? Shit. Shut the fuck up already with this stuff. You know what's yeah. fucked up? I will tell you this. What really agitated me, though, is because when, you know, anybody who's anybody knows, Sammy is Sammy is legitimately trying to to change his, you know, like legacy. He wants people to see him in a different way. That's true. Yeah. And he's and he's doing this this podcast and he's doing these these, you know, he's doing all this stuff. And and he's doing a great job at it, by the way. The fucking guy can tell a story, man. Like nobody's business. He has a great setup him. too. He's got a great team behind him. He's got a great setup. It's all polished. Yeah. It's all, yeah. Everything is fucking solid, right? And then you got and then you got this cocksucker over here <laughs> trying to drag fucking Sammy into the into the mob tube type beef bullshit. We're talking shit about my, my, my dude Jimmy. First off, fuck you for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm fucking, I, I'll roll with fucking Jimmy Calandra until the fucking wheels fall off. That's right. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm serious. I'm down with that motherfucker like four flats. You know, like, you got beef, come see me. You know, but, <laughs> you know, I'm serious. The dude's a solid motherfucker. You know, but for him to just like, you know, he popped up, went on Sammy's show. You could tell that guy was fucking elated to be on Sammy's show. He was like, so happy, so proud. It was like his his arrival moment. You know what I mean? And then this cocksucker to fucking go at Sammy like, oh, you know, fucking, what, what, what did he pay you? Did he pay you? Please tell me he fucking paid you. Like, yo, dude, get the fuck out of here, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, what? if you notice something, like, look, I like Jimmy. I thought he was very pleasant with me. He was a gentleman. Yeah. And, and he's, yo, know, look, here's my thing. Rats, this, that, whatever. I'm not to judge anybody how they choose to do their life and what happens because I don't know anything about that life, only what I read and see, just like the rest of us. One thing I can say is, though, is that with with um, if you're going to take what your bad experiences and try to help somebody to, to not make those same choices and do something positive, I'm all for that. If you're going to go around and tell everybody about it, you're the baddest motherfucker and you killed everybody and – now this and that and the other thing. I got no fucking respect for you, aka like. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, dude. It's, Come on, man. The yeah, it's 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 the bragging and all that shit, and like the no. Fuck. And and Shallon, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. I'm all about loyalty, honor, and respect. What I'm saying yeah. is that I can't judge their life. I would never sell one of my friends and my family up the road. I don't give a fuck. But. I can't say in their shoes what would happen. None of us can unless we're in it. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not here to judge people. I don't. I'm not God. I'm not a higher power. I'm just here to listen and see what's going on. I do remember can the I, Fifty Bandits. Can I say something real Bandit quick? As says, a person, yeah. as a person who has legitimately, and I, I, I mean this, and this is all backed up. You can look my shit up if you want. I have legitimately done time for my friends. Legitimately have taken the rap for shit when I wasn't even there. Yeah. Wasn't there, had nothing to do with it. You know what I mean? Nothing. And my and somebody Excuse said me. that, you know what I mean, that I was there, the cops are like, you know, whatever. Like they're gonna it, it came down to me or my homie, I'm going to fucking I'm going to jail. Yeah. And I did. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That is a fucking tough pill to fucking swallow when you're there. It's it's mad easy to fucking sit out here and say, oh, man, fuck a, fuck a rat, blah, 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 blah. You know, I would never do that shit. I would never do that shit. You've, you know, for you to so easily say shit like that, yeah. you've never sat in that fucking chair. You've never fucking had face that in 30, 50 years. In front of you. Yeah. It's fucking hard, bro. It's fucking hard, bro. Like I did time for my friends, and and I'll be honest with you. Like, it, it was tough. I mean, I did it. I did it. I didn't say nothing. You know. Well, You've been the Rikers and all that. that? You've been the Rikers and all that shit. Rikers Island and all that. No, no I was in locked jail. up in fucking in Arizona, man. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. no. Luckily, not. Fuck Rikers, man. Fuck, fuck that. man. So you, you got locked up in Arizona. Rikers. 
Did you have that uh, yeah. Sheriff Arpaio? Sheriff Ar- Arpaio? Yeah, yeah, Sheriff Arpaio. I did, I did <laughs> stay in Riverhead for a little bit, but we don't talk about that too much. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was up in Riverhead <laughs> a little bit, you know? But, um, you know, but I'll be honest with you, like, it, it's tough, man. It's fucking hard. And especially when – and you know what's crazy, too? Like, in my situation, I had this fucking detective coming in there, and she's like, you didn't do this, and I know you fucking didn't do this. And I'm like – Nah, I don't know what you're talking about, you know? And I just kept my mouth shut the whole time. Yeah. But it was a tough pill, That's man. When you're friend, sitting there man. and yeah. you've got fucking roaches crawling all over you, you're in a fucking cell, it's 115 degrees in that motherfucker, you know? You, 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 you're drinking fucking, you know, watered-down Kool-Aid that somebody fucking spit in and you're fucking <laughs> green bologna and shit. It's fucking tough, man, when you're yeah. like, and you're out on the street, you cocksucker, you know? But... They let you rock, you know, it is... But you didn't rat, right? And then you do that for your for your own self, right? You're like, yeah. okay, you know, now I can walk around with, you know, you know, big dick status. Yeah, that's right. But I'll yeah. be honest with you, man. I'm being honest, thousand percent, thousand percent, bro. And I've done more time in the pen than ink. And I'll tell you right fucking now, dude. Um, if I got smacked with like a fucking murder rap or something, dude, I, I can't promise you that I was keeping my mouth shut, especially if I had absolutely nothing to fucking do with it. It'd be really hard for me. I don't know that I would, and I'm not saying, oh, I'm a rat or whatever, or I would rat. I don't know. I'll never be in that situation because yeah. I don't associate myself with people like that anymore. But if I ever was faced with that situation, man, I, I just thank God that, I, that I'm not faced with that situation because I don't know what I would do in that one. That's tough. Especially when you've done time, you know yeah. what you're up against, and that's rough, man. I did time for shit I didn't do, and I'll talk to you about that some other time too. And and I'll tell you, he's that walking around with a baseball story. bat. <laughs> yeah, he's all revved up. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, hey, but, uh, I, I, you know, hey, listen, it's either that or I keep smoking, so I just juggle this fucking thing. But no, I mean that's what I'm saying. It's like you know, again, it goes back to what I said earlier. When you live that life and you've seen shit and you've been involved with shit and everything else, you're not so quick to judge people. So that's where that's where I'm at. Yeah, you, know, I look yeah, at yeah. Guy, you know, I've got a completely different outlook on fucking Sammy inside baseball. It's it is what it is. You know what I mean? I think my, my cousin Paul knows exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah. You know what I mean? The mainstream fucking thought about the whole thing. It's, uh, you know, it's whatever. Everybody's got their views. Everybody's got mm-hmm. the, what they heard or what they think. I, I, I know. You know what I mean? Paul knows. You know? Um, it's different. But th- that's in his particular case. These other guys, I mean, listen, man, I don't know. Dude, I wasn't sitting there with Jimmy. I don't know what the fuck he was facing. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck well, he was saying to him. Somebody told me a few you know? days ago. He said, you know, a lot of these guys, they talk about these rats. Rats, you know, they're all against this ratting. I mean, a lot yeah. of these guys, when you hear them, you think, you know, if you're facing 30 years, 50 years, they're going to fucking rat. They're going to be the first ones to rat, you know? I mean, yeah, that's no, just I, real, you know? Well, at the same time, I got to say something. I will say this, is that, remember, look at the year it is. Now, a lot of guys went away uh, yeah. right before 9-11 and right during 9 11 No, but they're coming out. They're coming out. Remember, they're yeah. doing like 20, 30 years. Those they're guys coming are home, coming yeah. out, and they're going to be hitting the streets. And those are guys still somewhat new, but still somewhat old school. And you need to keep that in mind that that's going to be a regime that'll be out there. Yeah. And hope you know that you know that that would be the regime that's going to kind of mold what's out there now. I don't know what's out there now. I don't want to know. It's none of my fucking business. But I'm just saying that's something that I knew from growing up here. Yeah. So take it how yeah. you want it, but those guys are not loud and proud broadcasting, talking. No. You're not going to get them on fucking YouTube talking about their life. It's fuck you. I don't know what you're talking about. I got a job. I, you know, I don't know what you're yeah. talking about. That's how it should be. Yeah, That's, It's supposed to be a clandestine organization. That's it. Leave it alone. Move on. Move past it. I mean, if you're a part of that shit, then I believe, like, right or wrong, look, you understand the consequences. You understand that somebody could rat on you or you could get yourself killed, or you're going to get yourself arrested. So I don't understand. You know, I think you should just go to jail. If you get caught, the jig is up. It's time to go, regardless of the circumstance, you know. That's the life you chose. 
But, you know, that's just me. I, that's why I never got involved with none of that type of shit. I had friends that were fucking, you know, into gangs and all that. I used to hang out with them until I was like 25. I had a kid and I left all that shit alone. I don't talk to these people anymore. I got a square job. I make shit money. You know, I'm living a shit life, but you know, I don't have all these headaches with the law and all this other shit. So, Gunsmoke, let me ask Good you for a you. question. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. What do you, what do you, um, you know, you ever go to college or are you good? No, I wish. I couldn't afford college. No, no. That, not that college, no, no, no. You're not following. The other college. Oh, no. The the the, the nah. longest stint I ever did was 17 hours in Central Bookings. All right. So, look, this is what I'm going to do for you. Uh, we'll talk afterwards <laughs> privately. I'm going yeah. to email you a link to a city jobs. Yeah. And they're posting them crazily. I'm, I have a city job. And they're, they're really good jobs. They're really good. I'm talking benefits for free for your whole family, union yeah. job, whatever. And you can apply, take a test, and maybe it might help you. And I hope it does. I'm always Yeah, I would appreciate that. Yeah, whatever you think would be a great fit for me. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm always down to help people do better by themselves. So I, I really need it. I need the help. Any help I, I can you. get right <laughs> now. I got you, dude. I'll email it to you once we're done here. I'll, yeah. I'll send you an email to, to look into it. Good. I'm glad you got my email now. Maybe I'll exchange my number with you if you want. Yeah, we you can know? do that. Because you're awesome, man. I'm so happy you came on my show. You brought your cousin here. He's fucking awesome, bro. Ooh, thanks. I like, this turned out so great, man. Like uh, I really appreciate you. Oh, guys. dude, it's been yo. This was an honor, man. Like yeah. I, 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 I've been watching the shit for forever, and to get brought on and and let let me fucking run my app for a while. <laughs> yo, what the fuck? I, awesome. I I still want to say the well, actually one of the things besides the fact hanging out with you, gun smoking. Yeah. Like, God, I love fucking chilling with you. You know that, bro. <laughs> I'm just really happy. Yeah. About, I gotta say this. I'm sorry. I'm still on this whole fucking thing about BK Shound. Oh yeah. That he's just so much better, and everybody's cool. Him and fucking pounding that pink veal, having like a ball of you to talk. Yeah, to I'm glad you him. calmed him down a little bit. I'm very no, but they're talking too. like gentlemen. I'm the yeah. consigliere. Uh, That's what I said to you earlier. The consigliere. Uh, you know what though? That's what I it said. shows he has a lot of balls that he was like willing to get on, and I, I and voices fucking and voices shit. I mean, he was yeah. he was a man about it. He was aggravated. You know, he, he said what he said, whatever. You know, a lot of it we didn't even make out. But, yeah. You know, but he had balls, dude. He got on. There's a lot of guys that wouldn't fucking click that link, bro. <laughs> yeah, they are. Right. No, like, I, they don't want to show their face. They won't even do that, but they don't click right. that link. I've seen him on, like, jump on. He'll speak his mind. I give him credit for that, bro. You got, yo, that you got my respect right there. Coming on and like, yeah, here we go, motherfucker. Let's rock and roll. You got my respect right there, man. You're not hiding behind the keyboard. You're like, I'm going to talk to you. You going to fucking hear me? You got my respect, bro. You got That's it. me. I don't shy from confrontation either, so I feel that, bro. Yeah. Do your it, thing. I feel we don't that. do this. We do this. <laughs> <laughs> the Maloiki. I'll give you the Maloiki. No, no, I'm saying. We don't give do this. Give it a fucking Maloiki. We do this. We fucking talk looking at each other, you know? Yeah. This is good, man. This is good shit. It's no, late, it's great, bro. man. It's late, bro. I mean, you've been doing a marathon. I, I, I got to tell you, it's this is what I do. I know, but I got to crash out. Dom, I don't know how. Yeah, you guys could go. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to sign well, up. I've been, for, I've, about to oh, I've been up for 23 hours now. Yeah, you're a sick fuck. You said 5 a.m. It's almost like, it's like what? Uh, 23 5 hours. Bro, I sprung out of bed like the fucking, like, like, like God just gave me life. I fucking sprung right out of bed. I was yeah. like, let's get this moving shit on the way, man. I gotta, I got well, because I'll tell you, bro, when I moved out here to Florida, the first, you know, um, you know, I, I was living with my dad. So I had my wife and four kids living in an 800 square foot, one bedroom apartment. And and it was tough as fuck, bro. I had my kids all sleeping on the floor, like it was fucking brutal. And I I I I said I sat down at the table with my father. I said, "Give me a month, and I'll have a house." And a month and a week. And I went to my father and I apologized. I said I wasn't able to keep my word. I know I told you a month. I said a month and a week. He goes, "What are you fucking kidding me? You're proud of you, you know." And now I got this yeah. beautiful. Fucking house, you know, massive house. It looks and, pretty big. Uh, yeah, it's a big garage there. 
Dude, this garage is a fucking is is, is my wet dream, bro. <laughs> I'm in the trades, right? So for me, like to have all this shelving and all this shit, like they gave me all this stuff. It, it's beautiful, and um, you know I'm blessed, but you know work really, really fucking hard for all this shit. But it was tough, man. You know doing that. So you know, but we were very eager when we when we signed the papers and um, everything was finalized. I went straight away, turned on all the fucking. Uh, Utilities and everything, and I'm like, let's yeah. go, chop chop. <laughs> you know, clock's ticking. Let's get the yeah. fuck out of Papa's house. You know, we gotta go. So yeah, so you know, it was all right. And then I'll be honest with you, man, I got fucking jack shit to do besides unpack these boxes tomorrow. So I'm all good <laughs> to go, man. It was my pleasure to be on here. I thank you so much, bro. Salute. Yeah, yeah it was my honor having you here, bro. Thank yeah, you. Gotta do it again, great, please. Oh, you really are great. You guys are coming back. No, what do you mean? Yeah. Oh, we're coming back. We're definitely coming back. Yeah. You gotta hang bro. out. We're gonna hold you to that. Yeah. What are you talking about, man? I'll be on here. I don't know. Sometimes yeah. guys say you know, one thing, they do another. Dude, no, listen. Get out of here. <laughs> no, no. I'm with you. All jokes aside, look at it like this. We got on here. We had a good time. We fucking yes. met some yes. friends. No, no fucking bashing people except a life because everybody lets. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but a good that, people. We had some laughs. We shared some stories. We broke some balls, and that's it. Yeah. That's hanging out on the corner where I was from. We didn't fight each other. We had fun. That's, that's beautiful. And this that's was, yeah, I'm, end it. yeah. I'm dead ass. Everybody who's still in here, God bless you, man, for hanging out. That's yeah, seriously. Awesome. Thanks to, to everybody who's been watching, listening to the shit. <laughs> I, I, you know, in all honesty, like you guys are fucking champions. Honestly, it's, it's, so you know, all you guys, you guys are great. Yeah, no, I they are, that, man. I sent that thing to you, Gunsmoke. It's all. I just sent it over to you. So oh, yeah? when you get time, just look into it. And if you have any questions, I'll help you navigate. You know. Okay. What I'm yeah. No, seriously, bro, look into that shit because it's life changing. Okay. That, that'll change your fucking you life, bro. Real shit. I need a job right now. It's going to change my life. That's what I'm looking Yo, for. Right yeah, now, you I need, need a career, my man. man. You need a and career, you know what? bro. That's yeah. what'll do it. I want to say something to BK Shallon, bro. If you, and I, I, I know this is no disrespect, if you in the New York area and you're looking to get into something or you need to better yourself, I'll help you out. I have some places I know guys in different areas that might be able to help people with jobs. I know jobs are hard now, and I'm always down to help people out, especially where I'm from. I know, you know, we don't forget where we're from. I don't. I try to help people out. So that's what's up. I'll send you info if you need help, man. I got you. And if you're good, God bless you. Keep going. Fuck the, yeah. fuck the streets. Do your thing. Yeah. Good advice. I, it's fuck the, it. Yo, you get, get you nowhere, bro. Get you nowhere. Not a damn, not a damn fucking, sure. not gotta a damage. Got to wake up every morning, be a miserable bastard, fall on ice. But other than that, I'm doing <laughs> it. I've done that for a few years. Bro, this is a miserable you. motherfucker, man. I used I to hate day, life every day, man. I fell the other day. I busted my ass. Oh, you I'll fell in your shower? That's what's up, BK Shallon. Good for you, bro. You I fell on my fucking, uh, what do you call that shit? Your tail? You know, no, my whole back, bro. I did a fucking tailbone. I did a tailbone. home alone. Yeah. I know. I did a home alone. It was hysterical. Fuck, damn. Man, I was slipping and sliding in my sweat over here. It was fucking fucking crazy. If I had thirty k to dump out to you, I would be living in a fucking mansion and not a uh, renting out <laughs> a house in the Bronx. But I, I wish you know what I could do. I'm gonna give you something better than thirty k. How's about unlimited friendship from me to you? It's priceless. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that's priceless. true. It's price. That's play. a fucking hallmark card, that. motherfucker. That's a hallmark card. There is no price yeah, on that, yeah. And, and dude, look at this guy. Yo, BK Shallon, definitely, bro. We got mutual friends. This is fucking crazy. If his brother, if your brother is who I think it is, I'm going to lose my shit. Please tell me <laughs> talk to Sean for me. This is nuts. Anyways. Yeah. Good night, brother. I'm going to Good night, bro. All right. All right. Guys. Let's do it again. Yeah. Talk to you soon. See you later. Thanks, Good night, Thanks, guys. Take care. Later, guys. Bye-bye, that was beautiful, guys. Look at that. Couldn't have, have it. I couldn't have asked for a better show. That was awesome. And I want to thank you guys for being here. I at least had like 39, 40 strong the whole time. I had a little over 50 over here. That's cool for me for starting out. I'm good with that. I could have had fucking nine people in here, you know? But you guys stuck around with me. I appreciate it. And uh, I just dropped my shit. <clears throat> but, um... Hold on. I think uh, I'm going to drop a link for Lefty. I think he wants to come on and say hello. 
I'll let him talk to the people real soon and uh, real quick. And uh, hold on. I got to uh, This fucking laptop's going to die on me. Motherfuckers worry about my business. Better worry about your own business, boy. Don't worry about what I be doing around here, boy. Worry about your own business, boy. Worry about your own damn self. I'm doing my thing on here, motherfucker. You need to do your own thing, boy. Worry about who I'm living with, boy. Oh, shit. This shit just got a whole lot brighter, too. Damn. All right. Let me uh, let me see what the people are saying. <clears throat> Yo, Lefty, you coming on here? I dropped the link, uh, Lefty. I thought you... Uh, you wanted to come on and talk? I don't know. What, the, the fellas left? You don't want to come on here and talk now? All right. <laughs> Thank you, Falconetti. Thank you. Sometimes you're a real ball breaker yourself, but I love you too, Falconetti. Thank you. It's my pleasure having you here. Let's see. What's up, buddy? My buddy. My buddy. Look, Sven from Denmark. Salute, bro. Thank you, brother. Yo, lefty, coward. Oh, your your grant? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Silvio, it's not the quantity, it's the quality. It's not the, I, lo I love that character, Silvio Dante. I love that you have that fucking avatar and all that shit. It's great. It's okay, BK Shallot. I understand, bro. You're hot about everything that's going on. And, you know, I'm friends with people, so I got to get it, too. I got to take my lumps and uh, take my medicine. I understand, bro. But I, I don't know where you got that shit that I was talking bad about you. I never said a bad thing about you because you always were good to me. So I don't know what's going on, bro. But, I, yeah, I accept your apology. Thank you, bro. That's, that's very nice of you. <coughs> Cousin Paulie, yeah. Oh, Mark Chopper, thank you, bro. Thank you for that cash app, bro. And to Kyle, too. Thank you for the cash app. Thank you so much, bro. Fucking Mark Chopper Reed, you're, you're the best, bro. You fucking always come through every time, bro. Never fails, bro. I really appreciate you, bro. Hold on. We got Lefty coming on. Lefty, salute. What's up, bro? How are you? Good, man. What, what do you hear? Up? What do you say? What do you say? What do you hear? <laughs> what are you doing up at this time, you sick fuck? It's fuck all oh, this. Man, I'm up all the time. Yeah, me too. All the time. Yeah, I don't yeah. sleep. I hear you, bro. I hear you. Sleep is the cousin of death. <clears throat> yep. Now I said it best. How you doing, man? I'm all right. I, where's my weed at? Yeah, so I see uh, you sleeping over there. <laughs> yeah, I got like half a blunt, man. I, I was like, ah, oh, I forgot to roll something before I, you know, checked yeah. in. Yeah. But what are you going to do? Yeah, I stopped smoking blunts years ago. I can't smoke that shit no more. It's too harsh. I did too, but my roommate, like maybe a year ago, you know, he started getting me back on him. So yeah. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before I stop again. But yeah. Nah. Hey, actually, yo, do you know yeah. uh what a micro nectar catcher is? What, fuck, what is it for? This they got fruit with it, nectar? I don't know. No, like for bud. Oh, Damn I it. don't know, man. That looks like some fancy shit, though. Yeah, man. I don't know. It's like fucking weird. Someone gave it to me. I don't That's know where it does yet. I don't know. Figure out how to use it. I'm sure there's a YouTube video on it where you could learn how to use whatever the fuck that is. I don't even know what the fuck that is, bro. Yeah, man. Me either. I have the no fuck? idea. Why can't you just break it up and roll it? Why you got to do all that shit? It's a there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, ha I'm like having trouble holding my phone apparently. Yeah, it's cool. Anyway. You got a tripod, boy. Got a tripod. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I've been uh, thinking about getting the, uh, I don't know anything about uh, IMAX or oh, any okay. of that shit, but yeah. uh, I was going to get this 27 inch uh, I desktop. I don't know. I'm not sure. Should I get a desktop? Yeah, last time. See, uh, I don't know. I mean, I like to move around a little bit, <clears throat> and it's you know takes up less space. So I would get the laptop, like a really good one. Yeah, but, you know, it depends what you're trying to do with it. You know. Yeah, I mean, Sometimes my guy I wish is, had a computer. 
my god kids want to make a YouTube channel desperately. Okay. So well, how old are uh one's six and one's nine. Oh, that's too young. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't I know, I know. So we're gonna pretend <laughs> they <laughs> okay. have a YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah. Okay. But that's funny. Until they're until they're a little older. Yeah, but. that's sweet though. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. So you got so, any questions about what's going on on MobTube lately? You got any fucking ideas or questions? <laughs> it's so hard to follow. And, and then Ali's trying to say he scammed. Did you see Smoking Tommy, what he said in the comments today? In no. your in the chat? No, I, I missed it. I go, Smoking Tommy, why are you talking shit about FBS? He goes, oh, because FBS... I'm tired of him scamming people and Ali and shit. And I go, well, do you have any proof or anything like that? Oh, well, he told me to send him $250 and he would send it right back. Oh, come on. I swear to God. And then when I was like, okay, can you show me something? He's like, oh, well, if you don't believe me, it's like, well, no, man. But, you know, FBS showed his receipts. You can't do the same. Exactly. I don't know. I don't understand, bro. I don't know why these people hate FPS so much. I don't know either. Jealousy or I don't know, bro. Jealousy like, or just you know, I don't know, man. I I don't know. But everyone uh, doesn't like Tom either, man. Tom seems like a snake. Yeah, I mean, he's been nice to me, and then I see him saying crazy shit in other people's chat room. So I really don't know what to think, you know. But yeah, like you know, going. Know. Uh, who knows if that was even really him because his name is different, his picture is different than what I remember it to be. So I really I can't tell, man. I mean, I don't yeah, know. fair enough, man. It's hard so to big tell who's who. The holiday? Huh? You got big plans for the holidays? No, not really. Nothing crazy, you know. Yeah, uh, I never have big plans for the holidays, you know. Sometimes I'm by myself, you know. Sometimes, you know. Yeah, me too. Me yeah. too. Most of my family uh, moved down to Florida, so <clears throat> or passed away. So yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. I don't have a big family either, so no, no. So yeah. I, mean, I hear what you're saying, man. So yeah, sometimes all you need is some good friends. Yeah, or some good weed. <laughs> that too, man. Yeah, forget about it. Yeah, man. And a good what movie. Smoking on lately. Uh, the fuck. I told somebody Big Mac the other day, and they were like, yeah, that's some bullshit. So, uh, what the fuck did I just do? Ghost OG? Ghost OG? Yeah. Mm, I got, um... He was 70% Indica. Bullshit. Okay, I got, um... Damn! Yeah. What? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I got some, this one, some Skittles. I can see the crystals on that. Yeah, I have Skittles. And then uh, this shit is um, Fire OG. Okay, all right. I seen them. Damn. I seen it. That's a stick. Uh, yeah, you want it, man? I'm tired of smoking this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's trying to drop their weed off on me. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yo, anybody got some good uh, edible recipes? Uh, <laughs> drop them. <laughs> yeah. You guys, I got good. like probably like two, three ounces of just shake from leftover. Ooh, wedding I cake. Get, good. Yeah, I used to get a lot of wedding cake for some reason. I used to get a lot of that shit. I haven't had it in a while though. Girl Scout cookies. I've been getting down with. Oh, sh- I haven't had that in years. No. Girl Scout uh, cookies. Yeah, I haven't heard that name in years, bro. Oof. Yeah, my buddy grew a sick batch. Nobody smokes uh, purple haze anymore, huh? I remember back in the days I used to smoke purple haze. Uptown. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Jamaican red hair. <laughs> yeah, all that shit, man. I can't yeah. get that. blueberry. Maui <laughs> Wowie. Yo, I got a vape yep. cartridge of Northern Lights right now. Really? Yeah, I mean, yeah man. So Northern Lights, I picked it up. Yeah, I used to smoke all that shit, bro. White Rhino. Ooh. White Widow. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Sour Diesel. Band. Huh? Headband? 
Headband? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Sounds familiar. Tell you what, I want to get my hands on some moon rocks. Moon rocks, I've had that, yeah. Moon been, uh, you ever hear of Packwoods? No, I think I saw that in the chat earlier, though. Somebody said something about Packwoods. So. Yeah, I don't know. I've been smoking. Uh, I smoked a few of them, they're, but they're blunts. But they're uh, basically moon rocks rolled and dipped in keef and oil. Nice. And then the blunt is actually dipped in it, too. It's pretty good. Dipped in shit. Yeah. That's cool, man. What else? You, what other questions you got? I'm pretty disappointed in Tommy saying that. If that's what he said, man. Yeah, man. I was like, wow. I was like, that's, I don't know. A bunch of flip floppers, man. Yeah. There's a, that's, there's a lot of that going around on MobTube. A lot of flip floppers. It's a shame, too, because... I didn't realize it was like this months ago and like what it's become now. It's like crazy. Yeah. I screenshot like that, what they say in people's chats and shit. I screenshot it so I could have a mental note to my fucking self about what these guys are doing out here. Cause you know, and then sometimes it's fake accounts though. So it's like, what the fuck is this really, this guy really saying that? And then the next day he's saying something else. I was like, what the fuck do I think about? Yeah. That? Or, Oh, he's I got hacked. That was like the excuse 10 years ago. No, it's just, yeah. you know, Oh, that's a fake account. But yeah, yeah man, you got to be careful. It sucks, you know. I don't know. Yeah. I like dealing with people in person. Yeah, you know. Get a better yeah. sense of who they are sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. Or you just got to talk to them a lot, you know, and get a feel for them. Like, really know who the fuck you're talking to, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, not the hard way on here, you know? I'm learning. Yeah. I mean, and then sometimes you want to give people the benefit of the doubt. That too, yeah. But I mean, yeah. fuck Lee Cole. I, I no, you know, I heard you know, FBS in the beginning, and I was like, oh man, this dude's shady. Yeah. Uh, but I, mean, I didn't realize I, the depth of it at first. I wanted. To, I was nice to him. We were nice. I was nice to him. Yeah. I had no problem with him, you know. But he didn't. He didn't like me for some reason. So a lot of these guys didn't like me. What do you want me to do? Yeah. I don't live up to anybody's expectations out there, you know? Man, listen, if they're hating on you, you're doing something right. I guess. I mean, he was mad that I was about to get a thousand subs and shit. Like, what the fuck, bro? Who the fuck am I, you know? like, Yo, Why are you hating on somebody else's success, right? He's got to do with you, yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Congratulate him. Yeah. It's just, you know. And, of course, I had to say something back, and then he apologized, and then he went and said something again, and then it all spiraled, you know, on from there, and you know, it is what it is. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know if you can't trust what somebody's gonna say or you know, yeah. tell you they're gonna do something and then do the opposite over and over and over. I gave him his one strike with me, and then you know, he fucked me over again. That's it, you know, now I'm done with him. So there you go, man. Okay, one strike, you're out with gun smoke. Yeah. He's got way bigger problems than me, you know. <laughs> I, I hardly talk bad about him. I just make fun of him when he makes fun of me, you know. Gun pump. Yeah. Gun smoke. Gun! Come on, yo. Dude. That's what it comes we down start to. Start a pool, huh? We start a pool and see when Tony Pizza gets popped. Oh Jesus, man! What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on. Start a pool and see when Pizza uh, Jago gets popped. You're sick. Anyway, uh, I autographed. You know, did you know about my poster with uh, Lee, like the bird? No. The bird shit? Yeah, I got a poster of him, like a big poster. I put it on my wall because he was upset about my Gotti poster. So yeah. I got one made of Lee's big fucking fat fucking face, and I, I put it on my wall. And now oh my now God. I autographed it though. I autographed it with my Gunsmoke to Don signature, my autograph, and then I'm gonna try to give it away to somebody for the holidays. Oh, man. Raffle it off for charity. You know, it, yeah, I don't know. I'm not that big yet, but I want to give it to one of the good subscribers out here who want it. Uh, you know, and you got some loyal subscribers, I'm sure. You just know. for fun, I got um, I bought like some. Uh, can you see a pack of darts? Yeah, specifically so that you can throw it at fucking Lee's face. Oh man, guys, I'm telling know, you, if he raffles it off, that's a prize and a half. <laughs> Those are really worth a thousand dollars. Yeah, you can hurt somebody with those darts. They're heavy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Is this guy calling me McLovin over here? 
I don't know. I've been seeing McLovin a lot. McLovin is a good one, Gunsmoke. You must admit. No, I don't fucking admit nothing. I ain't no fucking goddamn uh, uh, McLovin over here from fucking, uh, what was that movie? Badass? What was that movie? Uh, super bad. bad. Yeah, no, nah, this is West Side Out, though, real bad boy killers, motherfucker. Who the fuck are you talking to, boy? But Yo, Gunsmoke is bone gangster, yeah. dude. Yeah, you know, sometimes. Oh, my God, look who's here. Stacy. She's a sweetheart. She was on my show last time. She fucking really gave me some good content, good interview. Great girl. Shout out to Stacy out there. She's a sweetheart. Oh, you did an interview with her? Yeah, well, not an interview. She just came to hang out, you know, and she was just, like, asking questions and, like, you know, giving me shit ideas to bounce off of, shit to talk about. I was drowning, man. I was drowning. Like, what you're doing right now, you're helping me with content, she was doing the same thing, and she was great. Oh, fair yeah. enough. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, you ever uh, consider doing I Light, the uh, Lollipop Kids? I think, you know, you, I think that was you that told me a couple of days ago to do that. Yeah, yeah man, it's just yeah. been in my head, man. Like, I can't get it out. Just can't get it out. <laughs> Yo, my godson, he's six, man. He saw that uh, picture of him on the car with his, like, 60 bucks. And he goes, oh, man, I didn't know Elf's on Shelf's got days off. But, uh, so, <laughs> so what else you got going on? What are you doing for the holidays, huh? Honestly, man, I got nothing going on for the holidays. My mom's in Florida. My dad passed away, and uh, I was uh, up here taking care of my grandma till a couple months ago when she passed. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to hear about that, man. Yeah, it is what it is. She's yeah. in a better place i hope we all hope yeah i hope so yeah too. you know I really hope. do <laughs> really do yeah but i don't know so how are your grandparents doing man yeah, they're all right you know they're still a little pissed off about what's been going on but you know they're okay otherwise yeah yeah i, I you know i don't know man what's what's with people you know they're they're so brave on the computer, <laughs> but uh, in real life they would never do anything like this, you know. Well, that's the wonder of the internet, you know. That's the beauty of it. Yeah, it's they yeah. Use them, you know, it's just I don't know. That's man. how they get away with it. They they're behind the internet, you know, behind the computer. So yeah, it's sad. But, but I wouldn't do them like they do me, you know. I'm not going to. Oh. You got respect. class. You got respect. I try to. I try to. Thank Especially on go. here. I want to carry myself on here with all that. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, man. Dude, you're a chill dude, man. That's you all see. I got. Yeah. Huh? It's all you can be in life, man. You can't let shit get to you. Uh, Chopper. Jen Jen was in here earlier. I don't know where she is now. I mean, it's kind of late. I don't know, but she was in here earlier. I think you missed her. She was in here at the beginning. I didn't get a chance to like say her name though, but I put her up on the screen a bunch of times, but I couldn't say her name because uh, I was in the middle of an interview. <laughs> so, but yeah, she's around. She's not mad at me. She loves me. I love my Jen Jen. Why? Right, what's he saying, Pink? What's he saying? What else is he saying, Pink? He's been saying funny stuff all night. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Chad wants me to drop a link for Stacy. I'm going to do it in a couple of minutes. Hold on. If she wants to come on. Who knows if she even says she wants to come on, you know? What the fuck? Right? Drop a link for Stacy. If she wants to come on. I don't know if she even wants to come on. Some, some guy said, yo, drop a link for Stacy. Stacy, you want to come on? <laughs> Hold on. Let me play my shit. Hold on. Where's my shit? Where's my shit? Hold on. Yeah, that's right, motherfucker. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Hold on. 
I got a whole bunch of windows open here, and it's all me. Gunsmoke, done, then the shit, then the outdoor mortal gunsmoke, like Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's right, Carla. Salute to Jen Jen. She's a, she's a, a real soldier out there. Some real gangster for that ass. What up, Carlos? <clears throat> oh, yeah, probably. Oh, shit, is that the real one? What are you saying? Jen Jen's? Oh, oh yeah, Jen? Jimmy's in here. Look at Jimmy. What's Jimmy? Oh, I think he has work soon. I'm like, what the hell is he doing up so late? <laughs> what's up, Jimmy? Salute. That's what's up. Anyway, what else is going on in here? Where's that guy talking shit in here? I kind of Yo, Jimmy, What up with the mug? Let me huh? cash at you. No, I was saying, Jimmy, what up with a mug? Let me cash oh, at you. Yeah. I want a mug for Christmas. Right? Or a hat. I've been trying to get that damn hat for months. Hot commodity, man. He can't keep it. Can't keep it in stock, I guess. There's a question I always wanted to know from Jimmy too about the last time he ever spoke to Paulie Galino, if he could remember. Ooh. Yeah. I forgot to ask him that last time because we had like bad sound and shit, like the echo. So yeah. It to, like it was hard to talk to him. I mean, I'd imagine he'd remember his last conversation. You know, it was so long ago. It was like 25 years ago, 30 years ago, you know? Yeah. Who knows, but. But when you have a friend like that who makes an impact like that on your life, you know, yeah. Yeah, who you're loyal true. to, I yeah. mean, when they pass away like that. Like, I mean, I remember the conversation I had with my buddy who died probably about 15 years ago, like word for word. Yeah. But. I don't know. No, I know what I, you mean, yeah. I guess it depends on the person and everything else, you know, yeah. and how impactful the conversation was. Yeah. What up, Gunsmoke? You a sneakerhead? Uh, no, not really. I like I like Jordans, though, a little bit, a few of them. and I don't know. I like sneakers. I just can't afford a lot of them, so I could never really get into them. Yeah. I like hats, but I can't really afford too many hats either, so I can't really get into them. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I like, you know, I like stuff. <laughs> I like stuff. Yeah. No, no, I just, uh, dude, I was never big into sneakers either, but I just, uh, Started getting into the Jordans, a couple of them, like the I fours. Like Air Jordans, you know, I like the fours, the fives, I think the sevens, the tens, I don't know. The tens are or the elevens. Who the fuck knows? I can't keep up with them. The elevens, I think. And I like these uh, sneakers, uh, the LeBron free gr uh, LeBron James uh, free gums. Yeah. They came out like 10 years ago, and uh, they're really cool. Like, those are my favorite sneaker. Well, they were. Oh, uh, word. But, yeah. Yeah, I like the uh, Nikes that uh, have air written on the side in big letters. Hmm. Um, I don't know. They came oh, out like... Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know, yeah, yeah. Okay. They just started coming out again now. I seen them. Yeah. But they were out when we were in like sixth grade. Yeah. Long time. Same age. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, those big fucking... They're black and then it says like air on the side. Yeah, or white and say air on the side. Yeah, yeah. I mostly see them in black, but yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, those were always like my favorite kicks. <laughs> oh, hold on. I'm getting a very important phone call. I got a Oh, absolutely. Hold on. All right, Gunsmoke's on the phone, so I guess I'll entertain you for <laughs> like a minute or two. Uh, I can't read the chat. Oh, we got Stacy. Stacy, are you there, Stacy? Yes, sir, I am. Yo, friggin' FBS just called me specially for you. He's like, let fucking Stacy on you, student. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, I didn't even realize you were in there. Yeah, I, I was in his show last night. And here now, and I was on a couple other ones, and yeah. 
Saturday yeah. night, nothing better to do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're up late. It's not even Saturday night anymore. It's Sunday morning. Yeah, I, I just woke Sunday up, actually. Morning. I laid down for a little bit. You did what? said, I just actually woke up. I laid down oh. for a little bit. So you technically, you woke now? You woke? Yeah, no, no. You ain't woke? I am not <laughs> one of them dumb fucking sheep. Are you sure? Oh, God, that's great. Where'd you get that? I got it at an amusement park. I guess they I'm were jealous. To... The yeah. one in the middle. I don't know your name, sir, but it's nice to meet you. Or Lefty. Oh, okay. Lefty Gus. I love that name. I'm jealous. That's what I'm done. I actually wanted to chop the hair off and make them bald. Why? Then, no, so put real I was hair. Gonna, I was gonna like draw a mole on his cheek over here somewhere. Draw a hole and stick a oh, nail in his mouth. A mole. And oh my like, god, oh, it'd be Lee Cole. Yeah, I could have made it Lee and then draw like a mustache and like a shitty beard, like bird shit. Yeah, but and you then gotta put your mouth out. Don't smoke dog! You gotta clear the mouth out and put a dick in it. I don't know. Or just put that. the yeah, for his goatee. Don't smoke dog! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn. Steve Falcon Eddie, I, I saw am exactly not. where you were going with that. Yeah. I was like, yeah, maybe put some real hair on it. And I'm like, nope, that's Lee Cole. Yeah. Or well, maybe I could find a doll that looks like Lee Cole. I don't know. Oh, my it's God. Cool. You want to share that? That is it's 3D printed. <laughs> 3D printed? I got to buy the yeah. 3D printer. How much is that fucking thing? You get a three, you can get a 3D printer for like a couple hundred bucks nowadays. Jesus, man. If you want, I'll have my buddy make one. <laughs> I swear to God, dude, I'll talk. You're gonna to make him, the right dude. dimensions with that fucking. Yeah, button. I was gonna oh. say. Yeah, you better make the right dimensions. Really oh, wide and really short. The early bird catches the worm. I got both of you on the mugs, hats, and shirts. Oh, did you hear that? I got both of you on the on the mugs, the hats, and the shirts, motherfucker. Oh, word! Merry Christmas. See what I mean? <laughs> Thank Miracles you so do much, happen. <laughs> Shout out Jimmy for the gear. Yeah, definitely, man. That's awesome, bro. I've been I wanted the damn hat for months. Jimmy the truth. Thanks for the merch. Gunsmoke the Don. I got the hat player. I got that hat player. Oh, yeah, you do. You better have that hat, boy. Did you ever get you your new hat? hat? Did, did I get it? Yeah, I did. I ordered it. It's a snapback, though, but it's coming nice. in the mail. But yeah, I saw one I wanted today. I'm like, yeah, fuck. But now I got a little donation money, so I'm going to fucking get one. I'm going to order another one. What you want? What kind of hat uh, you want? It was on Instagram. I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of fucking shit in the shop on Instagram that I want now, like a lot of crazy hats. Yeah, do you so, trust Instagram, like ordering it through there? Not really, because I've never done it before. But I'm like, fuck, that shit is fire. Like, you know, the, the hat's like, you know, because usually yeah. when I go, I can't really get nice, you know, hats, like shit that I'm into, you know. I get the plain old shit. So I want like fancy shit, you know? I don't know. Absolutely. You want that sequin shit, right? I don't know. No, no. <laughs> he likes it bedazzled. I don't know. No, no. It's just gonna have like the you know, rhinestones. I like it when it's like exclusive shit, like exclusive hats, like you can't get like in a Something lot of that other people don't have. Huh? I said something that, like other people don't have. You I know, guess like not yeah, gonna see. exclusive is, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I love that. that name. I'm focused on what these guys are saying in the chat here. Hold on. That scumbag blocked me on Lee Coles. Good. What do you want to be in there for anyway? Stay out of there, Chopper. Right. Who, 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 <laughs> don't, don't go there. That's the dark side, all right? They suck <laughs> you in and they spit you out. You know? And as they spit on you. Stay away from them, Chopper. You're no good over Spickable. there. Yeah. You gotta maybe light up another cigarette, Chopper. That you know. I don't want to see you get hurt over there, kid. Oh, man. You're going to make me put out my over blunt. There's like the ghetto, over, there. Huh? Over, over there's the ghetto. Over here is the nice suburban neighborhood. Yeah. Jesus. All right. You don't got to put it like that. But yeah, all right. Why not? I'm very <laughs> I don't give a shit. <coughs> the nice thing about YouTube is there's a little red dot a corner, uh, X in the corner. I click that. Everybody goes all by. That's true. I don't have to put up with nothing. 
Hold on. They, I think somebody has a question. Ask Stacy what she has to say to those who makes trouble for gun smoke. They can go fuck themselves. Nice. Flat Thank out you. and right. You want to be a man, be a man. Don't be a pussy. That's right. Listen to Stacy. I appreciate that. Talking about. Thank you. We that had this good. conversation the last time I was on. How yeah, I feel did. about all the drama and the bullshit. Just let it alone. Grow up. Yeah. You want to be mad right? and you bring women and children in? That doesn't make you a man. It makes you a pussy. Hold on. What is this guy saying? Oh, man. Cousin Polly, dude. Cousin Polly's going to hook you up with a hat. Oh, nice. Thank you, Cousin Polly. Cousin Paul is the man, bro. He, oh, yeah, dude. Cousin Polly's the shit. He's dude. always being like saying positive shit in my chat and fucking, you know. He's a great guy, man. Oh, he's a great, great supporter. Fendi hats. No, no, no Fendi hats. Just exclusive <laughs> whoever hats, bro. Look, I'm getting, Fendi hats. getting a regular one that says Yankees with the fucking Empire State like map and shit a little bit. The, Yo, you know, Gunsmoke, would yeah. you uh, wear a Yankees coat? Um, I got a Yankees coat that uh, I, it's brand new and it's not like my a style. Like jacket? Yeah, it's like a leather sleeves and it's reversible nice. too. Yeah, it's from Yankee Stadium. It's like brand new, dude. If you want it, it's what color gorgeous. is it? Navy. Uh, yeah, it's navy, and then it's reversible, and it's the uh, you know, the regular like, you know, jacket that's like navy blue, and yeah. then the other yeah. one, it's like uh, on the other side, it's felt and leather sleeves. All right. Yeah, send me send me the picture. I'll send you yeah. pics. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I appreciate I actually it. got a bunch of Yankee gear that my uncle ended up getting that you can have if you want, man. It's just, you know, I don't I appreciate know. appreciate that. Yeah, hold on. I got something to say. This motherfucker, Silvio, brings up a great point. Another guy, another freaking great uh, subscriber over here who's always saying positive, great shit and, and asking smart questions, too. He did it the other time, too, with the smart questions. Gunsmoke and Don for mayor of New York. Now, let me tell you something. I've been thinking about running for mayor years ago, all right? And the first fucking thing, first order of business when I fucking become mayor, we're tearing up those goddamn bike lanes. I'm taking a goddamn bulldozer, and I'm going to personally get on the first fucking mile of fucking bike lanes, and I'm tearing them the fuck up. People are getting their parking back. People are getting their fucking dr streets to drive down. Again, they're getting that back, all right? And then we're going to do a whole lot of fucking changes around this motherfucker, let me tell you. But anyway, I love why well, stop there? Why not go for governor? Are you going for governor? No, I said you. Oh, no, no, I said why well, stop at mayor? Go for governor. We're gonna start somewhere. We're gonna start for, at mayor, and then we're all gonna right, right. Right. Those up. start for city council first. No, no, there's a lot of scum over there. I don't like those people on the city council. I don't like okay. those fuckers. I don't like them. The city council cocksuckers. That's what I call them. Wow. They ain't doing nothing but filling their pockets. They're fucking oh. doing a whole bunch of crazy shit over there with that money they're earning. They're not doing nothing for the people except <laughs> destroying the city with their bullshit. That's everywhere. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. The that's everywhere. That's right. It's happening everywhere. That's why I don't like these city council motherfuckers. And, this, and it, the strange thing is, the smaller the area that these city council members represent, yeah, the more corrupt they are. Oh yeah, of course, because they're more well, They can get away with more. Yeah, they um, have less less uh, eyes. Uh, people less, less people, eyes. Less yeah. resistance. That too. Or they're or they made the right connections to where they don't have. They can get whatever they need done. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, First of all, business too. When I get a fucking mayor, the whole city council is fucking fired. Everybody's fired. You're going Everybody's fucking fired. And you're putting that goddamn Thomas Jefferson statue back up where it belongs, you son of a bitch. That's where it's going. Yeah, they took it down after 187 Did years they? in the New York City Council in the chambers. They took it away because they don't want Thomas Jefferson statue looking at them. Guilty Mother conscience. Man. Meanwhile, he goddamn wrote the, the, the fucking Declaration of Independence. He damn near wrote the entire friggin' uh, rights of man for the French Revolution when they had their revolution, whatever. Gave them their friggin' doctrine. I mean, this People was a great thing. He invented right, the damn swivel chair. This friggin' shit that I'm sitting in, he invented this shit, all right? Go look it up. I think he invented the friggin' Venetian blind, too, all right? Really? Yeah, go look Joking up. Joking around. Book. 
This is when people were inventing shit, bro. People had fucking brains. No, no, shit. I believe you, man. I went to his house down in, uh, where is it, Pennsylvania or Virginia? I uh, there's one in oh. Virginia and one in PA. Oh, okay. So maybe I went to both. I don't know. But they he did a bunch of plants and stuff, too. Like, I got some cool, like, snapper plants that were, like, half alive or something. Like, they ate, they, uh, like, you touch them and they would, I don't know. They were cool when I was a kid. But yeah, man, it was pretty incredible, like seeing like what they did, what he did back then. Yeah. Well, I'm Crazy glad time. I could make you laugh. Yeah, you're a little sassy. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I have to be. <laughs> you you don't you don't take no shit. I don't no. Yeah, that's good. Because why? That's true. Why should you? Especially nowadays, it's like Jesus Christ. I mean, I treat people how they act. You want to act like an ass? I'm going to treat you like an ass. I believe in that. Yes, I believe. The yeah, same absolutely. Way. Kind of you want to act like a human being and you want to have an intellectual conversation and you want to banter back and forth and still remain friends or acquaintances after. That's awesome. But don't be a child. Yeah. <laughs> show me respect. I show you respect. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the way the world should work. But it, sadly, it doesn't. We can disagree and still have a civil conversation. Absolutely. I have a really good friend, her, and I um, talk about religion. And we've been good friends for almost a year and a half now. We don't hate each other, but she has different views than I have. Yeah. So. And that's yeah. okay. That's okay. That's, you know, come on. Absolutely. We're all Americans here. Jesus Christ. Dude, everybody's different, you know? Yeah. Yes. And that's oh. okay. That's okay. Exactly. Well, Kennedy, we went through this the other day that Gunsmoke had me on. Okay. Were you not paying attention? He just wants to stir up shit. He likes to fucking entertain it. He just wants to hear us talk shit. That's what these guys are here for. Trolls. They're waiting to get clips. What do you think of the trolls making all kinds of shit around here? Ask your gun. <laughs> what do you think, Stacy? What do you think Great. about what's going on? Oh, let's not get into this. All right. Yeah, yeah I think you're right. That's better off. <coughs> Judge He's fucking positive. Judy. Look, they think he, <laughs> he called you Judge Judy. Oh. Do I have stupid rain on my forehead? Look at me. Baloney. Yeah. Baloney. Uh, and then, and then you remember when that was life. like the only thing on if you got sick at school? Oh, yeah, like, yeah. And more. Nowadays, more. there's like a thousand channels. Like, you know, they stay home from school. They got video games, everything. Like. We used to stay home from school. It was like Jerry Springer and okay. like one or um, two other I, things on. That was it. I had the prices right. Yes. Oh, that's we had that too. Game. Yeah. That's a Price tradition. Right. That's a tradition. A yeah. lot of the uh, old Western shows. Yeah. What's okay. the one with all the costumes that. Uh, nice to watch the, the original. Make a deal. Play. He does know. Make a deal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Make a deal was to, that was on too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like that shit too. Yeah. Let's yeah. I think Wayne Brady's pretty good on that. Yeah, that's a good show, too. I like that. I like that show. Yeah. It fits good, but Price is right. I hope that never goes there away. There used to be a show on late at night, and it was like the original Jerry Springer. Oh. What oh. the heck is that name? Of Charles that something? Like, no. Um, oh, no. Um, if I'm Maurice. in the 80s. But you know um, what I'm talking about. He was just like a cigarette on there. Bathtubs full of like jello and have midgets wrestling in it. And oh, I don't it was know. It's just an effed up show. I don't uh, remember that. You probably watch a public access or some shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know that. about that. I don't know about that shit. Anybody in the chat play? know? That beat TV. What the fuck? Oh, Did Jesus. You? Howard, man. Why are you so sour? Who? <laughs> Who's sour? That dude coward. Oh, I don't know. He's saying good shit, that he says crazy shit, that he says bad shit. I don't know, man. All over the place. Yeah, I don't know. Let them have their fun, man. You know? That's just how some people got to be. I don't know. You can't oh, help I, it, man. Uh, oh, I already read that. Don't stay away from that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Monticello. What you know about Monticello? Monticello. I call it Monticello. I think that's how you pronounced it. 
Make sure you pass out. That's some where I went. Because Cousin yeah. Paulie got his own shit. He got his home, but he don't need no shit from me. Cousin Paulie ain't worried about nothing from me. <laughs> he got his own shit. Yeah, homie. That part. That part, homie. Yeah, that part. This is how you know I'm running out of material. I'm just talking like a real OG, man. <laughs> you know? I've been watching too much Charleston White. You, you seen this motherfucker, Charleston White? He's my oh. new favorite guy. Fucking, really? Uh, yeah. I, I only seen a couple clips. And then oh, I, I, he's got his own YouTube channel. Like, he's oh fucking hilarious, God, bro. Idiot. Yeah, no, he's smart, though, the way he talks. and He don't give a He fuck. is, but he's... Like, you know, he's too real, bro. He's too real. I love him. Yeah. He's great. He's the best thing since sliced bread. I told him that too, and he read it. He read it in his chat. He's like, oh, thank <laughs> you, man. Thank you, son. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I vote for him for fucking bear president. That's who needs to be president. Charleston White. And he no, got one man. eye because he's a gangster <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, he hates gangs. He hates everybody, man. Yeah, but he's he was stupid. in a gang. Yeah, he was, or he tried to be. But yeah, he, or he something like him. that. They rejected him or something. Look, Carlos don't like him. Let's see what Carlos got to say. Look at it. Yeah, he said, see? Carlos yeah, like Carlos. <laughs> Stacy don't know nothing about Charleston White. You got to look him, look him up. He's got his own YouTube channel. He's hilarious. He's on like every four hours live. Dude, how about Vlad TV, man? He's a joke now. He's Vlad, like, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's got like the same. He gets a good people. interview here and there still. Yeah. Okay. Know? But he kind of fell off, you know. Yeah. He's definitely. been interviewing weirdos for a while though, but every yeah. now and then he'll he'll come with some good shit though. So here I, and there he'll get lucky. Yeah. But I've been watching like Say Cheese now. I've been watching the Art of Dialogue. Yeah. You know? Because uh, I'm more interested into like Tupac shit anyway. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, watch that uh, Dirty Glove Bastard sometimes uh, uh, off the porch. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, what else? I don't know. Yeah, say cheese, you know. Yeah. But what happened to Stacy? What the fuck is she I'm doing? Here. I'm here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Here, that guy. I don't See know any good movies? Really? No. No. Um, the last movie I seen was when the new Halloween came out. Oh, uh, I, I didn't see that one yet. I don't really watch a whole lot of regular movies. I'm more of a documentary kind of person. Oh, okay. True was crime, that, that kind of thing. True crime. Yeah. Okay. What's the last one you watched? Um. Nothing new. I've rewatched Making a Murder. <laughs> Somebody give okay. me a bell. Thank you. <laughs> Are you familiar with uh, David Politis? I've heard of the name, but not familiar with the case. No, or the per- uh, I, I, I've heard the name, yes, but I don't. It's, it's not a case. He uh, investigates like missing people and things like under mysterious. He circumstances. does four one one. Yeah, missing four one one. Yeah, he's um, yeah. associated with John John Ball, Ballin. Mister Ballin, Ballin yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know exactly who you're talking about. I'm addicted to Mister Ballin. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you for the cash app, Kyle. <laughs> this guy's funny. Anyway, yeah, what, I've what, um. Were you guys talking shit about me, motherfucker? Um, what was it? The Central Park case with the the black kids that went to jail for something that they didn't do. Yeah, the Central Park Five. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that that was heart. That's heartbreaking. Yeah, that shit happens all the time. That woman, that I guess she was a DA or an ADA. Yeah, she was going hard to get those money. When she came out on camera and says, "I don't care if they're innocent; they're going to jail." (laughs) It's like she knew they were innocent. Yeah. She just wanted to, like, the case. Too far. She, she wanted to win the case for a political gain. And yeah. it was disgusting. Well, dude, that's how all prosecutors are. They just want the win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they absolutely. don't care if you're innocent or guilty. They want the win. Especially if it's a high Fucked profile up. case because then it's more prestige. It's yeah. um if you're familiar with the West Memphis three. Yeah. Okay. 
them boys served 18 years of their life in prison, one on death row for a crime that they did not commit, that there is no possible forensic DNA, anything left at the crime scene that connect these three boys to that murder. She It's dude, just, it's disgusting. It's heartbreaking, but it happens all the time. And it's oh, soft. absolutely. I mean, how about the people serving like 25 to life for a couple joints of weed in Louisiana? Shit. Right. You know, the ones that got hammered back in the day for having pot Back in the day, man, like even in the 90s and shit, like Louisiana is brutal. Yeah. So is Texas. Yeah. Texas don't play. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> wow. The gun no. laws out there, you don't even need a fucking license to walk around. You can open carry anything. You don't give a fuck. You, don't um, even, you can you open don't carry in PA. Really? In PA? Little, little unknown fact, and I don't really care if, if you want to carry it, you have to have it on your hip, but your shirt has to have be behind it so it's visible. Uh, if you if your shirt covers your weapon, that is considered a concealed weapon, and you can get in trouble for it without a permit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I used to have my concealed weapon permit in Connecticut. That's how you can get away with it. That's how I got away with carrying when I used to walk around at night and ride my bike and do different things. Uh, what different See, things? What different things, huh? Good criminals don't get caught and they don't have a record. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You're right. I concur. A they try not to get caught. Huh? I said they try not to get caught. Well, everybody tries not to get caught. It's just very hard nowadays. <laughs> yeah, with all the cameras and shit. That's why it was fun to do dirt back in the day before all the bullshit. And surveillance. Yeah. They took away uh, a lot you of still, you could still get jammers and shit like that. Now they get you for talking about smoking pot on your cell phone. Yeah, but it's legal in my state now, so... Yeah, they it, just... It's leave pretty much here on Vert, yeah. yeah. Look at you two, potheads. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Hey, I can't <laughs> say anything. I have my bowl pack. <laughs> if I didn't have weed, I would have killed myself years ago. Oh, so Dude, weed helps with the stress and with my stomach so much. It, um, pains I have, I have to agree with that. Yeah, I was in a bad car accident like 10 years ago. And oh, it geez. definitely helps in the pain. Definitely. Yeah. Like, you know. There was a fight on tonight? Pain pills on you. Yeah, there was a big UFC fight on tonight. Oh, was there? Who oh, fought? Apparently, Mc McGregor wasn't fighting, so I would have watched it. Yeah, I don't know. I asked Damien because Damien called me. He said there's a big fight tonight. I was like, "Who the fuck is fighting?" He didn't tell me. He just like ignored the question. So I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I was supposed. To, I was actually supposed to meet up with Damien today. Really? You're yeah. Boss? Whatever. You're in New England. Yeah, I'm in Connecticut. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know why I thought you were in Philly. No, no Philly. Oh, okay. You look like a Philly guy to me. That's me. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, not in Philly. It's, you know. Yeah. Oh, or right cool. outside. I'm close yeah. enough. So you're, you're cool with uh, Lefty? You're, you're, you're cool with Damien? You hang out with him and shit? Nah, man. We just oh. started. Uh, we might have some business. Okay. All right. Enough said. Yeah. Actually, yeah. you know what? I'll talk to you later about it. I'm All curious right. uh, yeah. about We'll talk later. Oh, what is this guy saying? If they continue to burn down the earth, we're going to burn the cane fields. Yeah. Like a like a Oh yeah, coward. Yeah. You wanna smoke some crack or something? Like what? a big fire and a strong wind. Whatever the fuck they said in that movie. I forgot what it was. Anyway, you guys suck, man. You guys, you guys are fucking... I'm drowning here, man. I'm all out to sea over what? here. I need your help. Give me some content, Stacey. Think about something in that, <laughs> little, in that head of yours. Think about something crazy to say. Come on, entertain it. Give me a minute. A minute? This is show. Okay, a minute's a second. Tony Pizza got a second car. You know what? 
I don't want to talk about that. We're not talking about that. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Fair yeah. enough, man. You said content, man. I said, okay. That's true. You so what have you been playing? Con- uh, Call of Duty, man. Which game you've been playing? Just that one, uh, the regular Modern Warfare bullshit with the Vanguard shit now. Okay, yeah, I just got Vanguard. I've been I've been stuck on uh, uh, Cold War. I haven't even played uh, Vanguard, and then I just got this today, uh, Modern Warfare, because my buddy kept saying fucking to play that. Um, the one I got, the one I'm playing now, this one. Oh, oh, I think I have that one. Is that the one I have? I don't know. I. I... That's the newest Modern Warfare. Okay, so yeah. Oh, wait, no. I don't know, man. Fuck, you're confusing me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you, you play this? No, but I played Far Cry uh, the Primal. With the I've never game. played Far Cry, so. It's Hellblade. Cool. Either one it's of you has ever played it? What? Hellblade? No. Hellblade, no. Must be a trick game. So you're a PlayStation guy, huh? Yeah, I've always been a PlayStation guy since 97, always. Uh, yeah, I got the PlayStation in the beginning, but I don't know. I got Xbox, you know, when the... I, I don't know. I just like the controller. Yeah, I never got into Xbox. I, I Specifically for the controller. I just never liked it. I don't know. See, it just depends who you are. And I, I got disappointed when I heard that... Um, PlayStation was going to kind of make their controller similar to Xbox. That's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. The whole point, that's, I'm the same way, Gunsmoke. I like to feel the controller for a, P- <laughs> uh, for a PlayStation. It's not Fuck so bulky. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Here's some content. <laughs> Who was the most important hit in mob history? Anastasia, Galante, or Castellano? Fuck. These are all sensational hits. These all Maranzano. I'll bring it back to Maranzano because without that, Luciano wouldn't have started the Five Families or the Commission. That's true. Well, Maranzano has created the Five Families. Just fucking. Well, Luciano. he did it with Lucky. Uh, yeah, Maranzano exactly and uh, who was the other guy? I can't think of the other guy. He got shotgun. He, uh, they stuck an ace of spades in his hand. Oh, you're hand. talking about Masseria. Masseria. Yeah. No, he was the first couple of the Tutti He was, yeah. Until Maranzano had and him and Maranzano were going at it. Yeah. And Lucky betrayed them both. Yep. Yeah. Well, he had to. He had no well, choice. he had to because they were uh, basically going to both kill him. Or at least Maranzano was. Yeah. So that is true. What? The movie what? Mobsters with Christian Slater. Yeah, that part of it is true. Loosely. Yeah. There's some Very embellishments, loose. of course, but the overall gist of it is true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that happened. That happened in Coney like Island. Like the whole maybe. back and forth with that, and him getting slashed and left on the bridge. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that was in Staten Island. And him yeah. playing the two higher ups. Yeah. Basically, first he was, first yeah. He was with Masseria. Yes. And then he got sick of the war. It was bad for business, and Maranzano was winning anyway. So he Maranzano was already in his ear. So Lucky said, all right, I'm going to go with this guy for a while, see if we can make it work. And then he saw that fucking, uh, once once they took out Masseria, Maranzano declared himself boss of all bosses. And then everybody okay. kicks up to him. So he was like, no, we were supposed to be all equals. So that's why he fucking had him taken out, because Maranzano was going to kill him anyway, because he, he said this kid's too powerful. Right. And he took it for himself. And he could have been Capo di Tutti Capi himself, but... He didn't want it. He wanted. He created the commission instead. That's how the commission See, was. No, I didn't know Lucky. Could but Maranzano's the the one who started the structure of the five families. Though. He <laughs> put that thing together. Yeah, it was him. That was his idea. Because he tried to base it off the Roman legions and shit. Because he well, was that's crazy. right. Well, it was. Yeah, but I mean, Lucky was like, "Listen, we got five families who are all equal." Maranzano yeah. was like, "We have five families that all report to me." Exactly. That's the boss of all bosses. Capodi to exactly. Capodi. Yeah. So, or you know, it could be Castellano because that was the down, the down start of the downfall of the of the mob. You know. Well, I don't know. That's kind of early. Back then, 
think that started the I mean, it was the down, like, I mean, yeah, the commission trial, but I mean, that was like the start of. Oh, the commission trial in the 80s? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, that was the beginning then, of the end. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, the beginning of the end, and then the Castellano hit was basically, yeah. you know, what brought was- even more attention and heat down. Yeah. And at then, the wrong time too. At the way, yeah, a very bad time for that to be going down. You know, it was too yeah. sensational. You know, right in the middle of the afternoon, fucking everybody's shopping for Christmas. I mean, Jesus Christ, is it even? It's not even the, t- the in Manhattan t- at a at a high end steakhouse. Yeah, in the middle of fucking Midtown Manhattan. I mean, Jesus Christ. Hmm. Yeah, they could have just made him disappear. You know. I'm sure it wouldn't be that easy, but you know they didn't have to. Do it wouldn't it have been. Way. It wouldn't have been that easy, but I mean, they could have just had you know a meeting. They could have had one of the captains say, "Listen, Paul, you know." No, to make the point. You know, but I think they did that to make a show of it, to show a force. You yeah, know, we don't to get the rest of the family in line. Yeah. Shock and awe, basically. Shock exactly. And awe. Shock and order to, to make everyone fall in line. Yeah. Sometimes that's what you got to do. That's, that was Scarfo's model. Every once in a while, you got to show people this. It keeps them in line. Scarfo was, Scarfo's motto was to drop a body every week to scare yeah. everybody, you know, friend or foe. Broad daylight in the middle of the street, cowboy style. Dude, I still can't people. believe he killed uh, Testa. That was his downfall. See, that was, that was his downfall. downfall. Like, I mean, dude, why would you kill your most loyal soldier? Jealousy, envy, yeah, paranoia, bro. He thought that the fucked up shit was, was like, yo, you you see the documentaries and shit, yeah, and you see like Nick Caramondi and shit. He's like, yeah, he knew it was coming. He would pat us down, you know. He didn't run, bro. He didn't run, and he didn't. No, run. he didn't run. He didn't hide, and he knew he would, you know. He didn't go to the police, you know. But I think, to be honest, when I think he thought he could probably talk his way out of it or get because out of Scarfo it. Scarfo was like his father, bro. That guy helped raise him, basically, along with fucking uh, his Yeah, father, you know, the chicken exactly. Chicken. Like, like, he never thought that Scarfo would actually do that to him, you know? Yeah. He didn't but, you know, he, uh, you know, was supposed to marry Merlino's sister. And that was what... Uh, yeah, Skinny Joey's sister, yeah. Yeah, Merlino wanted him bumped down from a captain. Well, the father, yeah. The yeah, father the father be, wanted him bumped down. Start all over captain, again, and then he would be forgiven. Captain to a soldier, exactly. Yeah. But they, they weren't telling him this, though. They weren't telling him this. They wanted right. him to do it on his own. But how could the kid do that, man? His father was a boss, bro. How could the fucking kid do that? He was a captain. He was well loved and respected. He's not gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna fucking. They told him, Scarfo told him it was okay. It was all right. Everything was fine. Exactly. And so what the fuck he, is the he kid was supposed loyal to, to Scarfo till the end. You he know? was. Bro. He almost died for the guy. He got his fucking shoulder blown off. Fucking yeah. He, he lost he was gone. use of his arm and shit. He kept partial. that family together, bro. Him and fucking uh, Chucky. Uh, Chucky Merlino, they kept that family together up there while, while yeah. Scarfo was away in prison. I mean, without them, you know, what did he have? You know, he he, he gave it to the Giorno and Faffy, and he, they fucked it up. You know, yeah, they weren't as good as Salvi was, and and Chucky was. You know, Chucky went away to jail. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, Philly, like, dude, there's a bunch of cowboys. Like, my buddy used to. Uh, work for bookies out there you know before he moved back here and he said you know it's just a bunch of cowboys you know and a bunch of people go back and forth from jersey and shit you know so you got like people from boston like uh what's that guy he's like a christian now and he's like yeah the bobby luisi Luisi, yeah the luisi family (laughs) yeah oh god that made me laugh, dude. I was like, oh, man. No, nah, some gay but, shit happened in his family, though, too. Like, half of his family got wiped out. His brother, his father, his cousin, some shit. Absolutely. Like, that was, uh, you saw that boondocks uh, scene where Rocco kills them in the restaurant? Yes. That was based on Bobby Luisi. Wow. Like, okay. yeah. Yeah. I didn't see that, no. 
Hold on, we got another oh, question. Oh, no, you never seen the Boondock Saints? No, I, I, I didn't really get into the Boondocks. It wasn't my thing. I've seen a few. Uh, of them, it wasn't my thing. Oh, you need to watch them. Yeah, I don't know. Is it woke shit? It's not woke, right? No. Oh God, no! <laughs> it's like two brothers, visual antis. I like South Park it's, shit. It's oh, great. dude. Uh, yo, you seen the uh, special COVID one? No, or everybody's the, talking about that. I missed it. I gotta see it. Don't tell me. I only no. seen like half. they're all grown now. It's like in the future. Yeah, yeah. yeah dude, I gotta see it. All I gotta say is wait till you see Carmen. Wait till you see Carmen. Yeah, I heard he's Jewish now. He's got a family. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I gotta see that shit. Yeah. Hilarious. Hold on. Let me read this. Yo, yeah. Sil- what are you going to say? Oh, I was going to say, Silvio, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Castellano never wanted to even make DeMeo. So. I think, yeah, I think Gotti would have still made the move anyway, and DeMeo would have fell in line. I don't think DeMeo gave a fuck about Castellano to begin with, because Castellano was uh, didn't give a fuck about him. He didn't even want to make him. DeMeo you know? was just happy to be made, and yeah. he might think he could become a captain with yeah. Gotti. And I'm sure he respected Gotti on some level too, you know, because they had sit down yeah. together with Paul and all that shit. So, absolutely, like, dude, Gotti was definitely known back in the day, you know, yeah. before yeah. all the Castellano shit. Yeah, I think I think the mayor would have. He had a him. reputation for a reason. Yeah. You know, they asked him to whack the mayo for a reason. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see what else these people got. What's up, Stacy? I'm sorry, man. I feel like I'm being rude, man. No, really no, rude. not at all. Actually, I'm getting, I'm, I'm learning. So, what the fuck are you learning over there? What are you? What are you um, doing? because I did not know that, the, that, that Lucky started the commission. Oh, I thought it was somebody what? else. You, really? You crazy? Yeah. He created the mafia, basically the modern mob, the whole commission. All yeah, he was. He created all that. Yeah. Okay. I thought you, you know, I thought I that stand was like corrective because knowledge. that's not who I thought it was. Who did you think yeah. it was? I don't want to say. Say it. No. Don't say Vito Genovese. No. Oh my God. Meyer Lansky. No. Capone. Bugsy Spiegel. Capone. Capone. Yeah. Capone. Oh no, he was barely close to Nostra to begin with. Yeah. I mean, he had. A, I, I mean, mean like, like the outfit is a little you know, different. Technically, Cosa Nostra, but yeah, like they're, more like Sicilian Union type shit. It's like a yeah, little- they're more like a crime family. Like they have Polish people, they have all sorts of people in like the outfit. But they're not made. Okay. Though. They're not made, of course. Only Italians can be made. It's more. It's kind of it's yeah. called Nostra, but it's different. Like the ceremony is different and all that shit. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, I like the outfit. Oh, Chicago. Wild dude. Yeah, right I love now. the outfit stories. I love Tony Spilatro and all that. And fucking Lombardo and uh what's his face? Uh oh man. Joey Doves Ayupa and uh, No man, it was uh it was a hit man. He uh he liked to use shotgun. Harry Alleman. Oh, okay, yeah. Harry Alleman. Yeah. I miss Coffee with Culotta, man. He was a great addition to Mob Tube in the beginning, man. Yeah, he dude. He, he was the uh, he was definitely a cool guy. I used to watch him a lot, man. I used to sing his song, Colada, Colada. <laughs> I used to be in the shower just singing that shit like an idiot. Listen to him. Yo, I'm not going to lie. I've definitely had that in my head a few times. Oh, man. All day, all night. I used to have that stupid fucking jingle in my head, bro. And it was great. I love that guy. Yo, he man. What you do to me, me, man? What you do to me, Gunsmoke? I'm going to be singing that for the next week. I missed that guy, man. That guy had a great show, man. He was Yeah, great. man. I was bummed when I heard he died of COVID. Yeah. I think he answered one of my questions, too, that I typed to him and shit. Fuck, man. Yeah, that bummed me out, man. Because it looked like he was doing good, and then... It went radio silent for like a week. I was like, fuck, this isn't good now. Yeah. That wasn't good. Poor guy, man. Oh. From a Chinese virus that he wasn't yep. supposed to get anyway. He should still be alive to this day, even though he had his Oh, problem. God. There's a lot of people that should be still alive today. Yeah, it's true. Always drama. Drama everywhere you look. You can't throw a nickel without hitting drama. Give us some examples, Stacy. No. Okay. Of what? The music or the drama? Either one. <laughs> New music coming out. Uh, there's an uh, an up and coming independent label, and it's got artists on it. They're called Outlaw Nation. Okay. So 
they got a lot of good music coming out. Um, just. Well, you- well, no, I'm just asking. I put on concerts, so. Oh, okay. Anyway, hold on. Yeah, they're this based out of Tennessee. This guy makes a valid point about what we said earlier. Capone was the host of the Chicago meeting in 1931 when he, Lucky, and the rest of the of them, whatever, they formed the commission and set the rules. So, yeah, oh, yeah that's true. Capone, Capone was a part of that. Commission. He was a part of that, yes. He was there in the beginning. He's one of the original bosses of Cosa Nostra. He was in the meeting in New Jersey before, yes, even in before Atlantic that. City. Yeah, Atlantic 29. City. Exactly. 28, 29, yeah. <coughs> the one in Atlantic City, is that where he hit the guy with the it baseball bat? It so was bootlegging that brought no, that was in together. Chicago. Was it? Yeah, that those, those, were, those were two hits. It brought all that, everybody together with that originally. Oh, my ass hurts. Uh, I've been sitting in this chair too long. That's, why, that's what happens when you sit. <laughs> but, then, uh, but yeah, um, Capone, he uh, found out that two of his best hitmen, they were plotting against him. Yes. And they were going to put out a hit on him. So he invited them to like a party he threw in their and honor, supposedly. Batted and, them. Yeah, yeah he right? took out a baseball bat and beat one of them to death in front of the other. And then he, he proceeded to kill the other one, too. And then they, they shot him and stabbed him and mutilated them. And then they dumped him in a fucking road. And the fucking coroner said it was the most mutilated body he'd ever seen in his life when he worked. Yeah. Damn. Do you think they really said? I mean, do you think he really said that to for the press? You know, because they you know exaggerated a lot. No, of I shit. think they really turned on him. They turned on him. And- no, 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 no. I'm saying the coroner saying like, "Oh, oh. that's the most mutilated body oh, I've ever." No. Seen. Yeah, probably. Who knows? I don't know. But we're we talking do. about, we're talking about parties, you know? a big city too. Yeah, but you know, we're talking about a different era. Water. This is when people were God fearing people back then. People were more wholesome back Dude, then. Dude, there was uh H. H. Holmes. H. H. Holmes, Jesus. Now you're talking about some Jack the Ripper type shit. What the fuck is well, this? Well, dude, he was in Chicago, the Chicago World yeah. Fair. You know what I'm saying? Like big, the big elephant where it got caught on fire. Is that what you're talking about? Uh what? The Chicago that- Fire. Or is that too early? Oh, no, really? that was the Chicago fire when it was like all wood and shit. Yeah. <laughs> like... yeah. You got to learn about history, Stacy. See, the fucking lefty knows. What do you know, Stacy? Nah. You got to read up on this I fucking shit. love history. Yeah. Me too. I jerk off the history. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Frank Nitty, look at this. That was oh, an sick okay. fuck. He couldn't take the pressure. They told him, you got to go to jail. You don't want to go out involved with this shit. You got to take the heat for it. He said, no, I can't do it. I'm claustrophobic. And then he fucking got drunk one morning, and he took a walk to the train tracks, and he blew his fucking brains out. Yep. Damn. Did he shoot himself twice? Yeah, he missed the first shot. He shot himself in the fedora because he was so drunk and he was stumbling, and the yep. train was coming. And he said, get out of the way, asshole. And he fucking <laughs> stumbled, and then he fucking went against the fence, and then he shot himself the second time quickly. After the first shot, and then he, he hit his mark. Okay, wow. that's the other Frankie. Hey, fat puppy, you need to go out. Oh, sorry, just talking to my dog. That's her mob nickname, Fat Puppy. Hmm. Fat Puppy, yeah, Fat Puppy. Fat puppy. Don't fat make puppy. Fat go collect, he's her money. <laughs> oh, let's see what these nuts has to say. I don't think I highlighted his shit. Hold on. Where'd he go? He's there. Who was doing He's things? Nuts. Okay. Guys. Capone had newspaper in his pockets. He could have them print whatever he wanted. You ask people in Chicago, Capone's a saint helping out of soup kitchens. He he reasoned they put missing pictures on milk cartons. He's the reason. Yeah, he did so a lot you of think he community. had the coroner say it was the most mutilated body to scare other people? No, I don't think so. No, but he did a lot of good, too. He did a lot of good with that soup yeah. kitchen during the Depression. So did Pablo Escobar. <laughs> Look at the one in New York. Yeah. Frank, our Frank Lucas. Frank Lucas? Yeah. He was a scumbag. <laughs> he did the one before him, the one he learned from. Bumpy? Yes, Bumpy he did a Bumpy lot Johnson? for the communities. Yeah. Well, it's always smart if you're a criminal, you know, to do good in your community. Oh, yeah. Oh, then yeah. they stick by you. 
Yep. Yeah. Jerry Merlino did something like that too, but uh, Al Capone had like a real like daily operation where he was doing that shit every day for months and months. Oh yeah, fucking people. Oh, day in, day absolutely. Out. It was during the Great Depression and yeah. shit. Fucking like that's what he was doing, you know. Yeah. So. Just like look too. at Pablo and the slums, man. He built schools, hospitals, you know. Fucking dude, yeah. a guy walked on a plane with a bomb for him because Pablo asked him to do it. You know, that's like how much power and sway. He's like, I'll take care of your family. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, they held him in high regard in the slums. Oh. Anyway. Yo, you know where's crazy huh? the favelas in brazil oh yeah the favelas dude still in paradise but it's a shithole it dude was- it's like yo one sh- you go down one street and it's beautiful but if you go down like the wrong end of that street or you take a wrong turn and it's like fucking your life's over <laughs> yeah like they don't even have guns they have pipes with bullets and rocks that too, yeah, machetes. Machetes. And, and they kill beautiful girls down there, too. They got these beautiful, hot 18-year-old girls, 19, 20-year-olds. They're killing them, bro, butchering them. I'm reading about this, poor girls. Bro. Really? Yeah, they mm-hmm. execute them. They're savages, bro. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm never going to Chicago. I'm never going to Brazil. I'm not going anywhere in South America. And I'm definitely not going. I got relatives in Chicago, so yeah, I'm not going there, bro. I'm not. It's crazy. It's been crazy. No, I I won't go there. I won't. I won't go out there without a piece. Absolutely. Yeah, you can't, Uh, can't, bro. uh, And uh, but dude, if you mind your business and shit, and as long as you're not going fucking, yeah, that doesn't matter nowadays. Like, dude, I like, dude, I've never had a real problem anywhere I've gone. Sounds like nothing. I don't know. I just read a horrific shit out there. They're not doing anything to clean up Chicago. They're not even trying to move a muscle to stop all this shit. It's been happening for a hundred years. I mean, <laughs> since Big Jim Colosimo days, it's been a fucking bloody shithole over there. I'm oh sure my god, but, Chicago's yeah. crazy dangerous. But yeah. I mean, always yeah. been like that. I don't know what was going on over there. That's another place with the drinking water. I don't know what's going on over there. Jordan says the only bad side of Chicago is the South Side. Really? Just south side? I don't know. What about the north side? The north side's been pretty fun. North side, yeah. You, north side, it's pretty bad, too. It's just not as I know they got nice suburbs south out there, side. but, you know, people are getting killed on the friggin', what is that, Miracle Mile over there? I mean, they're getting killed right over there. I'm the sure. Wild Hundreds? Yeah, I mean, what the fuck, bro? I that mean, dude, even, uh, even outside Chicago, uh, what's that town... Capone used to run. I forgot. It's like an yeah. outskirt of um, oh, Elmwood or something. Or, uh, I, don't know. Uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, my I, uh, Cicero. Cicero. Oh, yeah. Cicero. Stony Island. Uh huh. Yeah, both those are fucking bad too. You know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But. I mean, like I said, man, I don't know. As long as you're not looking for trouble. I mean, dude, I've gone to the Dominican and fucking, I love going to the Dominican Republic, but yeah, like it's that. It's crazy out there. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's dangerous out there, though. You got to be careful, especially at the airport. They try to get you at the airport and shit. AKs, they run up on you with an AK 47 inch shit, a machete. I don't know. I'll, I'll just I my, my, my buddy's good. Dude, I, I stayed at a resort, but yeah, I've also stay at stayed resort. at my buddy's house. Like, my oh, buddy's yeah. got a house down there, and I've stayed down there in the house, and I was fine. Yeah? All right. Yeah, man. Absolutely. It's fucking awesome down there. I'm sure it is. Yeah, it's fucking paradise. So right? cheap, sure. too. Like, you yeah. can stay in, like, last time I was there, it was like an all inclusive resort. And I'm I stayed just drunk and chilling by the pool. Fuck that. Uh, to my ties and shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't drink. I like that was like the one time I would drink. I drink some like my ties and white Russians and shit. But I'm not a drinker. Yeah. I'd be swimming in the ocean. Hell yeah, they did. I would in love the to do it. Best part of Chicago. 
they smoked him like 20 some odd shots yeah it's crazy now all these guys is murders it's all on camera now all their murders yeah. are, are documented on video and shit it's nuts I ain't even gonna lie, yeah, you're a killed. It's like, yo, if you're a rapper nowadays, it's like you should almost expect to be murdered. Like you're gonna get murdered. Whether you think so or not, you should expect to be murdered if you're a rapper nowadays. Like it's just gonna, you know. Yeah. Whether you deserve I mean, it or not. There's some people that look for trouble or like they have trouble previously, you know? Yeah. And it catches up that life. Yeah. <laughs> so what's going on, Stacy? You're pretty quiet. I'm always quiet unless I have something to say. Oh, okay. Sorry. Cool. So smart. Smart. It keeps me out of trouble. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good way to live. Anyway, guys, listen, it's getting late, man. It's almost I'm gonna five shut this down. Absolutely, man. I want to thank you guys for being here. I want to thank everybody who friggin' donated to me. I want to thank Paul Perry and his cousin Dom for being on earlier. I want to thank Stacy and Lefty Guns and everybody in the chat, man. Falconetti and Chopper and Kyle and Coward and Buddy and friggin' Yankees for Life and BK Shallon for coming in earlier and, you know, making peace with everybody. And, um, Silvio Dante for the great question and Lucky Luciano for the great questions and Duck Fart for always being a fart face. And uh, yeah, man, thank you guys for sticking around here all night too. another fucking five hour show. So um, thank you guys again and happy holidays. And I'll see you next time, probably sometime tomorrow on somebody else's fucking channel. And uh, until next time, guys, salute. Bye, Stacy. Thank Good you. Good night. Sweetheart. Thank you. All right, guys. Later. Peace.